Yeah. I'm gonna see if it works now. Um. Yeah, it says a streaming, but it hasn't come up on my preview yet. Is it? Can you hear the game sound? What at all? Um, yeah. yeah. Is it louder than me? So it's like, let me know anyway. Well, actually, uh, fuck it. All right. Yeah. Oh, and he's fucking counted now. All right. The skill is sorted. All right. Um. Turn on. Yeah. All right. Let's get on it. Let's get fucking on it. <laughs> Nirvana, innit, mate? Gotta fucking love Nirvana. All right. So we're going to play him with the fucking alternate controls because I'm a pussy and I f I'm not used to this tank controls anymore. But it's going to be Resident Evil Remake. Normal difficulty, knife only. Oh. I tried a bit of it earlier, but I didn't get that far, but I'm confident I can do it. You ever tried that before? Uh, knife only on. Alpha team is flying is around the forest zones. Uh, it's a fucking hard game though, it is probably the hardest out of all of them. There are only three. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a quality looking alright. Sweet. Cause, um, it's looking good on my um, thing. On It says like the stream isn't dropping any frames and shit, so. It says my lips are out of sync. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because. Um, Give that a try. Just fuck about with the settings a bit. And I'd like. Oh, yes, delay the camera to the mic. I'm using a window um, thing because I couldn't pick up my camera handy, mate. So I'm using the window capture. That's probably why. But. Where the fuck is it? Okay. Filters. Render delay. Maybe. Yeah. Can you still hear me, Con? How much of a delay is it? 
That's cool. Alright, sweet. Let's go back into it. Alright. So, yeah, th there's a good thing about doing a knife run actually with Chris. It's because he only carries sl six slots, doesn't he? So that means, uh, basically, if you're only carrying a. Yeah, if you're only carrying a knife, it's not really much of an issue. And. What's that? It's actually easier with Chris thinking about it because he takes more damage than fucking Jill. Yeah. This ain't a speed run, by the way. It's just a normal. I'm trying to get the trophy, the CQC for the win trophy. Even though. Even though it recommends me to do that on easy, I'm not a fucking pussy, so... <laughs> mate, course and proud. I want to get that Pram trophy, right, mate? Um, I don't think... I don't think they can hear you through the fucking stream. Um, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I need it so it don't sound like I'm talking to myself, and you can hear your banter as well. Um, add media source, maybe. If I can, nope, it's not that. Add. Audio output. Yeah, you are. You're like the butter, and I'm the bread. I'm like the side hoe. <laughs> Try talking now. Can you hear me now? I, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck's sake. I don't know. I'd have to actually stick the stream on. Yeah, it is Connor. Oh, yeah, Andy. can you hear me now? It can, it can you hear me now? It's picking me up. Right. So I'm not going to restart the game then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, sorry, I only missed um, about a minute. Ah, there we are. Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. I was gonna fucking do custom costumes, but it's all good. I'll do that in another one, maybe when I do real survivor difficulty or something. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! There are only three stars. I want to go to Vegas and <laughs> strip. Uh... <laughs> oh, I was. Yeah, I'm on Skype, Andy. Do you want to join? I fucking. Oh, Con, would you be able to send Andy a username or something? Oh, so I can't so send you with anyone, can I? It's a bunch of random numbers and fucking lighters in it because the cunts gave me a fucking. Alright, I'll message him it now. I'll message him the. Um, the photo of the fucking. what's it called? Oh, yeah, yeah, the photo of where you got that. Uh, my dick pic. Yeah, basically, right. Uh, the photo gives you a block, like. <laughs> my block. <laughs> It's not really a serious stream anyway, it's just a fucking laugh, in it. Piss on the fucking bitch, innit? Piss on a bitch. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I was... Oh, what you wanna? Oh, guess what as well, mate? This, this is proper fucking Cardiff for you now, right? These people come up to us and they're like, Oh, do you wanna go to a strip club? Give us a leaflet. Because uh, it was the only place open. I actually think like strip clubs are kind of pervy. I'm not fast on a strip club, so I'd rather go brothel where I can actually sit my dick in a bit, like. Yeah, but 
Yeah, basically, it's all systems of fiver each, and none of the boys have money. I only had money, so I was like, alright, I'll just pay for you a lot, it's fine, it's only a fiver. So I'd be 20 quid altogether, that's fine. Um, got there. It was a fucking £10 each, mate. I mean, I was just like, nah, I'm not paying 40 quid, mate. I said to the bouncer, and he started abusing me. <laughs> Yeah, it was like, he was like, oh, we'll stop money. he said, oh, we'll fuck off somewhere else then. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm doing, mate. <laughs> Get out, stupid bouncers, eh? It's just some bouncers are can't spend, honestly, fucking... Oh, he's done that. Yeah, it's because they think they can just be a prick. I think that. I've seen that fucking meme where, like, it says they reckon they guard in the Chamber of Secrets, like... Because <laughs> they're not. No, like, fuck them. No, they just go out in a fucking shit, fucking... Well, they don't know any club half the time, it's just a little pub with a bunch of 14-year-olds. Oh, well, you got I swear! <laughs> Always your idea, love, and they pull out their school library card, like... Yeah, that is literally it. <laughs> the Berwyn sent the library card. So when people say, like, oh, I'm 20, but I don't have my ID, I'm like, if you're 20, how do you not have an ID? I always carry my ID on me. They went in the big bookies and yeah, they were like, oh, ID, ID. It immediately pull that out. Like, I'm fucking Agent Norman Jane, like. Yeah, like, I, I look about fucking four, so, like, I know, like, um. <laughs> like, I just basically have my ID right in my pocket, ready, because I know I'm going to get ID'd. I get ID'd every single time I go out. Things. Even if it's the low goes. Oh my god. Do you see that? That was close as shit. <laughs> I just realised as well, that thing that you picked up with the fucking blue tip, like, it looks like a fucking glass arrow from Skyrim. It does, yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw it. Um, you actually use that jewel, you have to eat this part of the... Um, thing by yeah, you're like you, you just I'll oh, just do it now you check it and a fucking it's meant to be yeah it's a golden arrow but it's basically actually a glass tip in it glass yeah, arrow yeah. yeah it's a glass arrow from Skyrim <laughs> bit of a reference there for you <laughs> because Resident Evil is obviously made by Bethesda By the way, uh, in this playthrough, I will not be using any defense items, or I won't be stomping any zombies' heads in because that's all—that's what you have to do for the trophy. You can't do any of that. You can't fucking—you can't use any defense items or set enemies on fire to kill them. So even if you use like, uh, where's the defense item? It's like a shield or some shit. Yeah, it's like a little knife, a little dagger. It can be a little grenade. Oh, the daggers. Uh... Oh, so they don't actually count as a knife like. Um, no, you're not allowed to use any defense items whatsoever. You're not even allowed to, like, if you kill, manage to kill an enemy with a knife, you're not actually allowed to set them on fire. Like, oh, you... Summon the building the driver for corpses and stuff. Oh, that was fucking bollock. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> I hate getting out of there, mate, honestly. Is Andy coming, or what? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, just give him a chance anyway, you know. It says, yeah. it says stream health on my YouTube, like, what the fuck? Stream, stream health. health? Yeah, like... In HP of the stream, like... <laughs> Alright, I can't even remember where I'm off. Uh, where is that? Key. Thank you very much. Uh, I remember where I'm going now. Yeah, Book of Curses, yeah, alright, fucking, I bet it's got loads of swear words in it, like, arsehole, prick, cunt, fucking rat ass. Inconsiderate arsehole. <laughs> one of the first ones. I fucking love that. <laughs> yeah, that's on, that's on page one of the Book of Curses. You inconsiderate assholes. No, I'm not going to sit down next to these inconsiderate assholes. And it's like just fucking three Down syndrome people sitting there. This is one dribbling <laughs> looking at you. Like first. <laughs> what is going on here? In all fairness, I think it's seven, but I see the Down syndrome, so I can't see anything like. <laughs> Honestly, but I eat fucking pussy like a Down syndrome, eat a bowl of Weetabix, like. 
That's brilliant. Messy as fuck. Oh. Yeah, Messy as fuck. Uh oh. Don't oh, jump through the window. Window? You're out of the fucking game, that's what it is. Typical. Like an escort. That's typical for the regen for you, mate. <laughs> I can't believe that many strict jobs. was like a fiver each. It was like, who the fuck was in there? Honey boo boo, like. It wasn't even a fiver, that's what they told us. I was so stupid to believe it. Oh, they lied, didn't they? They lied. Like, them, and then <laughs> they asked for another tenner. Yeah, it's. <sighs> Bear in mind though, that was like 3 o'clock in the morning, so I was absolutely out with my skull by that point. Yeah. You don't give a fuck at that point, do you? It's what they do to get pissed people in and just lie about the price. Oh yeah, yeah, it's easy enough, but it's easy enough to lie to someone when they fucking off their tits. Yeah, the thing is, the boys were like, the boys were literally like, oh yeah, that sound, and I was like, excuse me, I'm fucking paying for you dickheads, I'm not going in there. So I said yeah. to him, I was like, no, I'm not paying for you, but straight up. It's fair enough if they all had the money on them, like... Yeah. Like, nah, they said to the bouncer, they were like, oh yeah, that's fine. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, it's not. Exactly, in it. Cheeky I'd ass. I'd go on the and gigs, like, but I'm not paying fucking... I'm not paying 40, 90. I like absolutely <laughs> fucking fucking <laughs> asshole. That's a good thing, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be a thing. This is on <laughs> My rolls. My lug rolls. <laughs> yeah, stocked up on wax. Wow. I'm not going for like no saves or anything or shit like that. I'm gonna try and go for no first aid sprays, but if I'm gonna need to use them, I'm gonna need to use them, and I. Just go for it. Yes. Yeah, prison. The main thing, I'm just going for the trophy. That's all it is. I want that trophy. I want it now. <laughs> I want it. I want to please. I want a trophy. I want the trophy, please. I'm a good boy. I want that trophy. Oh, you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm doing absolute shite. Fucking dog whistle. <laughs> yeah, fucking come on in, pretend. You bunch of fucking slags. I'm just gonna go to Petro before we go out this weekend, and I'm just gonna stock up on treats. <laughs> Come back with like three more bits of my plane, like shit. Don't fly. A fly. A fly. I fly. Oh. McFly. Yeah. McFly. <laughs> <laughs> the second band that was exposed by McDonald's toys, I. Like. <laughs> <laughs> People found him when they were through McDonald's toys. Did it actually? Yeah. Oh my fucking god, Jesus Christ. Oh, Andy sent me a message. What do you say? Do you say he's gay yeah. and that he's actually finally coming out? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Let's put this dog whistle into you, Sen. Come on in, you fucking slags. You slags. <laughs> Come on, so He's finally gonna join. Oh, join the, join the party, join the party! RuPaul's Drag Races for the same time. Fucking balls trying to shag me away. Get off. I got a... how do I invite you? Oh, I got it. I might have to start a new pool. I got it, I can have it. That's cool. Anderson Cox. Oh, man, you fucking asshole. I'm assuming it's not Mr. Anderson and Ken, and not <laughs> Mr. Anderson in a loser from Baghdad. <laughs> no, that's the one. I'll add someone from Saudi Arabia now, we'll be able to sell you <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> what are you going on in your boys? Are you playing Resident Evil? My favorite game. No, you're not a player in our country. <laughs> fucking gut does. Oh, it's not Mr. Anderson, that's not him. Salam alaikum, my brothers. What's up, there, boy? It's an imposter. <laughs> what the fuck did you say, Ed, Andy? Mate? <laughs> I, was, I, I think it's hello in Arabic. <laughs> I think I was get that fucking bomb out of the crap. <laughs> He's just pre ordered to get a Mr. Anderson skin. Ah, cup of tea, cup of joe. 
when Can't you get a mother's a couple slippery hoe. <laughs> I meant to know that I'm fucking British. You're fucking right. Irish. You're, you're a Welsh refugee, mate. <laughs> Don't give us that. <laughs> Snuck over the borders of Seven Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ of a Christ of a carrot bag on your mum's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell. I, I've actually never heard aside from my granddad, I've never actually heard of anybody like will <laughs> willfully leaving the great country of England <laughs> to get into Welsh territory. Welsh territory, you make us look like the fucking Taliban. How much of a pay now, like fucking 40 quid? Get across that shitty little border. I hate it when people are yeah. arguing about the countries as well, like both countries are fucking shit. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, yeah, you don't have to pay to leave. You don't have to pay to get. Uh, uh, actually, it's quite telling, isn't it? Well, yeah. You, you don't have to pay to go to England, but if you want to go into Wales, oh, sorry there, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they Scottish all of a sudden. I think that was more merciful. Sorry, yeah, but, but. We was, like. Eh? Sorry, yeah, but. Watch out, no man. Watch out, no man. You're not gonna pass here without paying twenty pounds. It wouldn't even sound like that by the Seven Bridge. They're like, sorry, boy, sorry, you won't come in. Oh yeah. I don't know what the fuck that was. But, yeah. That's like a Barry accent, that was. Oh yeah. Some yeah. Cat, Stacey, I literally think I'm the only fucking like near enough Welsh person here on campus. Was everyone from like London? <laughs> London, bro. That's it. They they wanted to see what the countryside was like, and they just went to another metropolitan area. It's basically, fucking. I got bloke next door, he's from Oxford. The guy across the hall is from Western. And then got another one then from, from Oxford again. And then up at the top then we got a guy from fucking where's he from? Syria. No way. And then right next door to him is a guy from fucking Thailand who one of the boys mistaken him for fucking Korea. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I'm just saying, if there's like a bomb scare or anything, you know, I ain't pointing any fingers or anything. No, he plays football. I don't play football, mate, that's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he kicks bombs around for a living. Uh, oh, I know, I know this is a Resident Evil stream, but Connor, we have to address this. We have to address this, my friend. <clears throat> it's WWE Evolution, mate. Oh no, fuck that shit, bro. Well, fucking Nikki Bell and Ronda Rousey was even the main event. The best part, aside from Stephanie McMahon going, oh, philanthropy is the future of marketing, in a, in a tweet like two years ago. Aside from that, the best part is these women got a pay per view, yeah. Yeah. Because the men got. Saudi Arabia event. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, they had the Saudi Arabia event, so. <laughs> so so WWE went, ah, oh, well, we'd better have one for the women. No cunts going to want to watch it, but we'll have one for the women anyway. So I'm not fucking watching that pay-per-view. I'm not staying up till four in the morning to watch that. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. And it turns out, yeah, it turns out the week later, they're fucking back in Saudi Arabia, the cunts. I know. Saudi Arabia, you come here, you come here. Roman Reigns, defend title. Bury everybody. <laughs> Big win. Oh, no, 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 this is the most fucking racist yeah, no women. in the world. The only best part about it is, though, is that Saudi Arabia isn't actually too far away in terms of time zones from us, so we can actually watch wrestling at a respectable time. I was going to say, it's on in, like, the afternoon. It's even better for um, the Super Show, the Australian. Oh, yeah, that'll be on in, like, nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock in the morning or something. On Saturday, nice. Fuck, fucking WCW in the fucking 90s, mate. Saturday morning slam. I could see Triple H and the Undertaker fucking drag themselves up one more fight, like. In it, like <laughs> fucking win has to go to a retirement home. They still I was gonna wrestle. say a fucking crutch on a pole march. <laughs> they still fucking wrestle. Yeah, it's, man, it's tragic. It's, it's just it's sad. Undertaker's older than Tom Cruise. What? Tom Cruise wrestles? <clears throat> no, no. the Undertaker's older than Tom Cruise. Like he's still fucking wrestling. Oh yeah. Yeah, but like, you can tell, like. But like, he's really old now. Like he's really. Old. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Kyle, 
it just seems like he's aged really like a lot in like the last three years. Yeah, it's been like he's been yeah. the Undertaker for like fucking like ever. And in the last three years, he's just like com- like got fucking wrinkled, big old gut. I don't know any of that. <laughs> he's fucking decomposed. He's, fucking, Tri- he's a H. real dead man. Like Triple H was a fucking blob. Like, do you remember when he had that weird concussion? Fucking Curtis Axel when he first started. Oh yeah. That was yeah. all just like fucking bloated blob. <laughs> I mean, for what he was before. Did you like the booking of uh, Hell in a Cell last night? Oh, oh, not before, sorry. Main event, anyway. That's all part of shit. Main event, it's like a car box. No Jeff... contest for Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Like Jeff, Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton in a stretcher on a pole mat. Fucking what? Fucking screwdriver through his ear, like. Oh, I'll tell you what. That that's a good. It's something different in it, mate. I like, like it. I've never seen shit like that. So either. basically, basically, Bill. Jeff Hardy's got ear stretches, yeah. Yeah. And in the build-up to this, to this like this event on in Hell in a Cell, he was like putting his finger inside his earlobe, pulling it, and it looked so brutal. It was the coolest angle I've ever seen, man. It was so good. No, the coolest angle I've ever seen is Kurt Angle. I've <laughs> 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 seen the one that's like obtuse angle, right angle, Kurt Angle. <laughs> I see that, yeah. <laughs> are we going to talk about how good All In was? All In was fun. I love oh, it. Mate. Tell you what. I, I keep saying this about <laughs> fucking WWE, yeah. It just doesn't. The main events don't have that like big game feel. Do you know what I mean? Like, man, this is this is going to be a thing. All you hear is. Yeah. Like um, all cold. The big dog is a The big dog. Like, oh my god, Chuck. But um, yeah, Jeff Hardy. So yeah, that, that's the main event. But with that, with um fucking, with all in, they had a bit beastie fucking video. <laughs> And they had the fucking MMA star walking, fucking Cody Rhodes. It, like they even put it over on commentary. They was like, they was like, oh, look at this camp. <laughs> like it's a fucking MMA fight or something. And they all yeah. like matching fucking jackets on. Lacey was there for no apparent reason. Oh my god. All these well-known people and Lacey. Like fucking well. <laughs> Pre-show, WCW, Glacier, he's there for no reason. That's it, fucking Diamond Dallas Page is there and shit, you're like, oh shit, you're not on a Glacier. You only think they were missing the Yeti. It just, it just looked so good, like 10,000, you forget, didn't you, how much the crowd affects, oh, aff- yeah. affects a, a show. And then you see yeah. that, it literally looked like a WWE tape. I was well unreal. I was really impressed with that shit, man. Everyone, yeah, everyone was talking about um, that they really liked the whole like Bullet Club theme. Like it was like you know like NWO used to doing pay per views back oh, in like yeah yeah. I didn't really like it. I thought if they kept it like all in like its own yeah. thing because it had Bullet Club, it just kind of took away from it a little bit. But I don't know. but the rest of it was fucking amazing, just amazing. And then fucking Stephen Amell on there. <laughs> <I'm getting laughs> fucking arse wipe and a cunt. What's that? I completely forgot about that zombie like right by the door. Oh mate. That happens in that happens in the original as well. Yeah. Like it just appears. It was, I've noticed like sometimes it'd be like near that door where Richard is. Mm. Or it'd be like right by the entrance of where you come in. Alright, see if I can save Richard then, is it? I'm gonna Richard. try I'm gonna try to get the best end then as well. I can never remember the fucking best ending on this. I'm much better with the original. You just I'll tell got. You, what, mate. you I've been base. smashing, been smashing Resident Evil 3 recently. Like literally, every single one of my streams has been Resident Evil 3. I keep fucking dying on the clock tower. It's like no matter what I do, yes. I'm terrible against the nemesis of the clock tower. It's just you have to have loads of acid rounds and shit. Even then, it does take a lot. He's the fucking hardest boss in the game. That is, by the way, by far. It's just the area you're at as well as a fucking cheeky area. <clears throat> Does your laptop like, go on the screen saver? Or something? No. Like, 
Do you keep like wobbling the track? Like, keep it on or something? What? What in my chair? No, like you look at your laptop. Oh, I'm like looking at the screen. I'm like looking at the uh, screen. screen, just the screen, oh. just to see if it's. Uh, it's like you wobble your hand every. Like I don't know whether like your your laptop's going like screen saver mode or something. Even that. Yeah, was a oh no, that, that was. Oh, the cock out. That was when I was moving. <laughs> I was moving the uh, Skype thing in the corner so we wouldn't be in the way of the chat. So we've already got a really small laptop screen, but one massive cock. Fuck. Richard. Richard. Ah, I've probably saved him. I remember the first time I'd done this, I was like just being as slow as possible because I didn't realise it was like on a limit, a time limit. I came back and he died like he was already dead. Do you know how long the time is? It's like three minutes or something, isn't it? Oh, really? Something uh -huh. like that. I don't know, I went to the save room and shit and just started getting loads of crap and fucking just getting more ammo. <laughs> it's like fucking like. I went and got McDonald's as well. Fucking was... disappeared like the Ganado. <laughs> <laughs> There's that much acid in his body, just fucking disappeared. <laughs> I probably haven't saved him now because I've been bit. Oh. Like twice, but. I've just seen you get fucking munched by, uh, by a zombie. Am I cut the minutes bit? No, no, I think it's live. It is live. Oh, I've done it. Done it. It's only about doing well, Chris. He should be oh, I did save him, so that's alright. Facebook? Like, like I'm, I'm kind of. Looking at different streaming platforms, I try and stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. But I looked at Facebook, yeah. Facebook's really good for streaming until you realise it's about fucking five minutes behind. Is it? Yeah, so like you'll be streaming. Yeah, would and you? And you look back at your stream, and it's literally like five minutes behind. You're like, what the fuck's going on here? So you can't like have an interactive stream. Like with, with like whoever comments in the chat because it's so fucking far behind. No, that's shit that is. I'd never use that anyway. I just use uh, this is this seems like the best thing now to be honest. You see a lot of YouTube refugees, YouTube <laughs> live fucking streamers refugees going on Facebook. Like Stone Mountain sixty four and that. Thanks. Thing is though, you can turn the stream off and the fucking viewers have got ten minutes still to watch. Yeah, that's it. Well, that, well, it's not even that actually, because I thought that, that maybe it runs out, but it just fucking cuts the stream off when you stop streaming. <laughs> so you'll be like. You don't even the end, like. It's just, like, it's just like halfway through the game, like, fucking cuts it off. <laughs> nah, that's some shit, mate. They'll work on it. Like, they probably, you know. The amount of people that are using it, they'll work on it. I can't remember with the musical score. Actually, yeah, I remember. It's up in the, um, it's up behind Richard, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, in that little room. You know, yeah. where you have to push the bookcase out of the way. Yeah, that's the one. I'm going to have fun in there. It took so long to find. I just ended up fucking digging it. It's because if you've played the original for years, you just forget, mate. Yeah, mate. Sometimes I just forget who I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy, you'll know this. What the fuck is the difference in the chemical? Is it if you turn it red, it fucks all the herbs up? Yeah. If you turn it green, I can never remember. I think. What? Oh, oh, that's a bit of green there. What the fuck would happen? Just grow into plant 42 and fuck me up. No, it fucks your herbs up. Does it? It still kills it, but all them herbs get destroyed as well. What prick. So you have to turn it red, do you? Well, I guess so, yeah. I've never turned it green. Hmm. I've turned it green because I thought, oh, green is good, you know? Like, that's <laughs> No, green, let's go! I can't believe you gave you Madison and McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, it was a massive change of subject. No, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it was only because I was thinking about three moves down and I thought. What? <laughs> left McDonald's. <laughs> you fucking wally, mate. Oh, why did you leave McDonald's? Didn't you get a McDonald's job in Cardiff? I don't live in Cardiff. No, you've got halls in Cardiff. No, I'm in Trafarest, in Pontypreeth. Yeah. Where do you live? Where do you live? Trafarest. Um, oh, right. I'm, I live Is on campus. Oh, okay. Is there not a McDonald's there? 
No, There's not for miles. Files, like close to Pond people. It's not. Really... Is it a franchise? Is that why you couldn't? Yeah. Was, yeah. Well. Yeah. You had to reapply for it because I think that's that's it with franchises. You just have to apply like everyone. Else. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought we'd just come to anyway, because I'm, I'm entitled to ten grand anyway this year. Oh yeah, it's not then. Ah, I'll be alright. I'll probably get a part time job next year or something. Well, at least you got McDonald's, so like. Yeah. You can pick that back up. Yeah. Well, I left on good terms. I didn't shit on the fucking grills or anything before I left. Yeah. Well, you got uni, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Bro, did I tell you about one of my boys? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. <laughs> All right, but... But on his last day of McDonald's. Oh, yeah, you did. You told me about that. Tell oh, Connor. You have to tell Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor did you... <laughs> Wait, have you worked at McDonald's? Yeah, I've worked at McDonald's for two years, man. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you're crew trainer? You just stand. <laughs> No, 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 trainer. No, man. Trust me, be a crew trainer. I was at McDonald's two years part time, they gave me a crew trainer. Literally, all I did was fries every week. But I didn't know how to do front. I just did kitchen and fries. I never did front for two years, obviously. Never once. Yeah, no, fuck that. No, I did. Fucking first six months. My girlfriend, I met Faye at McDonald's and she did I used to tell her what to do. I never did front. I thought you were going to say you fucking served her or something. No, man, but. But basically, yeah, my, my guy, he's, he's been at McDonald's like four years or so, and then he got a job at O2, and he was like, oh, fuck this, can't be asked to work two jobs. Yeah. Um, so he gave his notice in at McDonald's, and on his last day at McDonald's, he comes down, <laughs> he comes down, yeah. And someone's recording it as well. He comes down, he's wearing, his, he's wearing an apron and a hat. Not oh, just an apron and a hat. Just an apron and a hat. Got nothing on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes in, he like walks up to the clocking machine, clocks in, and immediately gets sent home. <laughs> and because because it's because his contract terminates at McDonald's at like twelve o'clock that day, yeah. he still got paid for his shit. Oh, and, and obviously it doesn't go down as he's been fired. It just goes down yeah. as give his notice. In. Yeah. Yeah, fucking everyone was sharing it. That's fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, one of the managers got sacked over there, so... Because <laughs> mm. he recorded it. He recorded him walking in. Oh, <laughs> but, but did you I, was say... like, I was like, why have you got a shirt on? Because he was like walking down some steps and he just like, he looked like he just didn't have a shirt. I thought, ah, oh, that's a bit weird. And it wasn't until like he walked round the corner and you <laughs> could just see his ass. I was like, oh my Christ. But yeah, man, that's fucking jokes. Didn't you say that was like the best thing what happened to that manager after as well? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he worked at another firm and like earned like ten times more money because some of the are shit. So that's the best well, thing. Well, they're not shit. They're not shit. They're, 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 it is what it is, isn't it? Like, they're better than some places, but they're not. Yeah. You know. The thing is, you have these little. You have these little Primark. We used to work opposite a Primark. Yeah. You have these oh, little yeah. fucking Primark faggots coming in. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> in, in their fucking black uniform. Yeah. Coming in, looking, ordering food and looking. At underneath them. It's like, mate, you get fucking paid less than most of the money. I was going to say, yeah, you get paid more than McDonald's for paying. Enjoy your four hour contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is contract. literally. In McDonald's you get like 40 hours, man, if you're full time. Yeah, man. If you ask yeah. nicely, I'm fucking yeah. It's a oh, shit yeah. job, but it's a laugh. I used to do 18 hours on the weekend, like 9 hours on one day, 9 hours on the other one. I Fuck off, you bald to... prick. 11, 11 till 8 every every single day, every single uh, weekend. I used to do that, man. I used to shift uh, eight, nine hour shifts every weekend. Mm. It was really annoying, actually, because I knew I was a grafter, so they put me on these long shifts, and it got to the point. I was starting and finishing after it, and I was like, yeah. what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, that's bullshit when that happens. I hate that shit. Yeah, that happened to me as well a lot. Like, you get all these 12 8 fucking refugees coming in. <laughs> Like, it's not even a close. They'll be like, they'll do their fucking day. Oh, did, did you guys work in like a, a, a drive through or did you work in a Connor did. Oh, you, did, you didn't do a drive through did you? Nah, fuck that. I worked in a high street. But what was good oh. about the high street, and Connor will that, uh, sorry, Billy will vouch for this. You get downtime. You get yeah. downtime because with drive through it's a constant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Drive -through. It is. Whereas, whereas, like, for example, in Chatham, you know, you get to like four o'clock, you'd be rammed by people after school, 
um, yeah. just past about six, it just died down, and you can just fucking just leave a, leave 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 regular meat in there for like two hours. <laughs> Mine was twenty four hours as well. So. <clears throat> oh fuck that man. As was like he was between three and five, so it wasn't quite twenty four hours. Mm. Was yours? Was your? Was your one made for you as well? You know, like, like, do you do you have like a? And I had this conversation with Billy. I think. Um, was yours like a new? Like, it, was it refurbed? Your McDonald's? Oh yeah, yeah, it was refurbed. So, so like, you didn't have a chicken side and beef side. You had like they were both combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had that. I remember when it was the original. Like a lot of McDonald's still have the original system. Yeah, we did like, till like a couple of months ago. I yeah. See, yours only did it. Yeah. Honestly, mate, it's a fucking dream. Like, the, the whole beef system was totally redundant. Like, cause you had to wait ages for special orders and that. But yeah. It's actually easier with the new system. Just makes sense. It's quicker, fresher food as well. Oh, you guys weren't there. When you had the fucking McRib. Oh, I was. McRib. <laughs> I remember when. Oh, I remember it was when horrible. I was dying for a McRib. I, I really wanted to eat a McRib. It tastes like arse, mate. Do they? Yeah, that's horrific. Basically, the way you, the, what you had to do, yeah, it was fucking stupid. You, you, you got like, um, you know, like you got the, the tray that you put in the fucking production, like in yeah. the, uh, fucking, ah, oh, what's it called, man? Oh, the universal holding cabinet. <laughs> you, you UHC, you man. You know. Yeah, we used yeah, to say it long for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Trace on top of the universal hold cabinet, please! <laughs> oh, I see it, trays on top! Regular on top! <laughs> um, make sure the trays are on top! <laughs> Fishy fingers in! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you ain't done temps on this this morning! Yeah, all the it was me, me, you and his arm, like me, you didn't mean fucking got me a career, you fat cat. All my managers are fat. Okay. Oh yeah, that was yeah, it. And the rib. So what you had to do was it come in two sections? So you had the rib, and you had the um, you had the sauce that gets marinated into it. So it's basically just like barbecue sauce. So you had to heat the barbecue sauce up, fill the fucking UHC. Like, <sighs> you know, with, yeah, with the barbecue sauce and leave it in the fucking UHC. That sounds grim. Uh, yeah, and then and then what you had to do is you had to put these patties that you put, you put these fucking pork patties down, and then you had to put it in the sauce, mate. But and then put it back into the UHC. So basically, I had like marinated. But the problem uh, is when you, when you got like an order of fucking McRib, you would, you would get your tongs in, put it in, and a fucking sh barbecue shit goes everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> fucking all over. The all over the box. Like everyone's like, oh look, look at the state of my fucking box. Mate, there ain't no fucking easy way of doing it. <laughs> sure. I remember for like the Christmas special burgers and stuff. Like every year obviously they do the Christmas specials, don't they? Yeah. Like they have like, spiky festive, month, like yeah, festive yeah. Uh, chicken and that. Festive winter warmer, whatever. That's it. Winter warmer! Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> I was doing one of them, and I just, I remember, I don't know why, I got really fucked off, and I just fucking used like half a bottle of sauce on the hand. I just took it out, and the manager's just like, Oi, who did this? And the sauce is just like, out the side and shit out of the box. I felt so fucking sorry for the company paid for it. Do you, I don't know if they did deli to the phone photos from McDonald's, but uh. they stopped them all of a sudden. Basically, a deli was just, it was a stupid idea, actually. The deli was just a chicken legend that was fucking cut in half and put in a, a le sort of a legend bun and then rolled up in the deli wrap and in a deli um, like, a, like a plastic wrap, like a, wrap, like a tortilla wrap. Um, but it was literally the same. It was the same uh, ingredients that you get. You know, like you get chili wrap, chicken and bacon wrap. Oh, well, yeah, it, wasn't, yeah. it wasn't chicken and bacon, was it? It was the other one. It's, oh fuck, tangy. Whatever it's called. Yeah, they're going to be mean. They changed the names of them after I left. It used to be Chili Wrap. Very chili. everyone now or something. Yeah. Buff, buffalo. But you'd have them as a wrap. It's like really new though, innit? You'd have them as a wrap, but you could also get them as a deli. So it'd be like the same like build-up. So a chili deli would be a chili wrap, but just with a legend, legend cutting off. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I, uh, I've got to be honest, lads. I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I thought it was going somewhere, but oh no, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I just remembered. 
<laughs> I got so tired up with explaining what it was, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> talking about fucking you know. McDonald's on Resident Evil Remake Street. <laughs> Doesn't matter where it's going with this. <laughs> oh, that, that was just someone ordered. It was a special order, obviously, but it was a deli. But they wanted every single sauce in it. Oh, yeah. It was like, it was literally well. like, add chilli sauce, add barbecue sauce. It wasn't barbecue, oh. it was add tangy sauce, add mayo. And literally, there was no way of dressing it nice. So, like, you literally, even if you put one line of each, it's like fucking shit everywhere. Yeah. I don't know how that, that must have cost them so much as well. Chris! Chris! Yeah, probably would, wouldn't it? Yeah. They didn't charge you extra for the sauce. Mm. I mean, crafty as fuck. I'll tell you what, man. Breakfast shifts for one. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. I used to do a 6 till 12, like, when, when, I, when I used to fucking tell them, I don't want to do this 11 9 anymore. I've got no fucking time on weekends. It just feels like yeah. I'm leaving work and coming back in. They put me on these 6 12s, mate. They, basically, what they tried to do was they tried to fucking mug me off and put me on 6 12 and think I'd be like full. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. I'd turn up on time and shit. But, mate, I was there yeah. early. Right. <laughs> I used to do 6 12s, mate. I used to love it. Just, by the time you've gone through, you've done a breakfast shift. Breakfast shift is generally fine anyway. Yeah. Like you meet the closest, you meet the overnighters, you do what you need to do, you, you have you have your, you have a couple of hours working, and then you'd have lunch, then there's changeover, changeover takes about an hour, and then you go home, it's so easy, it's so good, it's so lovely, I used to, I, I used to get put on, basically really busy in the morning, because I used to have a club nearby, I used to do a 5-2 mate, oh what a shift that was, that was a naughty shift. 5-2, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's nasty. No, it's a good chip, honestly. It's fucking sick. Like, it sounds bad on the surface, but it's really good. Because that 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, fucking fly through. I was going to say, those 5-2 shifts, they, they do go quick. Like, when you're in 5-6 in the morning. 6-12 is the best one. 6-12 is the best. Yeah, yeah. Because you're... Like, you get out before lunchtime and then it starts getting busy and everyone's like, oh, I need help, and you're like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're watching the Titanic sink and you're just rolling away. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I love it. I love it. And um, what was good about, because it was in chat, you know, the parking meters didn't charge till like nine o'clock. So you only had to pay three hours as opposed to eight hours. Like if you did a, a like a standard 12 hour shift, so. Yeah. I just had a fucking car park, so I just parked me. I mean, he used to send parking fines. I said to the manager, I said, oh, you sort this out for me. I'm not fucking paying that. Mm. 70 quid parking fine, like, no. Yeah, fuck that. They just yeah. add you to the list, don't they? Yeah, yeah. You, like, write it on the computer and then sort it out. But yeah, that's the, fit. that's the only thing about working on High Street. Obviously, drive through has got their own parking. Yeah. Oh, I guess what I've done. Go on. I thought... <laughs> Do you know in the original Resident Evil where there's a typewriter in the main hall? Yeah. There's not one in the fucking remaster, is there? <laughs> yeah, but there's one in the um, there's one in the uh, dining room. On oh. The side. Is that? Yeah, 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 on the right hand side. I thought I just completely picked up an ink ribbon for no fucking reason because I'm off to <laughs> I'm off to go see Mr. Yawn. Yeah. If you go back into where? Yeah. yeah and then go to the right. Oh. It's just on the side. Oh! You went to the left, you silly sausage. That was before you said go to the right. Did I say go to the right when you was in the car? Oh. Hey, there Fuck it's... off! I, I forget your stream's gonna be behind, I'm not, not watching the live. I saw you playing uh, Real Survivor difficulty earlier as well. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it, as it sounds. To be honest, you, you get used to using one item box in the mansion and. Anyway, yeah, I, I can imagine it gets a little bit difficult when you have to transfer between, like, the guard house and the mansion. Yeah. But the lab, look, after you get to the lab, I can imagine it's a fucking cakewalk. In it, because it's just like that one iron box. No, there's yeah. two, there's two actually, yeah, but... No, yeah, there's, it's similar to the original, isn't it? It's got, like, one at the top and then one. Yeah. And one in the... By the... By the lab. By the tyrant. Alright, Mr. Fucking Yawn, what's going on, my friend? Boys, RE2 is going to be fucking lit. Oh, I can't wait, mate. I, uh... 
Oh, that's he's bit me every time I try to get past him. <laughs> I tell you what, the the uh, the BSAA uniform is so much better than the original. Like, I really prefer them. Oh, like, dual BS because it to me it like remakes the remake. Like they just look more realistic. I think the the old like whatever the fuck Jill was wearing that weird Power Ranger fucking outfit. <laughs> like it just don't make sense. Whereas. Obviously, it makes sense if they wear what they wore, because they're like special agents, isn't they? Yeah. Look at that door. That door's fucking stinking, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody's spunked all over the fucking door. Ah, oh, it may actually makes sense because maybe Yawn is actually just a fucking giant dick. Big spunk. Look at it. Oh, it's creepy, man. Do you get the assault shot? Oh, obviously it's not going to matter for this playthrough. But do you get the assault shot? Oh, oh fuck. Kind of... Um, yeah, I think so. Where'd you get it from? Because I thought, I thought, fucking Richard gets eaten. I can't remember. No, oh, Richard gets Ian. And, uh, when the fuck does Richard get Ian? I can't remember. Is that Jill as well? Or? No, no, oh yes. Uh, no, didn't, didn't you find him at Neptune? Neptune, that's the one. Well, has he gone off now or is he just sitting there? He's, uh, back as looking after him. Oh, oh yeah, you, I think you find him. Shagging Neptune, him, she is. <laughs> Rebecca's shagging sucking him. venom out of his cock, mate. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, uh, I'm going to get this uh, venom out. <laughs> Alright, let's do a stupid fucking puzzle then. Puzzles. Puzzles. <laughs> Couldn't beat that puzzle on charting me. Oh, I can't I'm even. Pissed off through this scummy fucking window. <sighs> nice cold tea, which I forgot was there. <laughs> Have you got any pies down? <laughs> I can't remember where you do this, so I'm just gonna push him around the order. I like some of that, they were good to, to get free with the monopoly thing. Yeah, they were alright, they were. Yeah, they were. They were. It took like, what, six minutes in there? Yeah, yeah, six minutes, yeah. And there will always be a fucking smelly cunt in your like, fucking fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you eat anything else? Like... It'll always be packies. There's always packies oh. ordering that and a filly or fish, isn't it? And there's that one cunt that goes, you know, I love two veggie deluxes, please. Go oh, fuck off, mate. No one eats that. Shit. One of you ate C. Yeah, one of you ate yeah. has been there since fucking 10 30. It's now 4 o'clock. <laughs> It's literally like... It's literally started to grow hair. Oh, yeah. It's the one that tried fucking attacking me. That's it. <laughs> Even though it's a bit wrong, isn't it? Because the... Oh, the be best it, didn't, didn't the oil like, that, we, that they used in like chips and that... Like, the point is, you was meant to cook it in the... Um, cook it in the vat of the chips, but didn't... Uh, the fries, but didn't like the fries... Have like a chicken extract on them or something. It's, 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 like, it's all irrelevant. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I, why, if you were like vegetarian, why would you even fucking go to McDonald's? Yeah, Is it meant to be healthy? Even the, even the salads look like fucking shit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> on the side salad, oh, they look like they come out of fucking Shrek's asshole. <laughs> like literally. The people that make up the side saddle are then fucking retards and can't get anybody to do it to do it on a regular show, so Yeah, like me. <laughs> so, so the fucking Sally's probably all got fucking like saliva and fucking bits of dandruff. Ah, oh, just push that other one yeah, of course I have. You fucking inbred fuck. Someone's fucking toupee in the bottom of the side saddle. I just like the old shit. Real chicken, mate. I, I never understood. Oh, yeah, that's buzzing. It was, it was sweaty. Oh, sweaty chicken. It's disgusting. Oh, this signature burger cheese. The cheese from that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like sweaty. knob cheese. It's fucking oh. disgusting. Ugh. What the fuck's wrong with people? Why would you want that? It, it was quite nice, actually, I'm saying that. 
<laughs> it was actually nice. Everywhere it is nice. the signature burger. When I was on um, when I was on McDonald's, when they was on fire, I was pretty much on fries. I was like the go-to Saturday fry guy because I was fucking sick at it. And no one can get it. I don't know how people shit at fries. It's never, I've never understood it. No, it was easy. It was easy. Yeah. Be best thing, mate. Just fucking chuck loads of baskets down and fucking worry about everything later. Exactly. Everyone goes, oh, we got too many fries down. Would well, do you want to go on fucking fries then? Oh, I didn't think so. Shut the fuck yeah, up. I love that. Oh, you got too many fries down. Well, sorry. Yeah, it's because they're, oh, they're not fresh enough. Oh, fuck off. Fine. Well, in all fairness, though, they do get a bit soggy if you leave the frozen ones yeah, out. Mate. No, so I like them to, soggy. They, no. they literally go soggy like you on a fucking Sunday morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's a flaccid knob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind them soggy, they're all right. Knobs. Gives them, like, texture, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't taste like sticks. But I was there at McDonald's before, that apparently they've got, like, a... You know, like, how you've got, like, a... What the screen just... Um... Screens are actually cool. Oh. That that is just order on the screen. I don't know. Yeah. No, but there was like a terminal anyway, there's terminology for it. That like and it would like itemise your order in it. So like, yeah, yeah. one legend. Apparently I had one for fries, but I wasn't there when I was there. Yes. So you have to yeah. have fries. Shit. Yeah, I, I assume it'd tell you how many mediums and larges you have. Yeah, exactly. It's, really, it's common sense. Oh, common fuck, knowledge. That. fuck that, man. Fucking do it by ear. Fucking... Oh, oh, what's that? That's a triple basket. That's a triple basket. Oh, what? He's ordered... He's ordered as far as he's having a new triple basket. <laughs> you shouldn't... You shouldn't have to be trained on fries and like... Like, literally, like... Three weeks into training, you should be a pro of fries, really. What I never understood yet was because I was a crew trainer. They go, oh, can you teach him, teach fucking, let's call him Philip. Can you teach Philip to do fries today? I fucking taught cunt how to do fries. I was competent as fuck because I was a good teacher. I fucking never put him on fries. I was still on fries. What was the point? Yeah, they do that. Yeah, they do shit like that. Anyway, the discount was nice though, wasn't it? It was like two, it was like two quid for a fucking sausage and egg muffin meal. See, the discount was nice. Hmm. Not like too good for bacon roll. You weren't there for when uh, they gave us free meals, were you? Yeah. What? When you ate? What? When you worked there? When you ate. <laughs> <laughs> you ate. <laughs> oh, when you worked there. Yeah. We used to. Basically, we used to. Um, we either. Well, when it first started, pre. This is before people started taking the piss and we'd have like fucking triple cheeseburger and loads of fucking bacon. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do that before, you just used to fucking clock out, get your food and go. But because everyone used to take the piss, yeah, we got downgraded to a fucking point system. Yeah, that's what we so had. Like, yeah, so like a, a a large meal's three points. No, no. You could basically have a large meal and a muffin if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. But apparently at other McDonald's it's really strict, like you can only have like a medium meal. You're not allowed to yeah. eat desserts. Some were really, yeah, yeah, same some with us. Like yeah, it was that with us. You could only get a medium-sized meal. Um, you couldn't have any promos either. Okay. And you can't. You, you oh, weren't even right. allowed a fucking milkshake, mate. It'd have to be like you weren't even allowed to toffee. <laughs> you weren't even allowed to toffee latte. But they sometimes oh. let me have one now no and again. The Grim Reaper. How you doing, mate? Hey, what's happening, mate? I completely forgot this thing. That's strange. Sorry, you fucking idiot, mate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's happening, Green it's Reaper. I'm looking at it, so. It's like I'm playing, but with no hands. <sighs> yeah, I wish I could you play now. I've seen that now, aren't you? But yeah, they, um. Oh, that was it. It was three points for a large meal, and it was four points for a promo. They did let you have promo. But oh, when you used to do Monopoly, when Monopoly was in, they used to fucking rip all the fucking stickers off it. You never used all to like... that. If you used to Monopoly things, so you put them, no, no, no Monopoly, even if like we worked there, like, and we weren't, like, Yeah, same with us. Unless you, yeah, they wouldn't let us use Monopoly things. Like, I had to get my mates in college to do the Monopoly shit for me, like. Oh, what? So, like, even if you won something, you wouldn't have to get it? Honest to God, man, I had to get my girls in college to do it, like, my bitches, That's my hoes. I'm not bad, thank you, Grim.
I like how it just cool. goes fucking dead silent there. It's because yeah. fucking dead silent is like Jack. Also, we, you guys had the better uniform than us. We had this fucking <laughs> mustard yellow, green trousers. <laughs> Tell you what, I recorded on Snapchat my last day as well. Where I threw my shoes for crews, fucking fake converses in the bin. I had the old uniform for like six months. Then like, <laughs> fuck happened then? Huh? <laughs> Billy's fucking stream ended. What you? What the fuck? Oh, mine's, mine's still playing. Oh, is it? oh, there we are. Yeah, it's working. For some reason it just turned off. Like usually my PS4 does that. Like automatically turns it off. Oh, um, yeah. It's probably because it's literally just hit an hour, so that's probably why. It probably just let you. Oh, that's, uh... like mine then, it does that. It just like. I don't know what it's up with it, man. I'm gonna swap providers because Vodafone have said we can leave the contract. Um, but, like, you'll be streaming on OBS. You'll, you'll understand what I mean. Well, both, actually, both of you understand. Um, you'll be streaming on OBS. It's because I watch my, my stream back on my phone because it's got my chat on it. Like, the stream would just randomly end. But it's still streaming on OBS, it just says 0kbs, so it's like my upload like fucking bottlenecks itself. <laughs> and like, just, yeah, it just stops uploading, and I have to wait like half an hour for it to just start uploading again. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I used to live at, when I used to live at, when I used to live at my mum and dad's, like my brother and that, we, we, we actually bought, me and my brother bought Virgin Media. Like Virgin Media um, fiber optic internet, the 300 Mbps one, the 40 quid one, mm. and it was fucking brutal, mate. You could fucking, he could stream on it, I could download on it, and fucking my sister could watch Netflix, and it wouldn't even fucking bat an eye. There we are. You see his fucking beep. Look at this wind crest, and look still look hilarious. <laughs> oh mate, they get me. The fucking crest <laughs> get me. <laughs> the original. <laughs> They only got the. the yeah, oh, fuck, piss off. Ah. <laughs> Looks like a fucking genie. <laughs> oh, why am I. I don't even need the crests. What, what, You're not getting a man. Man. Yeah, what the fuck? What am I doing that for? Stuff, I've literally just got to get the last death mask. I can't remember what that is. So, have you got the one at the birds? Oh, no, I am done that. The That's the last one. Yeah. What was that noise then? Oh, sorry, that was my, uh... That was my danger. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off, you fucking... hungry <laughs> shit asshole. Nathan's calling me from my goal road, just asking this one for <laughs> People stuff. Why do you sound like a 40 year old <laughs> fucking chain smoker? I don't think I actually used people stuff ever. Like, no, I never used it. I never used it uh, Just to check my shifts. <laughs> yeah, and that was say, always yeah. shit on me. Yeah. It's a mess. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Towards the end, like me working there though, I was kind of like every shift I seen, I was just like, oh, advertise, advertise, advertise. <laughs> but the thing is, it wasn't like people could pick up your shifts if they weren't trained in that area, which is wrong. Or worse, what it was like when, it, when I was there. Now, if you wasn't trained on like, say uh, someone was advertising a shift, it was on front. Oh, we like, didn't have. Uh, we just kind of went in, like, you just turn up and the manager's like, oh, just go you, and then they send you off there, and they're like, oh, go there. It's a oh, mess. We cannot absolutely wait for a Resident Evil remake. Yeah, man, we are buzzing. Yeah, fuck it. yes. Can't oh, wait. Resident Evil 2 remake. just looks insane. I've got my cans in the fridge ready for it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've, I've told you boys, I've booked the, um, I've booked the 25th off. January 25th off. Yeah. I'm imagining I'm probably not going to finish it all in one day, actually. I might have to put the second day off. You might be able to. Um, what is it, Monday? I'm not sure. It's a Tuesday. It's a fucking weird day, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no, it's a Friday. Yeah. Oh, Friday. Oh, what Friday. win that is? Oh, that's alright then. Oh, yeah, I'm booking, I'm booking the Friday off. Um, and then me and my brother are just literally going to pick it up 
Like, I was going to go to the midnight launch, but I think oh, I just got to fucking pick it up at like, the morning in the morning. You play fucking die with leukemia or something. You'll smell your fucking nudes. <laughs> that That's it. I'll be like trying to stream it with like my fucking eyes, like my fucking bags around my eyes, like ball sacks. <sighs> wade your way through the smog, like. <laughs> but like. Game yeah, will be like a few million questions. We just pick it up at nine in the morning, come back and stream it for the rest of the day. Yeah. I can't then, remember. Yeah. I can't remember. You do this little puzzle where. Um, you have to get it to purple, don't you? Know? Oh, that's it. You have to get the colours to match what she's got on her neck, I think. So it's, the, it's like the green... The green fucking brace thing on her head. What was yeah, it? Yeah, so the colours have got to be... Yeah. That's an outlast. No. So the, well, the crown's got to be green. Oh. That's it, right? I'm just gonna play around with him. Alright, so what's that? You should have seen the fucking dude in game, man, right? I bought Spider Man. He was asking me, do I know what Spider Man is? I was like, bro. No, <laughs> man. Like, Spider Man's like man. the most well known anime character of all time. Of course I know. <laughs> Spider Man was great in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Spider Man's part in Last Miserable. <laughs> Mate, it's, it's stuff like that. The stuff like that, I think. Where's Thanos, man? <laughs> he needs to click his fingers. You know, he just needs to erase the fucking inferiors. Bro, I heard the best your mum joke ever. What was that, mate? It was, your mum's so fat. Thanos had to click his fingers twice for her to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no fucking way. That's I like the brilliant. one on the Predator, though. The one on the Predator was quite funny. That, uh, that black guy. He's like, um, what's the difference between Braxley's... Oh, no, what's the difference between a joke and five black guys? Braxley's mother can't take a joke. <laughs> if I can tell you what, man. Fucking... Like, comic book films are coming up well SJW friendly. And like... Mm. They're all, like, politically correct. That's the thing though, man, the predator was shit, but it's gonna yeah, piss man. a lot off. Because it's like, it's taking the piss out of people with fucking autism and Tourette's, and I'm like, fucking hell, this is gonna piss people off. Wait, Predators <laughs> is in that new Predators film? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's shit, though, it's shit. Yeah. That's right. it's, it's really funny, though. There's a um, the guy from the original Predator, there's a guy from that, and like Stephen Black, his name is. Oh, he directs it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's the director and he's in it as well. He plays like this guy with Tourette's and he's like the funniest fucking guy in the I swear to God, he's so fucking. <laughs> he's just brilliant. But apart from that, it's just shit. Like the CGI is even terrible. Oh shit. It's cheap as, it's cheap as fuck, man. It's I've, been, I've, fuck. Been, I've been wanting to watch it actually because uh, me and where I live, um, right next to like, a, like literally a tw like a 20 second wall, it's right next to Odeon. So we've, oh, got, li we've got limitless cards. And I had a couple of off in August, and we literally watched about. This is when we first got a limitless card. So I just that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we watched about eight films. Like, <laughs> it was the best, probably spent the best part of 140 quid each if we were, like, manually got the tickets. Yeah, yeah. But it's only like 17 quid, which is totally reasonable. That's really and good, though. As long as, you, as long as you know you can. Your, your taste in film, like, you can watch at least two films a month, you're fine. To make it, like, worth your while. Alright, fellas, I'm off to fight fucking, what's his name, in, uh, The Crypt. Father Ted the Crimson Head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to myself. Actually, what is his name? It's George Trevor, isn't it? George yeah, Trevor. yeah, George is Trevor. I think it is George Trevor. That does sound really familiar. Build X Factor Audition E. In Resident Evil Law. Do you reckon Crimson Heads are going to appear in RE2? Oh, I fucking hope so. I fucking hope not, mate. I hated these cards. Oh, yeah, but it makes the, this is, in my opinion, this one, what I'm playing right now, is the scariest Resident Evil ever made. Uh, Resident, that guy's from Resident Evil 6, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apart from that one. Have you, have you played it? Do you know how atmospheric it is? Virgin. 
the only thing I was fucking scared of in that game is how shite it was. He's <laughs> <laughs> got I a bigger odd. Quid on it. He's got a bigger identity crisis than fucking Bruce Jenner, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's pretty good. Vid it all now. So I'm gonna take on this motherfucker with a butter knife. Mate, gotta be careful. Fucking wielding that butter knife. Especially in the UK, mate. Where's your license? Oi, <laughs> oi, oh, oh, fella, where's your license? for the help of the staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fucking cat and mouse now. Why is it like the biggest bag in the tree for it? I was fucking oil for my car <laughs> in, in Halflands. And then I'm like, asking me all these questions, I'm like, <laughs> fucking redundant. Yeah, mate, you might as well just be asking me to use it. Like, I'm fucking useless. <laughs> Accurate. Basically, is a fucking angle. It's Santa Claus, isn't it? Father, what's his name? Saint Nicholas. Actually, it is. You, you have to kill him, didn't you? Yeah. You can't, like, just run around him. What the fuck? Why isn't that you not accessible? Oh, yeah, I've got a nose. Uh, Voldemort. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson there. Michael Jackson mask. It's, it's fresh off his fucking uh, coffin. <laughs> I wonder if you look at his body. It's, it's, it's just the face. Yeah. <coughs> well, no, what if his skin's still wet? It's all plastic. But all of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot his arms were white as well. Question <laughs> I mean, it's only fair. It's only fair for us to get his cock shrunk. To come down. Oh, yeah. Kind of. 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 Kind Ah! Look at this, look how fucking ridiculous I am. I'm just doing this on real survivor without I was thinking of that at the end, like how the fuck is that going to work? 
you have to use, yeah, you have to use a rocket at the end. You're allowed oh, to use yeah. that. You're allowed to use that rocket. It. It's not really. <laughs> it's not really knife, knife only after all. <laughs> it should be knife, knife only up to the point of the last area. Yeah. Resident Evil 5, Sheriff's Black Heritage only. <laughs> Black Heritage. Resident Evil 5, Chris's Boulder only. Actually, you'd think, yes. him throwing punches, yeah. Like, they'd be so devastating. Because, like, he was punching boulders at the end. But yeah. I, ju I, I don't feel like that was comparable to the hits you could do on people. Hmm. You'd be able to take someone's head off, wouldn't you? Mm. Punch me into next week. <laughs> There's loads of memes about that, like my drunk uncle. <laughs> I always see it on Facebook. What? <laughs> Of, uh... It'd be like, you know, like, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. It's like, like where it's got, like, the little guy, and then, like, a massive Colossus, and it'd be like me, and it's like, my drunk uncle's dick. <laughs> it's like, the fucking <laughs> Colossus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's dirty. Any fucking herbs I can take up here? No. Okay. I could really use some herbs. I got enough room to see to take some from the iron box. Alright, that's not wise. No. Alright, round two with this fucking asshole. Round two. Rematch. I would use a shotgun, but since I'm working on my phone here, uh, I don't think I can use a shotgun. If it was fists only, maybe we could. <laughs> <laughs> Castle bring it. <laughs> How are you gonna get new castles? I'm doing a fucking war zone. What's this asshole got on? Yeah. What's this guy got on anyway? Uh, the, the, uh, umbrella. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It just looks so ridiculous when he's fucking chasing me around. Ha, ha, what is the easiest way of doing that? Just, gonna find it. just like this, mate. That's all I've seen in the past. What are you saying to me? Ridiculously good at it. Especially when you have to catch every dog. You gotta stand at a perfect distance. Like that. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? it when, you, when you see it on the street, that's right. Basically, it's like, the side of the So, like, every time they say something, they're like, 30 seconds later. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's when he swings, like, does a 360 turn around, isn't it? Like that. Oh, shit, get the hell the cell phone is going to fucking lick phone the phone box. Oh, I'm fucking He probably doesn't actually. He's doing it. He probably doesn't. He thought he was a retirement hook. He probably hit the mat. 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 It's like that music that goes... Oh! 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 Oh!
Seth Rollins and Hulk Hogan is the only spot for him. And yeah, go on. Set it up. Yeah, I'm sure I've done it! Oh, Fuck I! It's in my top three. Oh, well done. Fucking ass wipe. I'm danger though. Ah, what time. Imagine I get killed on the way out by something. Uh, which is a very high possibility. Fucking pro comes past and pecks you. Gusts of wind knocks you downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a banana peel like a Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna check if there's any fucking hoop at all. Because if I get bit once, I'm dead. Um. Alright, I'm ready to leave the mansion. But first. <laughs> Let me take a selfie. <laughs> oh, actually, I got a good idea. I got a very fucking good idea. The herbs outside. The unlimited amount of herbs, but it's not the unlimited amount, but it's like three uses of herbs or something. And Dino's on chatting. <laughs> if he's still alive, anyway. Where the fuck is he? Hello. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, okay. Unlucky. <laughs> fucking wish you were. It's like knock on the wood to. Have the genie bring him back. Between <laughs> the genie from Kent. <laughs> You're right, mate. Give you three wishes. <laughs> Where's your wish license? <laughs> Where your wish card, there, mate? Uh... <laughs> Are you buying your wish? Is that what you want? I think it was Lisa Trevor you were thinking of earlier, Andy. Lisa Trevor. You said about that, uh, that fucking, what's the name? The Crimson Ed. You were calling him. No, it was George Trevor. George Trevor. What, and Lisa Trevor's. Oh, is he the father? No. That makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. It all makes sense now. The numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to the game of the year 2010. Please don't tell me I was actually game of the fucking year. No, I think game of the year 2010. Was Batman Arkham Asylum? Yeah, that was on. I was 2009. Oh, was it? I was 2009. Fucking right there, mate. Oh, Christ, he's gonna look it up. Fact check. Oh, I could eat your keyboard fucking from here. Not even, that's not even through the headphones, mate. Game of the year 2010 might not even be Red Dead, though. Like, officially. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, right. Just to let you know, boys, Game of the Year is actually Mass Effect 2. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ugh. Oh, Mass Effect. Well, no, actually, hang on. There's like loads of Game of the Years. Hang on. That was Dice Game of the Year. Well, I'm gonna go to IGN, because that's where I get all of my uh, sources from. Rate bait out of eight. I think Mass Effect is like sex with a rape victim. It's just not fun, like. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was good. That's not sex with the drunk hungry. It's no. only fun, but for one party. <laughs> I know I'm being a little bitch saving again, but... This is knife only, not fucking save twice only. Yeah, no. Red Dead, hang on. So it was... Neo Gaff had Mass Effect number one and Red Dead Gaff. two. Rate oh my, my gaff. God. Mass Effect. Super Mario Galaxy was third. We get Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Bayonetta was four. What the fuck? Bayonetta was only number four. That's a badass game though. Heavy Rain was six. Heavy Rain's not even a game. No, it's a film. It's an interactive film. It's a Netflix film. fucking original. YouTube series, Skate PewDiePie. 
<laughs> first aid spray. I got a fucking hey, first aid. On the side now, low key I already did like heavy rain. <laughs> Heroin. It was, really good, it was a really good fucking light like, film. <laughs> it had 18 different endings. Oh yeah, there are loads of endings. Yeah. I played Beyond Two Souls just because Willem Dafoe was in it. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. Someone Willem actually said. Toe. Someone actually said. If uh, if Elon Musk gets kicked off the Tesla board, that's how you create the Green Goblin. You don't want the Green Goblin. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. I love that chicken running to strike and ready to eat. I love chicken, man. No chicken escapes, Tweedies. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tweedy! <laughs> no, honest to God, no. I thought that fucking woman was a man. <laughs> chicken Man was an OG fucking anime edition. One of the Bloody first, geez. wasn't it? I don't want to be a pal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life flashed before my eyes! I was literally in one of my childhood films, it was fucking awesome. I love Chicken Man. I was like, oh, what kind of pies? Chicken, you don't. My favourite! <laughs> yeah. Apple. My favourite chicken pie. She has a full chicken farm, she's just gonna make chicken pies, like me. <laughs> Fucking waste of fun chicken, it's like. You don't wanna be a pie. <laughs> Fucking like American rooster then go around <laughs> in the 404 soundtrack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big up my boy Chicken Run. Oh, what's his name? Choke what's that me. fucking bloke's name? The the chicken, the main chicken. The one who Rocky. says you can fly but you can't fucking fly. Rocky. Oh, Rocky. Yeah, I hate that guy, he's a cunt. Says you can fly. Fly, it's gonna be a pie. I injure the chicken, I do. Oh, close <laughs> to me. I'm gonna fucking. Not the answer. Mr. Tweedy! <laughs> Mr. Tweedy, what is that chicken doing over the fence? Oh, chickens are off to something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that part. Those chickens are off to something. Just fucking spinner dogs, like it's a fucking no. Me and my me and my boy Brad at work, yeah. Because in the world of rope access, mate, all we talk about is Shrek. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we was just reminiscing on how fucking good Shrek was. Yeah. An ogre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shrek was fucking awesome, man. That's what me and Connor talk about. Right? Uh, uh, Andy, me and Billy, buddy, in WWE 2K18 had a full fucking storyline and feud for fucking Donkey and Shrek going up to WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, because Donkey kept tricking, taking the fucking hardcore championship. Yeah. What a traitor. Wow. Donkey, but he screwed over Shrek with a six man ladder match. It's the biggest crossover event since Infinity War. It is. Probably still bigger than that. Most ambitious. We have like Jeremy Clarkson versus Thanos as well. Yeah, if I can Jeremy Clarkson won. If I can beat the shit out of Thanos. Jeremy Kyle, Jesus Christ. Jeremy Kyle. Yeah. No, we have Jeremy, Jeremy Kyle Corbin. There, we have loads, didn't we? And fucking, uh, what else do we have? Fuck. Uh, what else do we have? I only posted. I only post creamy, zesty memes about Jeremy Corbyn, mate. Like. He's, he's <laughs> such a, such mean material. Co Co Corey Taylor knocked out Red Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fucking Royal Rumble. Billy Baron Corbyn eliminated me when I was Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> oh, side now, what the, Baron Corbyn looked on point. Oh, what a mate, shame, yeah. someone proper ripped him about his hair. They said like, they said that like, because basically really, Baron Corbin, like, he's this guy, he's really sick to be fair, but he's got this receding hairline, he's just, 
He ain't that old, but he's just got he's losing he's, he's clearly losing his hair. Yeah. But he's still intent and growing it out. But someone said, Oh, Baron Corbin's head looks like fucking venom when it's like <laughs> when it's like trying to come like trying to come off its symbiote, like <laughs> it literally looks like Venom trying to attach himself to his head. This is one I told you about before, but one of the when you smashed the Corey Taylor. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was on the uh, download, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was sick. I love it when I do stuff like that. Corey Taylor just fucking smacked him up. Yeah, that box of bitch slapped him. Fucking yeah. Corey Taylor. He should have spat in his face. He's like, spit it out. <laughs> like a song, innit? Yeah. You guys listen to like Cannibal Corpse and that, didn't you? Like, yeah. Circle children and that. Fucked with the life. That's what I'm currently doing. These zombies. I'd actually make a fucking badass aim for a start. Oh, I come blood and all that shit. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm good. That was, it was definitely, that was definitely the fucking heaviest gig I've ever been to in my life. And it always will be. I know I, I can't go to a heavier gig than that. It was the only thing I dirty. find, like, I, I go to a few gigs here and that. And the last one I went to was, oh, fuck me, it was a year ago. How was it a year ago? It was Dead by April. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I don't mind going to rock gigs here. But I just find everyone there is weird. Like, everyone is like these weird introverts that all of a sudden, like, come out of nowhere like, and start moshing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? A mosh pit, innit? You just. Mate, I remember last year I, I went with my brother and my sister, and um, then to go see Dead by April because they both like them as well. Yeah. And uh, there was some birds yeah, there, they pop, and then it like, you know, they they fucking they're trying the band trying to roll the crowd. They go, you know, are you ready for the next song or whatever? And everyone goes, yeah. A fucking ass girl my life. She had this point, yeah. And she threw it up in the air, like, yeah, and it went all over the sky, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was not happy. He was like, what the fuck, though? She, 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 she starts kicking off. He's like, why did you throw that at me? It is a valid point, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah and she's yeah. like, I'm oh, sorry, I was all into it and that. And he was like, well, that's not cool, like, shirt's all messed up. And she only goes and gets really fucking annoyed on it. Ch tells her boyfriend about it. Like, oh, oh. Yeah. And then he goes, I'm oh, sorry about that, mate. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, so good. He goes up to him and he's like, oh, don't worry about it, mate. She's being a cunt. She's like putting it on Facebook. Oh my god, had the worst night ever. A guy only, a guy only got arsey because I threw a drink over him. I fucking hate, I fucking hate girls like that, mate. Honestly. Always play the victim. Too many of them. Too yeah. many of them. Got to keep them in line, mate. I say to Faye, I'm like, excuse me, the master's talking. Excuse me, you've got to let these bitches know this boss every now and again. Evidently, it doesn't work. <laughs> this thing, though, like, they want to, like, control every aspect of it, but then when they're in the bed, they're like, oh my god, hold me down, throw me, choke me, <laughs> <laughs> Just... Like, nah, bro, you want to fucking dominate every other fucking aspect of my life? Why not throw me the fuck around? <laughs> no, choke why me you, I bet you're like, why don't you fucking pay me in the ass? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, why don't you spit at my arsehole? <laughs> why don't you lick my butthole? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty mochen. Are you still part of the course of Mafia, Connor? Yeah, I still got that course, man. I'm getting rid of him. I'm getting rid of him in November now. Oh yeah, or you just like not driving? Um, no, I am going to drive. I'm looking at um, focuses at the moment. Like the like last year, old one. Okay, 2012 model, maybe something like that. Nothing too. Have you got money? Yeah, got... save for it. I bought like three and a half grand saved. So... Do you know? Do you know what advice? Son. Being around your age, don't go for the car that everyone else has got. Oh no, no. I, everyone I makes that mistake. Do you know what car I drive? Do you, do you know what my mates just bought a fucking Volkswagen Sorocco? Admittedly, it's a nice car. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And my other mates bought an ST. Admittedly, very nice car. But everyone gets it. Do you know what car I've got? Yeah. A fucking BMW 5 Series, mate. Do you know anyone? My age has got a fucking BMW 5 Series. I, I don't. It's a myth, mate. It's a myth that insurance is more expensive. Insurance is going to be expensive because we're young. We just have to get yeah. on. I got three points on my license as well. So. Oh, fuck me. How'd you get that? Speed it. Speed it fine, yeah. Oh, shit. You didn't even get a chance to get a speed awareness. Well, I, I did. But I missed my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> can, you can you reschedule it? Oh, well, that's the thing. I tried to. And then it wouldn't they sounded for three years, didn't it? Or five years? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But even then, mate, if insurance is still... It's going to be expensive whether you've got a fucking Corsa or you've got a fucking BMW. Literally, to me, yeah. the, the only difference is the excess. So as long as you're not being a cunt on the road... In all fairness, for our car up there now, I'm paying some over a month for it on insurance. See, that's not, what's that? What does that equate to? 700 quid a year? Yeah. 800 quid? Yeah. Uh, that's how much my insurance is. Mm. So, so really not, it's not that much more. And if you have you got a couple of years no thanks? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's worth it. I'm coming up to four years no thanks for my insurance is like five six hundred. So, I mean, I'll, I'll start with course, but you. The thing is, when you get a car, when you get, a, I don't know what it is, mate, but everyone has got this hatchback syndrome where they think yeah. oh, i cannot drive a car that is big yeah yeah they're like oh I no I can, I can, I can. it's it's not because it's it's our fault it's just how we it's just how we do the de like develop so you think yeah. like, you, get, you get your first big office full-time job oh, I'll tell you what, I'll buy a nice car. like and you go oh i'll tell you what buy a nice, nice clio clios are nice i ain't gonna just be there thank you oh, very yeah, much for the people. subscription grim reaper it's just subscribe, that's all. <laughs> I do realise st I'm still, still streaming. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're having, <laughs> having debates about... Fuck your debate. Yeah, but yeah my, my, um, you could get an equivalent of mine for about three grand. Three, three and a half grand. It's not... They're not that... They're not that expensive. And as I said, everyone's scared about driving a big car. I was scared about driving a big car. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Yeah, but it, honestly, man, it's no different. It really is no different. It's just like it's like anything. Diesel. Mine's diesel. Oh, okay. I wanted diesel. But I, I had a pet BMW petrol before. It was a bit old. It was 2010. But um, yeah. fuck me. When, mate? It weren't like, oh yeah, my car goes. Like all you mates say, nah, bro. This went. This went fucking like shit off a shovel, mate. <laughs> But, yeah, like, people people see, I think, and what's good about mine, I've got a private plate on mine, I mean, mine's a 2007 5 Series, mm -hmm. uh, but people think, oh, fuck me, he's made it, he's made it. I'm fucking scared, <laughs> but, like, it's, it's, it's how you look, and you, when, you, when you've got a, a genuinely nice car, like a car like that, it's like, it's more designed, like, executives, like people, like business people and that. That's what 5 Series is designed for. Yeah. Like people look at you and you don't even feel the need to speak because you think, go on in, mate. Speed away. Your car is shit. <laughs> I'm just going to fall around because I ain't got, I ain't got fucking, I ain't got a care in the world. It's, it's the best thing like in the world. People who are like when you're tracking their cars, but like usually it's just a shit you can throw in or I, I pay 300 pounds for it, but I fucking spend 500 pounds <laughs> on the hour. He's a new bumper. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. It's a boy that I'm worried because I'm hearing. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot something. Fucking. Uh, we've all. The thing is, we've all sped, mate. Uh, I'll fucking. Oh yeah. I've got caught. My, my, my girlfriend used to live right out in the fucking stick shed, right out in the country. So it used to. It took, it took about 40, 40 minutes from my house. But it was so far out in the middle of nowhere. All country roads. Mate. 50, it was a 50 mile an hour speed limit, I was like, uh, 40 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Fuck, dumb camera, mate. Like, I had a mobile camera set up, so I was like, oh, and so I dumped 50 and 40. Fuck. Mm. It's pretty, pretty rude. You just talk all sort, did you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not actually that bad, to be honest, mate. They just talk shit, don't they? 
Yeah, they just took chat a bunch of box about stopping distances, and if you don't stop, you kill a, you'll kill a child, a disabled yeah. black child. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nicholas children. I was watching YouTube videos on it, just trying to break it. If I was breaking it, it was just, it was just fine, so I could eat some, whatever. Mm. That is what it is, mate. Just another chin in it. Yeah. Andy. I mean, s s yeah, go on, mate. Do you, do you remember where the power room key is? Wait, go up. Oh. It's, it's not in one of those little off rooms, is it? <laughs> like, you know, like the little, the little toilets? Yeah. What's that? There's only one toilet in the mansion. What the fuck's that about? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> like, imagine if your 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 fucking mate, your lab mate, big old shit in the toilet. You're like, oh man, I really need to go. Like, oh, I tell you what, has anyone got the wing crest so I can go to the fucking the wing crest and the crank so I can go to the guardhouse for a fucking piss? It wasn't in there, but I got the residence key. So, ah. so I got a key. I was having a fucking house party in that fucking mansion. Oh, that'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. It's all sick until it's all sick until your fucking head gets cut off by a hunter. I <laughs> see. Some kind of beating by your own. <laughs> yeah, somebody goes pissed. They're like, oh, what's going on? Like two people go in there to shag or something. And all of a sudden, a big ass fucking snake comes around the corner. Like, oh, your dick is really, really big. <laughs> 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 oh jeez. I like, am not used to hearing that. Oh no, it's not my dick. I'm not used to hearing that. <laughs> the question is, boys, is Wales. Actually, did Wales leave or remain in the election? I don't actually know. Like, literally, like, everyone goes, oh yeah. The whole of England voted Remain, mate. Fucking no one voted. No one voted Remain. Like, <laughs> like literally, it's just London. Like, if you look at the demographic, demographic, it was like, yeah, everyone voted Leave. It's literally just fucking London. And say, everywhere pretty, else is Leave. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure everyone voted Leave. <laughs> mate, that's me after my drunk uncles abuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. You love talking about that, don't you? I was gonna say, you would lose my friend because I'm starting to think it's real. I'm starting to think I should call someone out. Child line, mate. My hands shake as I lean towards the front. Nah, he loves it, mate. He loves it. The child line. <laughs> it's like you live on your fucking own. <laughs> With your missus. He's still a fucking child at heart. Height from what you've told me. You know, like when when someone's got like when they're in the bathroom and they they've got like a, a cabinet but it's got a mirror on it and like they open like they look in the mirror and there's nothing in it but they open the cabinet, shut the mirror, and my drunk uncle's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He disappears. Oh, these fucking jokes, man! I can't keep up. Keep up. And for some reason, I, every time you see John Gunkle and pick up Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Benoir, man. It's really sad. Can, a Canadian crippler, like. <laughs> I kind of lived up to that name. It's aggression. <laughs> nah, that, that, that was fucked, though, innit? Yeah, that is fucked. I actually remember. Do you know what the best part? The best part about all this was, yeah? Is Vince McMahon just did us. Well, I say best part. Obviously, it's an angle that he wouldn't Yeah. <laughs> fucking Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon just did an angle where he got blown up in his limousine. And then fucking Chris Benoit was going to fucking go on this murder spot. The next week. Yeah, and then the next week he's on Raw because he's like, oh fuck, now I've got to address this. Like, oh, yeah, it completely kills the fucking storyline. I remember watching that shit as a hammer because they were like, oh, it's going to be Vince McMahon appreciation night like, and shit like that. And all of a sudden he's near it, saying, oh, the character's supposed to be dead tonight, and back as Chris Benoit. Hey! He killed himself. <laughs> but the best, the, the horrible part was because it wasn't, in, it wasn't realised straight away that he'd killed, that he'd obviously murdered and killed himself. So they did a tribute show. Yeah, but they did a tribute show for Chris Benoit, but then it turned out, or oh, actually it's... <laughs> Like, yeah. like, after that, it turned out he fucking... Like, pumped every episode of Raw is on 
like every episode of Raw is on the network, and that episode of Raw isn't there. Like that episode of Raw is only on YouTube. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's on YouTube. I found it on YouTube. I actually watched it the other week. I was interested in watching it. Like, I remember when they did the whole. Um... I think it was last week. Emergency! Sorry, Emergency! Unknown source uh. of pressure detected. Locking JBL. all doors to achieve that, maximum safety. That have, that have lasted from number one to round to and, and go on to win it is HBK and Rey Mysterio. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a third one. Didn't mention this before. No, nobody likes to mention him anymore, do they? They can't mention him. They can't. No, they're not allowed, though. It's a PR. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. I remember seeing the hundreds of years ago. It's like, we're not trying to erase him from history, it's just we can't really talk about him. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking right. You don't want to, you don't want to be seen as glorified if someone killed his fucking Exactly. Kid. No, exactly. It's, yeah. it's really sad. But at least Eddie Guerrero. Like Eddie Guerrero go on. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. He just did that to himself. Yeah, he did that to his now. Activate emergency but, draining I mean, system immediately. It's like his kid. He really had to be arrested. He had to be arrested. Oh, is that a good idea? Cause it's not even that, he just, it's not even like, you know like with Curtis Axel, everyone else, this fucking next generation superstar. Yeah, everyone's one. Oh, it's the son of, well yeah, it's half of it, doesn't it? Anyway, but they, they, they use the whole, oh, yeah, it's Mr. Perfect son and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But they can't even, that like, David Dunmore is literally on the back foot before he's even started wrestling. Yeah, because like, he's just overshadowed by his father. Yeah. Because I can't go, oh, the sound of the iconic murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Your favourite not... murderer of all time. Remember that episode of Making a Murder? Yeah, your favourite one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that kid who making a murderer wants to go to WrestleMania. <laughs> um, he wants to take on Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, there's it, it, a lot of talk about, uh, Brian Pillman Jr. Pillman. That's yeah, the man. fucking pills, don't he, mate? An another wrestling really fucking two weeks ago. Michael Jerry Lawler with son. Yeah, man, crazy. He killed, himself, killed himself in fucking prison, man. Tragic. But have you noticed that all of every fucking wrestling promotion is picking their fucking production value up? Yeah, they are. Like, Impact is going from filming in fucking, like, this shitty Impact Zone in Orlando to film it. They've changed it to this club in Canada, yeah? Mm, and it, it looks unreal. Like, I don't even care that it's filmed in a nightclub. It looks the dog's bollocks. Like, you've got all this <laughs> LED... In the back, like... <laughs> yeah. It's just like some guy... It's just a fucking... You know, you, you know it's a club because there's a black guy by the toilets trying to fucking spray aftershave on you. How's your night going, boss? No spray, no lay. I'll be fucking moose, I will, by the time that. Moose. Have you seen uh, NLW? NLW? No, you were telling major me about league. that, didn't you? Yeah, Major League Wrestling. Ah, you were telling me about that. Yeah, and Tony like, Schiavone on commentary and that. Yeah, fuck. It, it, seems, it, it seems like, as well, like Lucha Underground. Has become this hub of talent, and it seems like whoever was in Lucha Underground is going on to become amazing. Like, yeah. I, haven't seen the new, uh, I haven't seen the new Lucha Underground. Uh, anyway, right. oh, anyway. Well, I watched season one of, and t I think I watched season two of Lucha I've watched all of season one and season two. I remember the last match I've seen was the one with uh, Kill Shot and Dante Fox, I think. A really brutal. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The one where he fucking chucks him through the glass at the end. Yeah, I, I loved it when it was the Mac versus Cage in season one, and it fucking you had Matt Striker on commentary because the Mac does this fucking stunt after having oh, yeah, a kid. Yeah. Because that man's got a family. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Triple Mania? Oh no! Oh my God! You... No, no, you, you know Triple A. Yeah, yeah. They have, they got their. I know that, I, I remember the last one. Okay. Great team, but someone. Oh yeah, he uh, actually yeah. killed someone. Yeah, man, he dropped it in the air. 
and the way he bounced, like, it wasn't Rey Mysterio's fault per se, but he oh. he drop kicked him and he must have hit his ropes, it hit his neck on the ropes, but it, it like it hit it in such a way it just killed him instantly. Oh, they're quite, they're soft. not soft, are they? Those ropes, they're fucking hard, man. Mm. Oh, the, the assault rifles by air, the assault shotgun. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're still, I, I don't know if you're still on the stream or what, but yeah, yeah I'm still watching. By Neptune. Oh. But yeah, um, Triple Mania. There always seems to be fucking bullshit. Like, <laughs> like 2015, 20, I think 2016 or 2015, that Paraguaya incident happened, and then last year, Jeff Jarrett come on drunk. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, he come out drunk. Fuck the pissed as a fart, yeah. He's throwing, he's throwing tackles. Tackles. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, so he's in Mexico, yeah. Fucking throwing tackles at people. It's, it's Mexico, yeah. And everyone's like, oh, for fuck's sake, this year. Fucking vampiro, mate. He's on commentary, yeah. And like, he keeps like just breaking cave, mate, on the mic. He's like, because he thinks his mic's broken and he's like, I don't know if anyone can hear me in the back. <laughs> and then, like, he, I don't know if he was meant to have an interference or something. Like, Vampiro was meant to get off get off commentary and attack whoever was in the ring. But he's going, he's going, he's going, I can't hear my music. He's like, hear my fucking music. Oh, like when you did the one more one more. Yeah. Oh, he's like, no, he didn't say play my music. He's like, where's the fucking violence to the referee? Yeah. Where's the fucking fire? Little mate just... Oh shit. It's, it's worse because obviously he's on, he's on the headset. He's on the headset. So Shout it's, it's the headset. broadcasted worldwide. Like, yeah. can on Twitch. Like, play my fucking music. I love that as well. How like Impact and Triple A and that they're streaming their wrestling shows on fucking Twitch. Are they? Yeah, it's a good yeah. platform though. I mean, it just makes me laugh, though. I remember yeah. that Josh Matthews wrestling in the weekend, he was like, after Mark Henry, like, he was walking past in New Orleans. He's like, Mark Henry, we're in <laughs> Josh Matthews. He just sounds constipated, you know, he sounds like, Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. So, and here we have Drew McIntyre walking on Drew Galloway, walking down with a DNA tie. He was like, after Mark Henry, though. Mark Henry, we're live on Twitch. And Mark Henry's like, who's Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is Twitch? He's like, what's a streaming platform? We can stream like games and live streams. And he's like, oh, cool, I don't give a shit, shit, don't we? He was like talking to Kelly Kelly or something. I'm like, bro. Right. Yeah, most of the wrestlers, wrestlers, lesbians. What? Oh, women wrestling? Oh, there are a few. There are I think a few the men are. Oh, yeah, the men are. <laughs> <laughs> like lesbian. But, um, yeah, it's it. Impact especially is just having this resurgence, man. Because I used to be a proper impact mark in like in like 20, 2013 and twenty fourteen. Like I used to go to their their show in London. Like, I remember when you were in the show on Facebook, yeah. Yeah, man, I was fucking well. I used to love it, uh, but that was when they actually had top stars on it, like EC3. And I used Bobby to Rose. watch it when like um it was like Christopher Daniels and like AJ Styles and some Christ other Christian Cage. Oh man. Yeah. With his Evanescence fucking theme song. Oh, do, yeah. do 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 <laughs> Mate, oh, oh, did, did, you, did, you, did you see in the fucking crowd at Hell in a Cell someone had a fucking sign for Samoa Joe that said he had an 88 and a third chance of fucking winning? Oh, see. Listen here, oh. listen here, oh. Samoa Joe. <laughs> They come see from fucking boo the boo signs. Oh yeah, I heard that. Someone had, a, someone had a sign in the crowd. I don't know what, what this relates to or anything, but they said Roman Reigns has has the has a Pikachu N64. <laughs> I don't know what that I don't know what that means. I don't know. It just sounds funny though. The best one for Roman Reigns is a wank pheasant. That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Roman Roman is a wank pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Randy. Did you, did you hear about that story about Randy Orton? I was telling Billy about it, like how he was greeting new WWE writers by putting his cock out and asking him to shake his hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he would hold his cock, put it back in his yeah, yeah, yeah. trunks. He'd like rub his cock and then like ask him to shake his hand. And he's like, oh what, you don't want to shake my hand? <laughs> what, what a can. I was watching a review where like review SummerSlam <laughs> it's like... <laughs> He's like, do you know the part where like Randy Orton's gonna walk down the ring and then he just walked back? Like, he didn't do nothing to Jeff Hardy. Like yeah. the review where I was listening to, he said, oh, he we used to be right to start with the company, he wanted to go greet him. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake. Yeah, it's fucking It me. sounds like something Orton would do, though. Yeah, man. He used to shit in people's bags, didn't he? Uncle. Was that your drunk uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Connor, it's that time of the evening again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I used to have that issue, Connor. That's the thing, that's why I need to live on my own. Yeah. No, nah, it was that, that issue as well. The worst is because because obviously I've, I've lived with Faith. I've, like Faith's lived with me for about three years now. Like oh, she lived with me when I was back at home. Like obviously where I was only in one room, I couldn't even like play games past like nine o'clock because the slight tap of a Nintendo Switch control. Faith was like, "What are you doing?" But now I fucking yeah got front room. So. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like the fan of the PS4 fucking wicker can death like. Like, just be like, fucking. Do you mind? I gotta get me up. Got shit. Fuck off, we're talking about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> talking about <laughs> fucking important. Did you see Leo Rush? Oh. Yeah, mate. I was creasing at that. He was like jumping around Kevin Owens, and I was like, <laughs> Someone said he sounds like Goofy. <laughs> Oh and he actually does, like... <laughs> oh, you fucking yuck, wank, yuck, yuck. You fucking turnip looking prick, you fucking little arsehole spider fuck. You fucking spider-man wannabe prick, you fucking cunt die oh. duo with die of fucking age, you fucking spider looking prick. Oh, you got poisoned, didn't you? Yeah. That's tragic. Isn't there a... Isn't there a blue herb in that green case? Yeah, but it's just annoying because he's a spider fucking prick. I'm gonna look him a little stab before I run out. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I feel spider. better. Though. Yeah, spider. <laughs> I like how you knew exactly how what happened to me. Well, I saw you walk into the room because it's still like a minute behind the stream. I saw you walk into the room and then you started swearing. So I was like, oh, it's obviously been, it's obviously been spout. So you've been fucking cummed on by the fucking spider. I got to take on this fucking plant looking prick, this giant weed prick plant. How'd you kill it with a knife? Well, I suppose you had a chance actually. You got, you got stung really. Uh, well, I don't really know. I haven't seen it on remastered, but I've seen it on the original uh, PS1 version. Oh, somebody's just come back pissed. <laughs> Sandy's troop and all. <laughs> oh, Andy, but get your uncle to go fucking go back to yours, mate. The other one is big ass cock in my arsehole tonight. <laughs> I, guess it, I guess it'll have to be me again. <laughs> ah, you'll love it, really. I think I'd better save. Yeah, I should better save. I used to watch, I used to watch um, WWE pay per views with my mate when he lived at Halls. Like, when he was in uni. Oh, yeah. He, he literally bought a yoga mat for me to sleep on. Like, because it was like one in the morning. We used to have uni the next day. I used to drive. And he used to, it, we used to fucking watch. Oh, do, do you know, I'm, I, I remember we watched WrestleMania 30 live. And he actually took a picture of me fucking sleeping. <laughs> sleeping through Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. So he was like, oh, you could tell Andy's fucking excited for this event. Because it was literally so fucking boring. And then literally the last ten seconds like changed the everything. Just take what you lost. Yeah, mate. Cause, cause it it went it was just, it was like oh well, of course he's gonna kick out. He's a fucking one taker. I watched him kick out of a fucking pedigree fucking super kick pedigree a couple of years ago. Yeah. In that hell in a cell match, and I was like, man, that was the closest he's ever been. I actually had my pen. I'd literally just have my appendix out when WrestleMania 28 was on. 
Oh, and Christ. Was fucking, and I was fucking sitting in bed, yeah. And I have not watched wrestling for years. Mm. Um, I think I stopped re watching wrestling about 2000. And it was after CM Punk started. So I would have been 2007. CM Spunk. CM Spunk. Because <laughs> the last thing I remember is watching... Uh, dis uh, dis December to dismember the ECW. Oh, Christ, yeah, that'll be enough to give. Yeah, that'll be enough to give up wrestling. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and I stopped watching it till about. Well, till 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 about I think it was 20, 2012 and then I I, I didn't watch it because I thought, ah, oh, fuck, fucking my appendix is out. Everyone's saying that WrestleMania's on tonight. I was like, well, I haven't seen WrestleMania in years, so I'll, I'll fucking check it out anyway. Um, well, it's not WrestleMania. I haven't seen WWE in years, but I thought I'd check it out anyway. You know, there might be some familiar people here. And yeah. I watched the whole event, and I remember fucking that that super kick and the, and the pedigree. And then I thought, obviously I knew about the streak. It's fucking the Undertaker, wasn't it? it never died. Well, yeah, it's gone for years. Yeah, and then I remember like going, oh my god, and I fucking like had this shooting pain up the side, like. <laughs> we were so satisfied when the rock pinned John Cena as well. I was like, yeah, buddy. He's a crying on the stage and shit. Who was crying? John Cena. Yeah, Cena was, yeah. It's John. How did he beat them if you can't see him? <laughs> exactly. The thing about John Cena, though, is I've, I appreciate him more. In small doses, like when he when he had that promo against Roman Reigns, holy shit, that was amazing. Mm. Like he was like a, he it was like he was the, the best promo guy ever. Like he, he was just so on point. He's like, it's called a promo, kid. You gotta learn to do it one day. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But yeah, he was unreal against Roman Reigns. But again, I don't, I, I don't. I appreciate him in roles like that rather than, oh, 16 time champion John Cena. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, 16 times. That's why it was satisfying when fucking Alberto Del Rio fucking kicked his head off to win the fucking World Heavyweight title at Hell in the Cell that year. Well, I've just looked online and it actually mm. would have been easier to take on the plan if I didn't save Richard. Why? Because then Rebecca comes and you can use the V-Jolt. Oh, do you know you use V-Jolt now? No. I know I couldn't. But I didn't know you could as Chris anyway in this one. But fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> only knife his tentacles apparently, I guess. I see you're uh, a Nirvana. Didn't. Yeah. Well, uh, one of their okay. options. If you're such in the box, what's your favourite? Fuck it. My favourite song. My Nirvana. Nirvana. Ah. <laughs> Nirvana. It's fucking. It smells like Team Spirit. Oh my god. I wasn't even gonna say that. Oh, what? I thought that was a fucking first aid spray. Was it? Mixed herbs. That's alright. Yeah, oh, green and blue. <laughs> Mate, you might, well, you might as well just fucking. Chris might as well whip his cock out and start fucking saving his fucking. Like, <laughs> 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 I don't know how many knife strikes it takes. But I've already done half of his damage. Oh, he's getting that because you know he's coming from the front of No, because um, it showed a little cut scene already. Oh, mate, he's battering you. Yeah, I'm just going to stand still. It's a good to watch. He's going to swap his hold. Watching Mia Khalifa take on Mandingo. <laughs> Start watching Mia Khalifa on an episode of Black. The scene a professional <laughs> run anyway, so it's just a fucking just to get the truth. Speaking of speaking of Black, um I've got this box here in my front room. And uh, it's got this it's got this app called Limitless on it. 
and basically you pay forty pound to some guy on Twitter, <laughs> which I did. Um, you pay forty quid, and he it literally gives you everything, everything. So like, it's got WWE Network on it live, so I get all the pay per views. Oh, I know it's only a tenner, and I still pay for WWE Network. Um, yeah. But I get all Sky Sports, BT Sport, everything like that. All the American sports channels. So I can watch, if I really wanted to, I could watch um, WWE on USA. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking unreal. And it's even got a mad porn section. <laughs> like, it's literally got Brazzers in HD, Blacked in HD, Bang Bros in HD. Fucking <laughs> Reality Kings in HD. It's amazing. Yeah, I was like, I'm sold. I was gonna say, hell, that'd be worth it. Yeah, it's only like 40 quid a year. Fucking why not? <laughs> 40 quid a year, Jesus. And it comes with, um, like, Sky, I watch a lot of the boxing, like Sky Box Office and that. It comes with that as well. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I watch all the UFC, so that would be good. Mate, McGregor versus Khabib. Yeah, I know. Khabib the Maga made it off. You give up. You know this. You in know all, I you know this. In, a, in all fairness, right? Conor McGregor is such a big draw in UFC, like, I feel like it's empty about Conor McGregor. Yeah. Like, it's actually pretty sad. Like, they've got nobody at that level. I think they did have one, the Ramsey was, like, pretty mm. big. But... And Ashley's, like, wrestling or something? <laughs> yeah. And Ashley's, like, winning the women's title, like, on a second match? <coughs> that thing called the new <laughs> Alright, round two with this fucking ass. Ah, Come on, I don't know about I really love Wonder Rousey. I think she's actually a really good wrestler. All things considered. She's good. The only thing is, who the fuck is she? They need to get someone to give her a proper attire. Yeah, I know. She, looks like she just likes to get on his own. Yeah, she's not. Well, they're giving her a pair of shorts to keep winding up her fucking ass crack. What is this shit? Yeah, admit it, I'm not. I mean, she's, she's got these fucking boots. She's got these blades and these long things. Like, oh, yeah. It's because they look like boots or something. They look like them fucking laces you buy and eat. Like them fucking strawberry laces. <laughs> fucking hell, Ralph. They get all right. Not fucking cut off. <laughs> fucking double knock your shoes or something. Because you're pissing me off with your fucking shoes. Jack and put on the bill as fucking boots as well, like, it's yeah. Christ. You might as well give me a kill as well. Here's what, well. she did it, but didn't she at WrestleMania? Yeah, well, it was like a little one, like, not a bad thing. It's a school school dress, like. That was a sick man. I really like that. I think it's a joke, you know. Yeah, it's a joke, you know. For the openers. Oh, Rollins and that one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Expecting to close the demon and come up and fucking go out the fucking bend and fucking bend it. Come up and down in his hose. Oh, this guy. LGBT club. Not fucking Billy's old manager. My old manager. He was just a cock, wasn't he? Like, he was, li he was literally in search of the team's bounces. Yeah. Oh, he's good. Oh, no. <laughs> this guy's so fucking solid. Like. <laughs> See if he can destroy you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying shit about... He, say, he says that about every fucking like, work, so... Like. That's weird. He didn't I say it to my face. Only, he was saying it to other people. It's only acceptable. Oh, really? It's not acceptable to talk about me. One of the guys at work, he's like 35, yeah, he's left, he's left my company. But one of the boys, he like, works out on the full shift, telling me that. But when they was all in France doing a job, he'd come out, he'd come out and told him, and he'd be in his missus with swings. And like, he said to one of the guys, like, I'd let you fuck my missus. Oh, oh. oh, Andy, look where I got him, mate. He can't hit me from here. Oh, can you not? No, he hasn't hit me at once. Oh nice, you stand there. And he was like, this might be a bit gross about it. And he was like, 
he's like, yeah, I'll bet you fuck my missus. And then he's like, okay, yeah. And he's like, and I'll fuck your missus as well. Oh my god. <laughs> and, he, and this bloke was like, well, it's not really a fair trade, mate, is it? And then he's telling everyone that he, he had a threesome with his best mate and his missus. And it, obviously, there was one in the other. Bang it. Oh, for fuck's sake. And he said, and he said they could feel it, they could feel it, each other's penis was rubbing on the side. Yeah. And then skin in between. That's fucking disgusting. So he's a rough, isn't it? <laughs> How fucking rank is that? Like, it, nothing says oh, I'm socially inadequate than fucking doing that. Fuck's sake. How can we even look at each other's street? That's just weird, man. Like, the point of being in a relationship is you have certain exclusive access. Exclusive. Like, you don't want to fucking, like. Well, I like my mates, but I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be with you guys, I wouldn't want to be like, oh yeah, let's talk. Uh, I've got an idea of having fun, let's not talk about, let's not talk, let's not, let's not go and spark it, how about you just come out and fuck the missus? Why do you want to stream resin, you want to get me, we just get to go and fuck each other's missus, just swap, we can, we we can spit on the missus while I sit down and watch like a fucking cuckold. <laughs> Especially when you can feel him rub it on the inside. Special problem, special What did you talk about? Hello, Brendan. Did my cock feel nice? Rub it on the inside wall? It's a smooth. Pissed off, but my mate had a bigger cock. So we're like, mate, I don't want to start expecting a certain level, you know. I've already built where I think it's at. He hasn't got many testicles left for me to slice. Come on, man. You look like you've had a freezing, Billy. What's that? You look like you've had a freezing. Actually, I haven't had a freezing. With your right and left hand. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't count. <laughs> I had a free time once. Did you? you the other two, yeah, two people didn't turn up after that big fight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking good, though, that is. No, I need to get away with it, mate. <laughs> Finally got my fit mates and. I don't really fancy smashing Faye with Tyrone anymore. <laughs> fucking pop round his ankle. <laughs> I've just never been offered. Is that the kind of thing I've never been offered? I can't run a marble. He's at a party. And um, one of the girls was like, oh, I want to have sex with you. And he was like, don't you have a boyfriend? And he was there as well. And oh. she said, yeah. Like, it's okay. You can watch. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking savage. Fucking dirty out of there. Oh, I think that's off. Just <laughs> fucking clean car. Like, in my room. We're going to have to sit back seven seconds. It's weird. <laughs> It's the most casual thing ever. I feel like I'm sitting there. I could get rid of as well. This time last year, I would have had a fucking ball up if I even mentioned the word threesome. If I thought it was a threesome. Yeah, same. Same here. She was a psycho. She was a good fan, so... Yeah, 
I was terrible. I was like, what, man? Did you go die talking to your father? Oh, you uh, He's dead. He's dead. He's getting dead. I just read an article here, yeah, uh, Connor. It says, according to PW Insider, officials from both WWE and Impact Wrestling met at WWE headquarters. Ooh. Although Vince McMahon himself wasn't present, it is believed that members of Triple H's team were indeed there, the meetings, with the meeting supposedly being a general discussion, being gradually How, building yeah. more of a relationship. Oh, mate. I might, have, I might have something to do with Chris Jericho going to Impact, though. Right. Apparently, he's wrestling an Impact soon. Really? Yeah, there's been rumours about him. Like he, They were even teasing on an Impact. The, cr the crowd was chanting like we want Jericho or something or Y2J or something behind like Josh Matthews and that and he like paused and he was pointing at them he was like oh I don't know anything can happen oh that's true but although this is what I don't understand about Chris Jericho he said um, he said oh yeah I'll never appear I, I don't mind doing New Japan because it's in Japan but I'd yeah, never yeah, like yeah. disgrace Vince in America. yeah and then he appears on All In that's the thing he was at all in, so I don't get it. Yeah. So he's like, is he? And I take it, I'll be very surprised if Chris Jericho isn't at that New Japan ROH Madison Square Garden show in April. I'll put him, I'll put him on there. He's a fucking Intercontinental. He's a New Japan Pro Wrestling Intercontinental Champion. He's got him. <coughs> it's cool. I've been signed to do that, though. Like, Vince could have just been like, nah, fuck off. Yeah, mine. <sighs> oh, I should be getting paid. Tonight. Oh, I'm getting that Twitch money of you. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. Should be, yeah, but. He was on a Friday. Yeah, um, student finance. Oh, that's one so thing I miss about uh, McDonald's. It was every two weeks on a Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah. Fucking sick. I get paid 450 quid for McDonald's Friday as well. I get three. Well, I get 300 quid for my grant, my the Welsh government learning grant tonight, and then I get. Sometime this week, when student finance decide to stop being fucking arseholes, uh, I get 2,650 quid this week at some point. So I'll be getting three grand this week. So drinks are on you this weekend then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll buy. I'll buy. No, I'll buy. Paid. It's going to take like 0.1% of my payment off. I get, I get paid every Friday at the minute anyway. Most people get paid Fridays, don't they? Yeah, they get paid like every Friday at the minute, and then it's going to transition to monthly pay after Christmas. Uh, monthly sounds like a bit annoying. Yeah. I used to have McDonald's when they used to do the old um, holiday pay. Oh, yeah. They like, <laughs> accrue it, and then you'll get like a payment of like fucking 400 quid or something. Not on top of your wages. That was quite sad. What was that again? Like, Hol you should be able to do holiday pay. Holiday? Holiday pay. Oh, right, yeah. Um, so, like, if you didn't take any holiday, you used to, um, they used to pay it out to you um, on your anniversary of being at McDonald's. Oh, um, right. Pretty cool. I was working Holiday there slightly Holiday. less than a year. Are you were there a year, but... No, I'd be a year. Because I remember when I was finishing, you were on your probation. Yeah, that was it. And I told her manager to go fuck herself. Um, being a cunt. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Shaw. 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 Oh, what a shaw. No. I don't think so. I might have. Yeah. It's probably not too bad. I look hard here. It's going to fucking trap now. Oh, you told me about that, yeah. They're arsehole. They're arseholes. See, she looks like a cheese burger. I don't get people like, like years. Like, I mean, like, 20 odd years now. They still eat the uh, shit. That's ridiculous. I remember uh, there was this, there was this woman in the tunnel. And she literally. She'd work. Or 994, I think it was, something like that. 25 years, something silly like that. She was literally maxed out. She'd maxed out because you get a pay rise. Oh, yeah. She'd maxed out her pay rises. Wow. I bet she was but on the like, like, No, it was on like £10 an hour. That's what I think. That was fucking 83. She was a just a shift manager. She wasn't like an assistant manager. So like, she was just a standard shift manager, but she, she must have been on the bar for £10 an hour, 80 quid a day is not bad for working at McDonald's. I suck. And you get like, quite the health care. It ain't all bad when it uh, depends what the staff are like as well, if there's any arse. Yeah, it has to, it has to deal with it. We had all right people, there's a couple of the managers who were cunts. Did you work for a company or a bunch of it's just a good choice. Ah. Ah. Ah, the G and the G. What do you mean? Come here, man. Come here, man. It's had to be like... It's been like, we really need to be careful, man. You know, it's kind of like that. But they couldn't do the same shit that a franchise could. Oh, yeah. Take over chicken nugget for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do it every day. There weren't many good. Oh, you're smart. Is there? Uh, I knew, man. I know, man, a, I know a few people. You know, like Sean Robson and shit like that. Uh, Christian, Max. He got punched the other day. <laughs> I don't know him, but. You know? It was like, do you know what guy who was short? When we were out last, oh, right. that taller guy. Oh, I, yeah, he works there, see. Oh, he's just, he's after I left, but yeah, he said he hadn't been that long. <laughs> that must be the thing. Yeah, he literally got fucked up right there. Yeah, there's oh. some kid. Oh no, it was like it was like sitting out, it was like five five boys. So I got I got punched as well. Like, whoever punched me, punched me. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 You washing your face in the morning. It was outside in the dumps, I was. Yeah, it was like. And it sucks where all the arseholes are. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. See that the insects? Oh, it don't surprise me. Oh, I'm a podium. Probably we used to work down the park. Yeah. It's insane, it's very insane. Not having done it specifically, but obviously we can't be prepared. Oh, you did, you did, you fucking bastard. Catching the game, isn't it? <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
down the swoop down the and fall down the I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what that is. Like, WWE Fucking NXT. Is it NXT to Yeah, yeah. They're more open to doing like crazy shit. NXT is just way too highly deep and watching the good movie for it all. Just fucking NXT is fucking easy. Fucking 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 that fucking ladder match. Oh, the ladder match was sick. sick yeah, ladder. man, the entrances were sick. Everything about it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it, Tom. Do it. 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 Do you reckon this is a snap shoot? Uh, it's got to be someone who's starting soon. Yes! I don't think it's anyone with me. Fucking done it. I think, it's do you do? I think anyway. Do you think it's me? I think it's Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle's a baby face. Matt Riddle's debuting against um, Cash or no, I think. Anyway, the cut of teaser. Matt Riddle's Voldemort, isn't it? Oh, it's Tom Riddle. Never mind. Tom Riddle. <laughs> Matt Riddle likes weed, and he's got a higher PlayStation trophy score than me. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Ooh, Tom Riddle. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> yeah, Tom Riddle. I actually can't, can't believe I can't killed that it. fucking squirmy little tentacle Richard. ball like Finally. I'm probably gonna he's... go for a quick fag after that arsehole. Literally, that stressed me out. <laughs> I was fighting him for about, what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes? I was fighting him. Andy, would you think if I could attack that, I'll still back it? I, I just don't think it's anyone we've met yet. Maybe it's a new, um... What's all like a proper surprise? Yeah. Everyone's saying it's cash, so no skin. Like, that would just be... You could use a heel turn, but... It's gotta be something big. Wesker? But someone we haven't met yet. I Chris, thought maybe it could be you're alive. Jill. My words exactly. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be Where's Jill? Actually, thought you were with her. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Zero! Oh, Zero! <laughs> That's I see. sick. I love that I fucking all in. I hate that shit. Or find a way out of here before we turn into zombies. Because it shows you, you man, Wesker? It fucking shows you. you People get a better talk grip. about that they don't watch Impact. The situation. Impact. And they there talk must about be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. It's all bollocks. Everyone watches Chris, it because how the hell would they know that? I want you to check them out one Pentagon more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Stuff. Sure thing. Fucking Sammy Callahan and Pentagon. That's sick. Oh, mate, it was unreal. Everyone says that they don't watch it though. It really pisses me off when people say that. And this is the thing about fucking WWE marks, man. They fucking. Yeah. They go. They shit on the product. Yeah. Oh, Roman this, Roman that. That's all they watch. That's, that's all yeah, they see. That's all they watch. And then there, uh, someone like All In are coming. All in is the closest thing we'll have to a Jim Crockett promotions or a, or a WCCW fucking or AWA or anything like that. That is the closest thing it's ever going to be. It just pisses me off when people say that. Oh, I have to go to WWE. Yeah, like they don't want to go to any other alternative events. Like if you really like wrestling, just watch NXT, just watch Impact, just watch. I, you know, the fucking the G1's coming up soon, just watch that. Admittedly, I think it's a lot of Japan ones are really isn't it, for the most part. I'd say about New Japan, I just, oh, I can't get into it. <clears throat> it's too long. I don't know where to start, I don't know where to, you know what I mean? I only really watch Wrestle Kingdom and the G1, really. I, I only watch the Kenny Omega matches. <laughs> I'll be back, I'll be back in a second, all right, guys. Yeah, no worries. Be about five minutes. One of a five. I have to listen to our fucking rambling about wrestling and shit. I have to go outside to these fucking rooms are really small. I was I'd smoke in here, just open the window. But actually, <laughs> fuck it, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, might as well. No one's around. But yeah, man, Pentagon Junior is by far. Uh, like, who do you think? Oh, right, that's a good point. Who do you think's the biggest like 
I wouldn't say free agent because they're probably signed to like. But who's the biggest independent wrestler at the moment? I wouldn't I say someone who's not in WWE. Yeah, or New Japan because New Japan I'd say is is as big as WWE. Yeah, yeah. but just in Japan. Who would you say is the biggest independent star at the moment? Probably would be Pentagon, more or less. I mean, you've got well, Cody's pretty much in New Japan, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, same but, with Young. Yes. Yeah. Pentagon. Much is... Or Sammy Callahan, you could argue. Well, Sammy Callahan's making an impact now because he almost fucking killed Eddie Edwards. Like, but... Yeah, isn't it? How crazy that is. A botch has led to him becoming like really yeah. booked everywhere. He played off it really well, though. Yeah, and it's good that uh, Eddie Edwards didn't have any hard feelings. Yeah. They, like, they it was really yeah. well. I actually really enjoyed that when they played it off. Because hmm. I enjoy Eddie Edwards as well, he's pretty good. And WWE turned him down, didn't they? Davey Richards yeah, and Eddie Edwards turned him down. It's really shocking how many people they have turned down or haven't discovered yet. They turned down um, Eli one, Drake. Yeah, they turned down Eli, they turned down that one from Lucha Underground. That one lady, a sexy oh. star. No, not a sexy star. They have Kat- down Katrina. Oh, no, they did turn it down as well. <laughs> um, what's her name? Eva Lee Sasse. Oh, Eva Lee. Oh, she's yeah. quality. She is. Just so, so uh, some of these fucking wrestlers, Brian Cage. How the hell has he not been picked up? Yes, mate. Like, he loves big sweaty guys. And he's like a fucking cruiserweight. I was going to say, what Brian Cage can do, like the matches he had with like Matt Seidel, the match he had with Phoenix the other week, I'm like, why don't you like... <laughs> like can you imagine like Brian Cage fighting fucking... I don't know, just name anyone in WWE. Like fighting fucking AJ Styles or something. Fighting fucking... You know, imagine matches he could have with like Almas and fucking Brian. Mm. Come on. It makes you think as well, like... I'm Cage and Seth Rollins and fuck. Oh yeah, that's it. He wouldn't be able to do his finisher though, would he? No, oh, because it's a power driver. Fucking starting a screwdriver, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking proper par- old school power driver, mate. I, I just thought that actually a Brian Cage ricochet match would probably make me fucking... Oh. oh Christ. Hmm. I've I, I got another question for you. Who do, who do you think? Do you think NXT is at its peak now? Oh, I tell you what, I loved NXT when it was like Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe. Mm. But I actually like prefer it now. Yeah. Because it's got fucking it's, it's done. Basically, it's basically Cole. an indie promotion, isn't it? It is. I mean, look at the fucking Adam Cole's like the best fucking thing in the world. I fucking love Adam Cole. No, Kyle, I think that goes to Kyle O'Reilly. He's the fucking man. Yeah, so with the he makes me laugh, man. I love Roderick Strong as well. I mean, he's no, he does. He's, he's got these little mannerisms, Carl O'Reilly, that just make me fucking roll. Like when he when the small games when like Eric Young was like, I'm gonna fucking get him. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he done the whole chair spot where he like tried to hit someone with a chair and it bounced off the road. Yeah, it and it to be dead. <laughs> and he done the um. He got German suplex by one of the authors of pain. Oh yeah, and he tried to hold up. up. He was like, <gasps> Oh, he's sick. What the? Oh, that's just another thing. What the fuck is happening with authors of pain? Oh god. <laughs> fucking, Maverick. fucking rock star spud. What is he doing? He should be doing what Leo Rush is in a fucking suit, standing next to him. He's a authors. manager. Yeah, it's a, it looks like uh, a make a wish kid. <laughs> it looks like a comedy act, like it really does. The Leo Rush thing with Bobby Lashley, I kind of liked it. So I was like, you know, if Bobby Lashley was a heel, it'd be better. But, you know, whatever. That's stupid as well. Kevin Owens, like, he quits, and the next week he comes back and he helps Braun Strowman. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, can, can anybody make sense of that for me? He was like, oh, I don't like the shield. Like, yeah, but what about what Braun Strowman's done to you? He's fucking bullied you. Your boy's back. <laughs> Why? 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 I don't get that one. Kevin Owens got bullied for weeks and he's like, oh, I'll help Braun Strowman because I don't like the shield. Great logic. The shield, the shield is, uh, 
The shield's been really put badly. I hate it, man. There's no need to put him back together. Nah. It's for the internal pipeline. There's no reason for him to have it now. We should just have Or Owens. Owens or Mala. Either or. Oh, it's not a fucking rock star spud. I don't know. Uh. Oh, Andy, do you know poisoning on this game? Does it like. Don't know. Poison, does, yeah. Does it like. Dec does it actually like decrease your health? Because, like, fucking. I've noticed. Like, it just. If it does, it takes fucking ages to decrease your health. I think so. If you've got. Do you remember you could get them, like, things you could download for PC versions of Resident Evil? Like, it was like the health. And it gives you an, an exact. HP of what you have. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so it'd be like 200 HP. A hundred between 100 and 200 is fine. Between like 80 and 100 is yellow caution, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, that that used to when I got poisoned on that, it dropped like 20 HP every minute or something. Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, it takes a long time. You can get but some I think blue what hit, it does. So. I think what it does, what it could do, is when you get bit, it actually hurts more. Yeah, that makes sense. I always get poisoned by these snakes by ear. Well, I did in my last playthrough anyway. Just make sure I don't fucking cunt in the asshole prick. Oh, it didn't poison me. Good, good, good. <laughs> I hate them snakes. Arseholes on there, I How's the stream looking anyway? Is it looking alright? Yeah, it looks good, man. I are you recording on 720 or? Um, I've done it on 720 to be safe. Okay. But my. As long as you're not on the I've only dropped 200 this whole uh, oh, thing, and that's 0.1%. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's, that's probably fuck. when you were starting and you were getting everything set up. <laughs> yeah. It looks really TV. It's like. Yeah, I'm really happy with this capture card. I, I remember I bought this. Uh, well, it was obviously three and a half years ago now, when I only used it a couple of times. But, um... Yeah, it looks good. Like 60 half. quid it was. It's amazing. I want to get one of the Elgatos, though, because there's one of them, it does 60 FPS, and it streams it real time, so you don't have to do all this shitty, like, delaying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one you got, Nikon. I haven't got the one that streams in, like, real time. The oh, HD right. 60, but not, like, the HD 60S. Ah, okay. Because then you don't have to, like... I'll probably still play on my own screen, but, like... It's just easier. Yeah. Like, you don't have to de delay everything in OBS. But make sure it all catches up. Do you see how shit that fucking cutscene was then? I know you won't be able to see it much, because I skipped it, but... It looked really sh Like, they don't upgrade the cutscenes. Yeah, did, yeah, they didn't put a lot of... Effort. I didn't do it with any of the cutscenes, actually, that they remastered. Like with RE4, Code Veronica's the same. Man, Code Veronica, I, I can't, I I can't love believe they released that, man. I fucking love Code like Veronica the, so much. The, the remaster was so shit, man. Um, I it don't looked, get how they. It, I reckon it looked decent for oh, this off your fucking wank stain. Like, they, they've decided. I think it was widespread, but it hurt like this weird, weird, weird bloom effect on it. So it looks really orange. <laughs> yeah, you kept out. You only had me then when I was running up the steps. It's all they call them in the new Predator film. Like the hunters, not the completely called Predators. You called them Predators at the fucking start. Copy and Resident Evil, and I. I lied. I love that. I love that new Doom Eternal, where they're like playing off of politics in it. Oh yeah, like, yeah. We don't call them aliens now. We call them morally challenged. <laughs> yeah. Or demons, sorry. And he was like, we call them morally challenged. <laughs> Fucking that's sick. This puzzles. Everyone gets like, me. Loads of like SJWs are like offended by that. Mm. We can get us. Oh, mate, I find the whole battlefield scenario really satisfying. <laughs> like, where, where, where that director was like, the creative director of fucking Dice was like, was like, we want to have women in these games. 
And then if you don't like it, don't buy the game. No one's bought the game. Yeah. Fucking talk about putting your money where your mouth is. Exactly. CA and Ice Shield are fucking idiots. Mm. I think Battlefield games are shit anyway. I think it's looking better. It looks better than Call of Duty. The Battlefield ones, good. It's mm. fun. Blackout. I'll tell you what, mate. I was looking at that new Blackout, mate. Like Black Ops 4, and it's really fucking good. I got some four codes for the beta, but I just I couldn't be asked to play it. <laughs> like, it seems that we've seen so much unpolish in PUBG, but it's just been literally like fucking shit for early access forever, and it look just it generally looks unpolished. But now I'm seeing a AAA developer like do battle royale now come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does look really good. Yeah, it, it does look right. I've been told it's actually really fun. Is it worth 50 quid? Or 55 quid? How much, how much it's going to be? Probably not. Uh, no story mode. Subpar multiplayer. There's more yeah. zombie maps. I'm like, yeah, because it's got cock. That's why. Yeah. Nah, I, I just, I just don't see it. I'd, I'd have spent three years making making that game and they've had no story mode folks and it still looks like Black Ops 3. Yeah. I, I wouldn't uh want to play this kind of shit to do with the standard like uh, yeah. Call of Duty isn't it? Standard. But yeah, yeah. Battlefield Battlefield um, Battlefield 5 looks fucking awful. Yeah, I I'm, I played the beta, I think I played like three or four games and it's just yeah. <laughs> shit. It felt like Star Wars Battlefront, like the EA one. I thought fucking Boba Fett was going to pop up in P40. <laughs> I was like, nah, fuck that. I, I don't get these Battlefield and Call of Duty games and shit, I just don't bother. Loot boxes are going to die soon as well. Yeah, they will. Because... It's slow, painful death. Yeah, it's because like, a lot of countries are classing as gambling. Yeah, they are. They'll get done out soon. No, even though even though people got out for my shit, it has been very good. In fact, it's free. Yeah, yeah. all you have to pay for is like skins and shit. Man. There's like a pass as well, like a battle pass. That's yeah. fair, see, yeah. Fortnite's alright, man. I played it the other day when I first moved in it. Just with the boys next door, like, fucking quite a fun game. Yeah. I don't like the building that. I just don't like people who play fucking Fortnite. <laughs> it's, um, it's like Minecraft with guns. <laughs> That's what people. Mm. My nephew plays it, man. It's like I'll be shooting at someone and then they fucking build a castle. Did you see that then? How the fuck did I not get bit? No. <laughs> oh shit. That's just come off my side. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck me. That's close. Fucking hell, you must be moving. Really Really? I'm gonna go and watch Garfield after this. Fucking Garfield. Garfield, hell of a film. Hell of a film, man. Oh. Fucking Garfield. Mate, how the fuck did you not get bit again? So, it was just too good, mate. Zodgin. Uh, it, it is a lot easier now, that, now they've given you first person controls, isn't it? Yeah. It's just quicker, isn't it? Hmm. Um, oh, should I use a herb or run back to the save room? Uh, Bear in mind, I'm using How many herbs you got? I got plenty in the box. Just use that herb. Just remember that part on Zombieland, actually. Like, fucking Bill Murray dies, and I got to have any regrets, and he's like, oh, I'm going to Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love everyone that film. found Everyone found Zombieland really good. But, I don't know, I just didn't get the humour in it. Didn't you? I, I like, like, I like Shaun, Shaun of the Dead was amazing. It's funny. Shaun of the Dead is an all-time best zombie film. It's a zombie comic film. Just because we're British, though. We guess why yeah. we fight. It's that, that dry sense of humour. Shaun, like... Shaun of the Dead, it does be like every zombie flick. <laughs> zombie life is probably like America. It's like Shaun of the Dead, though. Ah, hello, mate. The Americans probably prefer it more. Oh my god, it's got Twinkies, man. 
Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> I think the main thing for this game, right, you gotta know which hand the fucking enemies use. Wait, is it hand or right hand or left hand? Left handed. No, right handed. I was right. Oh, right. You were right, yes. Don't, don't break it, don't break it out now. Calm down. But in the original, they're left handed, aren't they? Are they left handed or right handed? Oh, I don't even know. It's like in fucking school, there'd be like three left handed. They're left handed, handed yes. 500 right handed kids. I'm left handed. I whacked my left hand. Yeah, you were like the only left handed person in primary, were you? Yeah, and uh, Lloyd Major. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want that. No thanks. I'm a lefty as well. Do you whack with your left hand? <laughs> yeah, swear down. <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm a lefty at, boys. What, you're right footed? Nah, I'm not fucking right. Nah, not left wing. I was gonna say you're a leftist. Nah, oh, fucking hell, I'm so far right of centre, mate. I was left wing in rugby when I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely was. The thing right. is, where I went to where I went to art art uni, because I was doing a television production course. It's, a, it's it's an art. It's a bachelor of art. Going to an art uni, it's literally like fucking lefty parade, mate. <laughs> Like, you got all these fox kid gender queers and fucking vegans and fucking Starbucks people, and I still do some of our left. See. Starbucks people. All your, tutors, all your tutors are fucking lefty as well. I'm just gonna look up what's in that gem room. What gem room? The, for the red. Do you remember you used the, 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 um, the lion head? Yeah. I can't remember what's in the red, for when you use the red gem, I can't remember what it is. Isn't it ammo? I'm not oh, sure, mate. I don't think it is on the remake. Did I tell you about that game breaking bug? What's that? No, on in this. In the original remake. Uh, in the original remake. In the original. With the red, with the red jewel. Someone told me about it on stream. No. That if you get the red jewel, yeah. It, on the direct, is it direct cart or is it original? Can't remember. But um, when you put the red jewel in, you get three magnum rounds. Yeah. What you do? Take two of them, leave the room, go back in. They've respawned. Do they? Well, you just rinse repeat. Yeah, you just keep taking two. Rinse the repeat, rinse repeat. So you can use the magnum. Yeah, that's good for that point of the game. Really good. Because of but all this the one's got, this one's got the um, grenade launcher cheat, isn't it? Uh, uh, this, yeah, I need to. I need, actually need to do this because it's got the red jewel box. I can't remember what's in the red jewel box though. It's probably actually it could be one of them. Um, like the, you now you get the trim to the crest. You need to get the crest as well. I think that's how it works. I just fun. typed in red jewel box without typing Resident Evil. So, you went on Google and typed grandfather clock and you missed out the L. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking brilliant, man. It's comedy gold. What's a, the broke? Comedy Central with Andy Cox. Oh, it's got... <laughs> Great banter. Fucking top Dave. banter. Banter. It's like a producer for fucking Dave. I'll tell you what, Dave's Facebook page is on point. They just, they are pot funny. Great banter. Great banter. Oh mate, it's tragic here, yeah. I'll fucking come home. Fucking like, Dave's, Dave's gone home from work, I did, because she's ill. And I come into the, come into my kitchen. And I'm fucking all the floorboards are wet. I'm like, Faye, you've been cleaning the floor? She's like, no. I look up at the wall. Fucking water lift from oh. up from the from the fucking apartment upstairs all through the fucking apartment. Oh, you told me about this earlier. Yeah, it was like you said. Oh, fucking, yeah, I called I called my um, landlord. He's a top lad as well. Like I was like I was like fucking it's a big old water leak here, mate. Don't know what's wrong. We come round on the bike as well, which is sick. Um, we come round. It's fucking. Upstairs, they're fucking upstairs. The apartment upstairs. We went upstairs. They're fucking to their toilets broke. 
It's fucking pissing water off down our fucking wall. Get out. And it's like ruined all the floorboards and that, so he's got to literally rip all the floorboards up. Fuck, man. And fuck it, it, it cost him a couple of grand, I think. But... I was gonna say, I was gonna be here fucking bit, like. As long as you don't race the red. To be honest, though, when you said, like, oh, the key moment it was tragic and I ran into each other, I thought you were gonna say there was no dinner ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly thought that'd be somebody you'd say. I didn't think it was gonna be a serious thing. The fucking Tyrone was standing there with his cock and his sock, mate. <laughs> it is cock stuck in this horse, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that thing? It's about like, um. Oh, fuck. It's about like an egg or something. It's like peeling the egg shells, and then it was like. It's Humpty Dumpty. It, it said some of the how to do it, and then it was like. Instructions too difficult. Got my dick caught in a ceiling fan. <laughs> Vintage YouTube. Mate. Do you remember like how to basic used to be really fun? Yeah, and now it's like really cringy. And like it's just a retard. Yeah, it's fucking annoying now. Yeah, I remember I just used to fucking piss myself watching him. Yeah, man, like frying the eggs and that. How to get GTA 5 on PC before it was out? Before it was out on PC, like. Yeah. And it'd just be like frying loads of eggs at it. <laughs> yeah, it's pissing in it and that. Have you had a haircut, Billy? I had a haircut ages ago. I'm gonna have another one soon. I'm on the haircut on Friday. Before work. <laughs> Where to? I don't know, probably somewhere in fucking Bridgend. I go Carol's, I think, in Bridgend. I usually used to go, I used to go to Club Buzz in Bridgend, but obviously I don't live there anymore, so I'm gonna have to find a place around here. Yeah. Just do haircuts, decent. Just find some skanky nil for the cut your hair for free. <laughs> yeah. I don't have your mum's number, sorry mate. Oh, of course not. How did my dead mum give you a number? Sick. <laughs> 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 Dildo Factory. Oh, you want to go to the Just keep following him now. Yeah. <laughs> Such a pathetic boss. <laughs> he was hard on the original, mate. Eh? So I'm trying to add that fucking good tree glass and fix what I do. Wait, I get. Do you have to do shit hours? No, I do five days a week. I do Monday and Friday. I'm going to have a good Saturday. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you on decent amount? Yeah. I'm going to come on like a wave. That's alright. Well, I think it gets really good. Like, 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 That's really good. That's really good. I'm not sure. It's your bread, mate. That's amazing. Yeah, man. And what's good? Where, where, where it's where it's tempted? Do you live close to it? Yeah, I'm going to live close. Like, where, 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 where you start a tent? I'm going to try it. 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 I'm going to try I'm going to take a whole day off to work. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole day off for us. I'm going to take a whole
and um, we, we lost the last WrestleMania together. It was the one where Shame of Man jumped on the top of the Oh, yeah, that's shit WrestleMania. Yeah, we had to take the in the new event. Yeah. Um, but we, we went to a, a pub in um, Canterbury. Close to us. And it was crazy. And like live food and everything like that. And there was like loads of wrestling fans. Yeah, um, I went to a bar like that in Cardiff for WrestleMania 34. Like everyone was going fucking nuts when the Hardy Boys returned and shit. Was such a great atmosphere. Like. Mm, it's better when you watch it with loads of people. It is just amazing, man. I literally felt like I was fucking there. Like... Oh, I thought you meant you saw it live. The worst thing I hate. Oh, no, no. Is when you talk like I remember some guy when I was at McDonald's. He was also at McDonald's, and uh, I was talking about wrestling with someone else. He was like, "Oh, you watch wrestling?" And I was like, oh, you, "You told me about this before." Yeah. We and he's like, "Oh yeah, I love John Cena." I was like, yeah. "Right." <laughs> oh man, not there's a guy. There's a guy who I'm working now. He's a little bit older than me, like any older. And he's like, "Oh, because I keep calling them the big dog, like." So he like kind of picked up that I was watching wrestling, like. And he was like, oh, he's like, oh, I can't. Like, this was before SummerSlam. He's like, oh, I hope to God Roman Reigns smashes that little bitch Brock Lesnar. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. You fucking Mark. No. You fucking Mark, Fez, then. You fucking Mark. Everybody, everybody knows you can only like people that are over with the fans. Yeah, exactly. I don't get that, man. Yeah, look. Like, fucking Braun Strowman is fucking white hot. Right. Yeah, every time he comes out to the fans and he goes, Whoa! everyone else is doing it in the crowd. <coughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, we've got, we got a big guy, fucking white hot, organically got over by himself. Let's turn him heel. But the best thing was true. Because when he was like, oh, I'm cashing my money in the bank contract in, like in advance. Later on that night, he beats the fucking ever loving piss out of Roman Reigns, which just leaves him there. Like, Really, like you just made yourself think like, the biggest fucking. Mm. We well, also, he also, it, that doesn't make sense as well because he also, uh, he also said, I've got, I, I'm gonna cash this in after this yeah. match, so you know when it's coming. Yeah. Well, they're still gonna be at like a quarter capacity. Yeah, they're gonna be fucked. Man. Yeah, gonna come in and ruin. He should have won the, he should have won the title. Yeah, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have won money in the bank though. Samoa Joe would have been deadly, mate. Wendy! <laughs> oh, Wendy! <laughs> Daddy's going, no, no. <laughs> mate, I love, mate, that shit at fucking SummerSlam. Where he got on the bike and he's like, I'm gonna be your daddy. Oh yeah. my god, that, was, that fucking made me roar, mate. Considering he's not going to be capable anymore, I'll be your daddy. <laughs> what a fucking savage. No one's got things to say. Fair play to AJ Styles later in life. His daughter didn't even seem like she knew what was going on, though, because like, when he went up to his daughter, she was like, oh, Daddy, Daddy, you're bleeding. He was like, he turned to someone, he was like, oh, is it bad? And they're like, yeah, it's fucking bad, dude. <laughs> when AJ was bleeding, like, Yeah, man, it was like pissing out of his head, wasn't it? Yeah. Daddy, on daddy. Corner of the steps. Daddy. That was just, that was the best though. That was the best. That was the best thing about SummerSlam. And the, yeah. I like the Jeff Hardy Nakamura match as well. They were like taking the piss out of each other. Did Nakamura defend his title? Yeah. Oh no, he's defending it tonight. Why, did, why didn't they? How what's that? I don't, I don't see, like, they've been building up stuff with him and like our truth and that. And it would have be been really funny if they just had a match with him and our truth. <clears throat> Nakamura, again, I don't think he needed to turn heel yet. It's funny though, I like Nakamura. Sorry, like, sorry, no speak English. It's so funny. She's like, I love it when she was like, oh, what are your thoughts on what Jeff Hardy said about you? And he's like, who? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Jeff Hardy, and he's like, all right, there's no need to yell. <laughs> He's so funny. He's literally so fucking charismatic. It's unbelievable. He's got charisma, fucking. I love it when he does that come on thing as well. He just overly does. He's like, yeah, man. What's up with his shoulder blades? Have you noticed that? 
he's quite skinny. Oh, his he? collarbones, like they like pop upwards. It's just like it's just tall. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. skinny. Yeah. He's just jacked. He's sweet as well. I actually wrote my girlfriend down because I celebrated he won for a while. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we was in bed. What normally happens? Actually, no, I was staying at home at that point. I was I was at my old house, and the, the general like now I just come into the front room and watch it. But um, back then, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to suck it. I used to watch it on my phone. Yeah, and then not the weird things. I know. I watched it next to Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I fucking lost my mind because it, it was literally down to like Nakamura, John Cena, fucking Roman Reigns. Like, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Our boy's got like, fucking wrecked and then he fucking, he fucking hits him with a Kinshasa. He eliminated, eliminated Cena and Roman. Yeah. And the place fucking went mental. And then he said he's going to fight Adrian Styles with that kind of shit. Yeah, it was perfect. I remember that, with that fucking, like, the fast lane people do that, when AJ, they like, beat them off, like Cena and Owens and Zayn all that. <laughs> like, they confirmed AJ and Nakamura, like, officially. Mm. There's some like, fucking rumours on the internet that Dolph Ziggler was going to win, I was like, fuck off it. That was on wasted money in a bank slot as well. Fucking, <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Yeah, so, I did like that. Funny enough, if I said money in the bank, I actually would have won. Oh, 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 oh. No, I, I was wasted for money in the bank, right? Like, yeah, oh. number 30, uh, fucking, yeah, number 30 when he came out of the world, one stupid. He got eliminated in two minutes. <laughs> no, fucking, like, with the fast lane, like, when AJ won, I was like, fucking, yeah, my baby won, like, and then, like, fucking, I put a picture on my Snapchat, and he said, it's no way to, my God, he said, like, follow me, and I made like, wrestling, I should have been yeah. And I accidentally put the picture on my story. It was a graphic of Nakamura and AJ. And I put as the caption, better than sex. And I was with my I was the ex with both of the girls I was with her at the time. Yeah. And like she, she seen it and she went fucking ballistic on me. And she was sending me a bunch of nudes the next morning saying, Oh, oh, is this better than shitty WWE? Oh I bet this is better than shitty WWE. I was like, mate. She said no. I, I just said to her, I said, mate, it's fucking AJ versus Nakamura. <laughs> Savage. I, I remember I was with my ex, my ex girlfriend, yeah, and I was I was staying around her house, and I was, I was watching SummerSlam 2014. Um, SummerSlam 2014, fucking John Cena, yeah, Lesnar and Cena, and just seeing Cena get his fucking ass kicked, and I did the same thing, because this was when obviously they wasn't, there wasn't Cena still. Yeah, but they wasn't pushing the button on Brock Lesnar. Like they just, I know they just done the thing with, um, like, yeah, the streak. But like he'd lost to like he'd lost to John Cena. He'd lost to Triple H. Uh, who did he lose to? Oh, he, he just beat CM Punk. Yeah, the and that was pretty much it. Triple H and John Cena. Yeah, and then literally two years ago, it's going to be a Cena shit. Yeah. And literally, he destroyed Cena. I knew Lesnar was going to win, but I didn't expect him to do that. And then literally, just, I love that, because when when, um, when he did, like, it went one, two, three, you just hear this, like, the core demographic of, Res of um, WWE fans, like, i.e. not kids. Yeah. Just all these men in the crowd, like, yeah! I remember I, I got up I got up and I was on my knees and I was bowing to the TV when it happened. But it's a, it's a couple of times, that, like that's my favourite type of pop, is like yeah. not it's everyone chiming. It's no, no, just like men, the wrestling. men in the crowd, like yeah. <laughs> like you heard you heard it at um. Do you remember when Cody Rhodes? It was it was the um, Rhodes brothers versus. The Shield. Yeah, the Rose Brothers versus Shield in the Shield Hills. And yeah. Cody got him in the fucking, got Seth Rollins in the crossroads. And then just the whole place just erupted. Yeah, yeah they went nuts. Hmm. Because they knew what was coming. It's only a couple of times in history that it happens. Just that level of everyone's in the moment. Perfect. You just don't that's have that anymore. That's the thing, man. Like, yeah, we're all in. Like, we're all in. Like, like when even Chris with, Jericho, even with like 
Daniel Bryan returned. It's like they announced it on Twitter and they ruined that because like that yeah. was a chance for a good pop. It was. As long as it's in the right place. Instead, not he just comes out the next week. He's like, "Oh, hi everybody! If you missed it on Twitter, I'm back." It's like, "Oh, shit, mm. fucking lame." I'm a fucking knob jockey. What's that? Well, I'm not. That's what I needed. But um, the jewel box. I thought he was in there, but no, it's not. Yeah, I thought the ju- I thought the jewel box was behind that statue, but it's actually in the mirror room. Oh. Well. That's, that makes sense now why I needed the help of Keith for that room. That is all. Oh, back, back to wrestling. Yeah, because he knew room. But yeah, oh, and Jericho's reaction at All In was similar. Yeah, yeah. Nobody expected him to be there, did they? Well, he, 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 he should have worn long sleeves. Yeah, that should. would have been so much better, better because That's as soon as great. I saw his tattoo, I was like, oh, it's Chris Jericho. I was still well, mad at mental. I was just responsible. Like, everybody was just like, oh, I could see a tattoo. It was, it was a little surprise. He was just like, fuck off. <laughs> no, that fucking thing with my ex, man, it was brilliant. Like, every time I watch wrestling, I'd be like, I tell it, I'd be like, it's a big view on tonight. It's pretty big. Like, Royal Rumble was on. I was like, what? Royal Rumble's on. It's like my favorite pay per view with you. I'm watching it. Shut up. Because I wanted that more to win the one board. I think that. And she's like, eh, eh, wrestling's fake. Wrestling's fake. I'm like, oh, fucking, you know, what are you going to tell me next? Fucking, what the white didn't actually go out to the desert? Fucking Mick Yeah. I think you know? Faye, just, Faye just gets it now. Right. It's, it's not, good, it's not like really fake, though. It's like, it's just predetermined, it's scripted. Yeah. Like the shit that it's, not, it's literally no different than watching, like, The Only Way is Essex. And. Towie and Love Island, they're just, they are all predetermined. They're all based on real life. Like, no one watches a film and goes, ah. I love how everybody loves, like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, and all that shit. Yeah, all that scripted. Hmm. Yeah. That's all fucking predetermined. It's not fucking actually based on fan votes and shit. It's all fucking scam, like. Yeah. I- I said that years ago when that fucking Lady C was in there. And it's like, if it was really up to fan votes, people fucking hated that woman's guts. Like, they would have got rid of her straight away. Exactly. They kept her in there because they wanted ratings, because they wanted you to tune in to see her go. It's like, it's a fucking... Oh, it's, I don't know. It pisses me off and like, oh, wrestling was fake. It's like, yeah, everything you watch is fucking fake. Yeah, nothing's real. What's these fucking police shows where they're like pulling people over on the side of the road now? They're not even real arrests. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember who had the shirt, but it was a really cool shirt. It was a wrestler, I think, who had it. And it said, wrestling's real and people are fake. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like it. I like it. That's a shirt that I'd actually buy. Show it to my fucking ex. Uh, but yeah, man, Faye, Faye just gets it. She even, um, last year, she bought me, we went up to Gloucestershire, um, which is on, obviously, the Welsh border. And we had to Gloucestershire to watch, to, um, like, do, like, we got, like, rented a log cabin up there. It was really good, actually. Um, but she bought me tickets to, it was only a house show, but mm. she bought me tickets to WWE Live. I was like, oh, fucking sick. I didn't expect you to do that. Romance, so just focused on wrestling, like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was a bit guy that weren't, like, a TV taping, but it's yeah. what it is. I ain't got to fucking complain. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, it was awesome. Like, it was it was everything I expected it to be. I went to this NXT house show before in like 2015, and like it was fucking sick. Like the wrestling, like the like the revival versus American Alpha. They had, like, oh mate, made it was like what um, the Finn Balor and some other guys. Oh, revival, man. Are they going to beat uh, McIntyre and Ziggler? I think. I hope so. We go I think hard. Michael McIntyre. Do you, do you remember? <laughs> Do, do you remember? Um, do you remember when they first debuted on the main roster, the revival? When they did against the Booty. Mate, that pop was insane. They were booking them right as well, though, because like they broke Kofi Kingston's leg and shit. I was like, oh shit! Mm. Just like they did in NXT. And everyone was like, everyone, when it was like, say yeah, and everyone was like, yeah. Yeah, everyone was like, yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> Like theme songs, the most like homoerotic thing. We go hard. 
<laughs> all day, all night. I love it when I don't know which if, if they said this in the next I oh know it was at that NXT London when I was like which one's Dawson and which one's Taz yeah they were, they were trying to do it <laughs> that's what I love about um, like I like that NXT takeover because it was on at like 7 o'clock on a Saturday it was yeah. fucking I didn't really enjoy that takeover that much <sighs> I like the main event to that. Ah, uh, you're not getting me this time, you fucking stupid of rotten prick. It's a pretty weak takeover. I'll tell you what, I went to going to New York and watching WWE live at a reasonable time was so nice. Mm. Yeah. It's seven o'clock. Oh. Oh. We literally arrived there on a Sunday and I said to Fred, I don't care what we do on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> we're, we're, we're being at home for eight o'clock. Yeah. Because I've got Raw to watch, I've got Smackdown to watch, and I want to watch them at a regular time. Yeah. It's fucking beast, man. Right? The, the finish was at like 11 o'clock. It's like, it's perfect. That'd be so good. I think when they... That's just what pissed me off as well. Even when WWE's on in the UK, like when it does tapings in like November and April... Yeah, they're still here in like... Yeah, still here in April, like. Yeah, you just gotta read the spoilers of this, so I don't like it. I don't like it. Who is it here at live? Like, just do it twice a year. That's all they go to the UK for anyway, twice a year. Mm. Like, God. Oh, God. Now, like... now that they're starting to do these weird, like, they're just glorified house shows, aren't they? These fucking stadium shows. Oh, the buddy Crown Jewel or whatever that's called. Yeah, the Super Showdown. Yeah. I think uh, it's just glorified house shows, that's all they are. Undertaker Triple H thing is going to be building up to something big, though. Mm. Could Shawn Michaels. I think, um, because everyone's saying it's going to be DX versus Undertaker and Kane. That would be cool. It's going to be a good show. Because then just... they're saying that Shawn Michaels is going to fight Undertaker at WrestleMania or something, which I'm down to see, but... Mm. I don't but know. But now, now they're starting to do these big stadium shows, though. Um, what, 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 what's their plan with them? Like, are they going to come to the UK? I really hope they do. It's Wembley, mate. It's Wembley in it, yeah. 90,000 people. Let's get it done. They haven't done that since fucking 19... What was it? 1992, like, yeah. Yeah. SummerSlam. They have the like, old Wembley as well. I was going to say, yeah. I don't see why they can't just hold that like, uh, It's like a B-level pay-per-view. Mm. Yeah. I've taken something. SummerSlam. What's Survivor Series? Uh, oh, so it's coming up now, we have to try save Rebecca. Oi. With a fucking knife though. <laughs> Come on then, Hunter, you little prick. I've got no healing items on me either. So... I I am taking fucking Mendy Stevens and fucking Evolution. Oh, fuck you now. This battle looks a lot more epic now, doesn't it? <laughs> This is actually class. He's drunk. I feel like I'm falling into it. Oh, he's done here. Fuck you. you Rebecca, four, seven slices. You okay? Is that a I couple did get you worried. We can't stay here any bed. longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. But yeah. Um, then I'll go ahead. And that's it. Until well, then, like, Rebecca, doing, you're on your own. In the space Stay of... In the space of a couple of weeks, they're doing the Super Showdown, or whatever it's called. Superstar Showdown. I don't know what it's called. On October 6th. Then they've got Evolution, which I imagine is going to be a big event. That's a pay view, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it's, they're not even doing like a proper pay view. Yeah. In October, really. Yes. And then they've got that. Then they've got that crown jewel, like after that. Oh. What? So they've got two. What? They've got they've got like two stadium shows and then a pay per view. Well, not really a pay per view, but like a. Yeah. Bear okay. in mind as well, that fucking Survivor Series is like shortly after that Saudi Arabia event as well. 
Yeah, so it's going to get a bit convoluted. Like, are it they going to start cutting down on their pay-per-views like, to have these big shows? I think they should. They really should. Because it's so refreshing just seeing a massive crowd. I'm tired of seeing, like, oh, we're here at fucking <laughs> Bumfuck Nevada I, Civic Centre, which, which has, like, 10,000 people and half of them haven't turned up. So we're fucking book- <laughs> half of them haven't turned up to the SmackDown taping. So we're fucking we're sheeting off half of the crowd. Oh, everybody, I'm Jim Ross, and we're live in Jimmy's back garden. Oh, I, I love seeing it where they like really make an effort. With. That's why I like these big stadium shows. Cause like that the Saudi Arabia one was lit. I like that show because it had like pyro. It had yeah, fucking. Sure. Princes sitting in fucking big luxury seats. Fucking Jinder Mahal. Fucking Titus O'Neil. Oh, Titus O'Neil. <laughs> Wait, I was watching that with my, my dad and brother, and I was like, that wasn't meant to happen. I showed all my mates I'm doing more wrestling, and they were creasing at it. Mate, it's Corey Graves' reaction, mate. Oh, <laughs> he's just dying, money. He's just dying. He's dying. Oh, look what, look what just happened on the stream, Andy, mate. Do you know that happens? What? How the fuck does that work? Because I accidentally put the red jewel in instead of the yellow. Oh, you meant put the yellow one in first? You don't put in the red one on this one, do you? Do you not? No, you put the red in into the box. Oh. Are you allowed to get it back? I don't think so, but I weren't going to risk all those bites off the fucking yeah. thingy. I'm just going to cloth. Some of this going to feed our cloth. I'm going to clean my cloth. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably... I, I, I watched the, um, I watched the Australian one, because it's on the same day as that UFC show. And it's on Saturday, so... It's on the same day as McGregor and Khabib, is it? Yeah, it's on October oh, 6th, yeah. But it's on at 9 in the morning. That and Khabib and McGregor will be on, like, 4 Five, Yeah, 5 the next day. Yeah. I'll probably just watch a Sunday morning. I never really watch UFC Live. I watch... Oh, I only watch them if they're really big, like... I watch Mayweather and McGregor Live. Pacquiao Mayweather Live. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching um second Diaz and McGregor fight live. Oh, I watched the original. <laughs> I stayed up and watched <laughs> Jose Diaz Aldo. Smack them about. <laughs> With Jose Aldo versus McGregor. Oh, you watched that uh, live? Fell asleep as they were doing their entrances. Oh. And I woke up like 15 minutes <laughs> after. Like, oh shit, is it? Dinner? Oh fuck no, how long was I asleep? I was only asleep like five minutes, and I re- 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 rebound it. I was like, oh, it's only 30 seconds long. 13 second fight. Fucking joke. That's what confidence does to you. Whether well, Jose Aldo was like, oh, he's a bitch, he's a little pussy. I'm like, bitch, you got knocked up and had to under 20 seconds. Yeah, he got really humbled in that fight. Humbled more than any UFC fighter ever. Yeah. He did, he did it. One of the boys wants to fucking bet on that McGregor could be fight, but I'm not fucking. I never bet on UFC. It's not fucking. Nah. It's not sick, like. I've got a really good boxing track record, right, for betting, because I always bet for Anthony Joshua. Yeah, I always, yeah. I always managed to predict the right round and everything like that. Yeah. I got pretty fortunate out of it, but. Matt, Josh fucking Saturday now as well, isn't he? Huh? Fighting fucking Saturday as well, now, isn't he? Yeah, man. I can't wait. Gonna be sick. We'll just, we'll just nothing, beats, nothing beats nothing beats now Joshua fighting our ass, mate. Oh yeah. It's just the best thing ever. Like when he went against Klitschko last year, that was literally like per- it was literally like wrestling. <laughs> it was like Klitschko got knocked down and then Joshua got knocked down and it was like, oh no, Joshua's gonna get knocked out. And then fucking he gets fucking knocked down, and it was so, it was so satisfying. Yo, but he, he'll smash our fucker on Saturday. Oh, Easier. mate, he'll, he'll chill him, mate. Proper chill him. I fucking eat him, like. 
He will. He's a Joshua's machine. Oh yeah. It's fucking insane how good he is, man. I just love watching him. He's so sad. He's so he's fun to watch. Like crazy. you know, you know, some guy, some guy's gonna get like. Like, for example, when he went against fucking Dylan White, you know, Dylan White was going to get... Oh, I love Dylan White, but you knew he was going to get the fucking black beating off him. It was David Hay fight? It's a fucking trash. <laughs> oh, mate, that last David Hay fight was fucking tragic. Oh, my God. I felt... I, I, yeah, I, I, I just... fucking threw the towel in and I was at home. <laughs> you were just fucking... I just threw it the telly. <laughs> I felt so sorry for him. He's just like a, he's like a battered old man, but it was defenceless. He was like a dog that was getting kicked by a drunk owner, which just happens to be my uncle. <laughs> I think that his mic's moved in because he's been talking. What's that? Oh no, there we are. Like you said, hey, old man. Off, you've been talking. You've been oh, Northerners are really weird. Northerners? Yeah. Like, everyone who lives, like, above Birmingham. Alright. Like, not North Welsh. But, like, I was gonna say, we're not even North Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, like, Northerners, they're like a different breed of people. Hey. Like, my, my um, company, their head, head, their head office is in uh, Chesterfield, in Derbyshire. Yeah. Which is up north. And I'm not even joking, mate. It's like a foreign language when you go up there. It's like being a southerner and going up there. And then, and then you'll see the guys and they're like, Hey, up, lad. you like, oh, Right, mate. Yeah, there. Well, help me put gear in car. <laughs> That's actually spot on, mate. It's on the fucking Gimli from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I've been perfecting it. I've been, we've got we've got a northerner that works down with uh, with us uh, uh, in our uh, in our little office in uh, just around the corner from my house. And me and my mate Brad we've fucking perfected our northern accent. Like, every time we see each other, we're like, "Hey, up, lad!" <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, up, lad!" <laughs> hey, up, lad! Where is it? There so, it is. Sweet. What's the whole point of going to the fucking uh, underground then? If because I've already, I can already go and see fucking Lisa Trevor if I wanted to. No, you can't. How come? Because you need the black surround. What's didn't you? The black surround. Yeah, like you've got the little crest, but the crest sits in something ah, that then goes yeah. in the that then goes in the door. Yeah, I knew there was something. Yeah, there had to be something to you. I couldn't have missed it's still the whole. It's stupid. You have to go down. Like it's just. And Chris got in his <laughs> chewing gum in his pocket. He can just fucking make a surround out of it. No, but he's useless. He's fucking. Hello, hunk, raccoon city. Welcome fucking to the ESA chat. Agent Segoia has played on my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> He does. Yeah, well, he is. Mate, he's a fucking spaz He is a fucking spaz dick, isn't he? he he's, he's useless. I'd just get him to cut a bit of his boot off and, like, cut it around the fucking, that little metal object. Right, but he's like, oh, no, I need my boots for something. <laughs> I need my boot. Oh, I forgot he doesn't really have, like, that shit fucking stupid voice acting in this one. Ah! It looks like we got to the root of the, the problem. problem. Did you see where I died just now as well? What, just outside that door? Yeah. yeah shit, man. <sighs> I always get bummed. Like, when I, when I, when I yeah. played Carlos, I always get bummed. Play it fucking going against the hunters. Like, I, try to, I keep trying to play hanging only, but I'm fucking terrible at it. Like, the, the, you just need the assault rifle because the hunters just bum you. Like, you yeah. can't move. Carlos section in that hard, see if you have an assault rifle. Yeah, just fucking breeze through it. It's like the clock tower. <laughs> but it's like, the nemesis is really hard. Like, at the start of the game. Like, it's totally unpredictable. 
but after the clock tower, it's so easy. That's what I find. Yeah, it is. Oh, this hunt is really hard, man. The true, I've done it better last time, though. Oh, piss off. You didn't even get it. Raccoon City is from Chile. Well, welcome to a UK street. Where are you from in Chile? Oh, don't tell me I'm going to die right now. No, is it your I don't have any health. I didn't even need any just now for the last one. Do my friend Alejandro Sayas from Chile. What? Oh, oh, this guy. This guy from Chile. Oh mate, you just died again. That's tragic. Yeah, I didn't even die on him just now. I fucking ruined him earlier. Did you save it? I have to do a stupid dual puzzle again. Oh mate, that's tragic. So fucking I save it. So save it. No, because I literally saved here, done the dual puzzle, and then went there. Oh well, yeah, fair enough. Trick and run, fucking. I hate having to backtrack. That's like fucking game ender for me. Like, even if it's five minutes, I'm like, oh, fuck this guy. Yeah. I don't think Puzzle does have, like, the two best Easter eggs. There's Easter egg for Chicken Run and Harry Potter. Colossal Stone. <sighs> it's because I'm being stupid with my health. Like, I've got plenty of health, but I'm not using it. There's also a blue cock. Whee! I bet we wake up tomorrow and fucking impact has been bought by WWE. Vince McMahon's like, I'm gonna destroy what I created. Do you watch, um, do you listen to the, uh, something to rest with Bruce Pritchard? Every now and again. I haven't, oh, uh, man. been slacking on it. Have you seen the Goldberg episode? Man? No, I wanted to watch that one. That's not my It's the best one. It it basically, uh, Bruce Pritchard talks about this when it was basically Goldberg's 2003 run. Oh. And he was talking about there was this backstage vignette that he was doing. Well, not, not vignette, a backstage segment they were doing. And, um. Promo or just like a normal segment? <laughs> uh, like a promo or just like a segment? No, like, it, they were like telling the story like. Um, oh, okay, okay. Like, I don't know whether old Goldberg was meant to drive off in his truck or something. And, like, and, like, uh, this fucking actor who was meant to be, like, a cameraman was in the wrong area at the wrong time. And then, after it aired, Vince had a meeting with the camera guy, Bruce Pritchard and Goldberg. And he said to Bruce, he was like, You jerk shit all over the business. <laughs> And he was like, you just killed Goldberg's career. <laughs> He's fucking I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Vince did that himself. Big Mac is unreal. It's gold confused to triple H in a fucking elimination chamber. Oh, fuck off. Elimination chamber. The elimination chamber of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know in um, in Germany it's not called the Elimination Chamber because it's offensive? Yeah, Why? No, it's called, oh yeah. No, it's called something else, isn't it? It's, it's called, called uh, no Escape or something. The Escape or something. Yeah. No Escape or some shit. No Escape, yeah. Yeah, it can't be called the Elimination Chamber because of the Holocaust. That's fucking stupid, though. That's just insane, it, it doesn't say anything about fucking gas chambers. It's, it's, <laughs> We don't no. watch Elimination Chamber and think, oh Christ, this is bringing back bad memories of when my band was locked in that camp. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like... I'm seeing Roman Reigns running around the fucking... You can imagine going to Poland, you can imagine going to fucking Auschwitz or Treblinka or something. Like, going around on a guided tour and like, this is the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. Like, nice quantum <laughs> Elimination Chamber match. <laughs> I used to actually have the Elimination Chamber, like, figures, like the actual structure. Yeah, same, yeah. Um, uh... Sick. All my mates had Hell in a Cell, and I was like, oh, we got a Hell in a Cell one. The Hell in a Cell one was good, but I like the Elimination Chamber one better. Did I, I have the Hell in a Cell? I think I did. 
I think I had that on the subtle one as well. I can't remember. I never had like a steel cage one, right? I had like a money in the bank one, I think. The Elimination Chamber one was sick because they used to take the top off and it used to be just like a, a really wide cage match. Yeah. You couldn't fucking play with it if you didn't take the roof off or something. Well, yeah, because I had this... There was two that was released. There was one which had like, funny enough, it was like the Umbrella logo, where it was like a cross. So you could basically put it, they were like crisscrossed over the top of each other. Um, and it, But you could still like reach your hands around. Um, but there was another one, which was like the actual like circle. But you had to like open the sides to make it happen. I think that was the one I had, yeah. I, I can't remember. Right, I think I had the one we could I don't remember. Uh, Russian, Russian figures is the one. Yeah, it's shit. I remember them being expensive though. Oh, yeah. like, being, like, 10 or 10 or 10. Oh. I hate that zombies do the most damage in this game. It's a stupid man. Yeah, like one bite puts you on caution. We're alive. <laughs> don't do the elimination chamber. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. In the concentration camp. <laughs> Hitler's like the special guest timekeeper. <laughs> Schmall from the boy in striped pajamas. Pretty guess. Tragic. Fuck's sake. Mate, the boy in striped pajamas was lit. I've seen it so many times just in school though. I've just never had to watch it in my own time. Yeah. I watched it once in fucking college for some reason. I went to college and I got a fucking animal vet nursing course, like. What? <laughs> you know, vet nursing for animals and shit. You know, fucking... Oh, is that what you did? I did that for three years, yeah, man. No way. That's insane. Yeah. What like, was that like? You did a dildo munchin. It was fucking awesome, man. I loved it. It's just like, when I got out, it's like, the thing is that like, actually like, being a vet. Basically, 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 kind of what you're telling me is you're just doing like put down dogs. Well, that sucks. Mm. Um, I, I did actually, I wasn't really for that once, but it, it was like a German chef who came in and the, leg, the legs were working and she couldn't walk anymore. The spine was fucked or something. I can't remember. Mm. It was just like a German music with a like, couple of fucking ball in that. I, I just, I, I, um, they, they were like, oh, hold her down and stuff, hold the projector, and I'm like, you know, like, fucking kill this dog, I'm not gonna be okay with this, like, yeah, I, was only, man. I was only, like, 18, 19 at the time, I was fucked, man, I, I remember going home, I couldn't fucking sleep, I was just thinking about it, I don't know, I was just really deep in thought, I was like, fuck, you know, I you gotta be, you gotta have fucking balls of steel to do that, you gotta, you like, gotta take the life out of, I mean, it's, like, it's different in it with dogs because they're domesticated and they build, they're like. I fucking love dogs, man. I've got two dogs myself, man, so you know. Yeah, like, but they like they they see you as like their master, and, like they only care about you. Their whole life is revolved around you. Exactly. That's why I felt so upset with the German Shepherd, like, because like, in all fairness to it, like, her tail was still wagging and she looked at them. Just, I wanted to fucking bore my eyes out, man. I didn't mm. cry because I wanted to try and like. Obviously, they did tell me once if we see you crying about any of this, we're probably just going to ask you to go home. So I just thought, well, I mean, some of them were kind of like, oh, it's okay, you cry. Others were <laughs> like, no, they're not going to let you get any further. So I just thought, oh, try your best to show them. Mm. And I had to sit in the room, and then I had to sit in the room with the cat after they killed the dog. I had to sit in the room with them for like a good half hour, and I was like, Trying my best, like, see, and I was like, well, anything I see is just fucking redundant, you know, it's like... Yeah, just, but if, like, just lost one of <sighs> fucking life companions. I wasn't going to be like, oh, I know, I know a place where you can get a new one. <laughs> There's a shelter down the road. <laughs> what if I lose cell? <laughs> <laughs> But there was a story on Facebook, wasn't it? Like, this vet, <laughs> pet peeve around vets, then like, like they they've got to put down an animal, and like, their their owners leave the room, and like these 
the animals alive. Trying for their owners. But they're in like such a state of panic when they're You fucking Yona's like going in the room and stuff. Cause it, it just makes it be, you know, it's like the last minutes of the dog's life, you know, they want to be with their own they're like. Yeah. It's only fair. Yeah. It's hard though. I, I wouldn't want to have to be there. every day, could you? It's fucking, it fucking sucks, man. And with cats, it's different. The cat doesn't give a fuck, like, in all fairness. Like, no, I don't yeah, mind man. cats, but the cats, cats are shit. In all fairness, cats are probably like, do you know what? I think my time's up anyway, mate. I'm yeah. fucking, I'm starting to shit myself. God, it's like just like, don't get back up, bro. You know, you just need... like, do you know what? I just fucking can't ask for this, man. Time to see next time. Let's hope with my dog next next time. But dogs are like, you can see the sadness and the happiness in their eyes. This thing, man. Dogs are just, they're on a whole other level, man. It's the best place to have, I think. Mm. I'm into and shit too, it's like a little shot of next to the snake. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe he's gone. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I remember when Ryan used to just sit in the corner and sit in the corner. I was like, my brother's got a tortoise downstairs. It's like the most entertaining thing the tortoise does is walk across the room and hide his wardrobe. That's what we it's like... Not with dogs. Dogs have character. Exactly. Oh, oh fucking Brutus. Why'd you shit on the floor again? If I say something to my god, I'm going to be like, if ends in my like, If I say something the wrong way, I'm going to have shit. Sorry. Yeah. You knew what I was. There's this amazing thing. It was like... When you accidentally stand on your... When you accidentally stand on your dog's paw and it starts crying and helping out for pain. But you're saying sorry to it, but it doesn't know what you're saying. So you'll never be able to say it. You'll never be able to tell it if you're sorry. That's a fucking fourth death now. It keeps decapitating me. Stop pushing. I better go out fucking bed, boys. I've got fucking work in the <sighs> right, well, it was good catching up with you fellas. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do we'll do something soon to the same sort of uh, to the same sort of tune. Yeah, we'll go MAGA. MAGA. <laughs> A and Napa. <laughs> go Oceana. <laughs> Alright, boys. I'll talk soon. Yeah, see you in a bit. Try, soon. mate. Bye, bye. So like far behind your stream. This fucking asshole, man. This hunter, I've killed him twice, but died like three times. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you dare block me in like that. Oh, I fucking hate this hunter on the steps. He's <laughs> oh, don't you dare! Like on the park, like you're still pushing the boxes into the water. I can really know just did that part. What the fuck? What's that? Like, on my like stream right now that I'm watching, I'll be watching. I fucking really know just pushed all the boxes into the water. Is it? Yeah, you're like going past the sharks now. Oh, I might have to refresh it. Nah, no. So I done that like hours ago. Like an hour and a half yeah. ago. Oh, it was bad, man. Yeah, it was <laughs> oh no 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 no! Alright, we are. So de decapitations of one kill. Oh shit! Yeah, I just see. The thing is, the first time I killed him, like, earlier, he literally only take about s seven swipes. Yeah, he's dead, there we are. That took about seven swipes. So there's, there's a certain amount of, like... Rebecca! Gotta, like, memorise how many times it takes. Yeah. Alright, this is the arsehole, I don't know.
Oh, so literally this answer by here. I'm refresh the room now. Oh, piss off. Oh, I hate I hate that I hate that staircase. Because Chris basically runs up and down the stairs like there's nothing there. Yeah. Like there's no enemies there at all. Yes to be, yeah. It's just like slowly walking, I wouldn't be jumping over the banister, I would. Say fuck out of here. Ooh, there we are, Spanner. Go on. Sweet. The stream's actually in time and a bit. Caught up now, is it? Yeah. In the save room. Okay, so I must have been well behind for the last half hour or so. Yeah, I must have, man. Where'd you get back that far? Like, uh. Crank. First aid, just in case. I don't care how many saves I'm doing, I'm, this is literally just knife only. I don't care how many saves. Well, so you say it's knife only anyway, so I can say I'll get to it for certain months. Nah. Gives a shit. I literally saved right before this as well, but I don't care, because. I'm not fucking doing that. Yeah, exactly. Never be too safe. I'm gonna do this now. Oh, not far from the end. What's that? I was saying I knew the isolation when saving. I never be too safe. Oh, as you've really just put me back on caution. What a prick. <laughs> Hunters are literally the most annoying enemy in the entire game. They are a pain in the cock. Just fucking swiped you up the arse all week. Actually, swiped as well. It wasn't even like an invited swipe. <laughs> I wasn't. Wish I could sound more enthusiastic, man. Bum the grenade, fucking bump in the air, fucking. Try to. Fuck it. Oh, I'm gonna heal for that, actually. Fuck that. I'm not running through there with on caution. I think it was annoying. The last few parts of my Spider-Man episode it was trying to be fucking quiet. Like it was annoying as fuck. I'm like, ah, oh, fucking shit. I'm being quiet. What's that? Like when I finished Spider-Man, like it was like the last. I think it was like the last like, two or three parts. It was like fucking. I was like trying my best to be quiet, but like there was so much crazy shit going on. Oh yeah. Nah, you know, I'm not bothering. I'm fucking uh. Didn't say shit then though, I was like shouting and screaming and wooing. <laughs> oh no, don't you dare poison me. Oh, thank god. Andy said you could tap the moon for this rich controller and then they're all barging in. Oi, dude, Sound like a crackhead, mate. <laughs> you do that. It's my father's own hockey, but he's like, kick his father on the goalie. Go, 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 Isn't that what they called Hitler? A tyrant or something, yeah. It's not a fucking tyrant. Have you seen the tyrant on air? That's what I think of when I hear the word tyrant. It's a big ass one. Like a, like a T-Rex or some shit tyrant as well. Yeah, like something like that. Like, not fucking Hitler. Well, see, he's a faggot. He couldn't do anything himself. I batter the prick. He had a bit of KD that all of us combined, though. Oh, yeah. It's not really a show, is it? True. It's just like in being like, oh, squad, go take up a faggot. He said, my brother's a bitch. He just had the power to do it. Exactly. Oh, I got a lecture tomorrow. Well, not a lecture, but it's like induction week. Alright. Time to go there. 
10 till 11.30, so it's not that bad, it's only for an hour and a half. It's not even bad, man. Hopefully I've got I... paid as well. I won't find out till the morning, will you? Um, no, because I'm on Nat West, he usually all comes in like half two or something. I was going to say, the light comes in like four in the morning. Yeah. This game chip my paint or what? Oh, I was just to say this game will probably be completed in the next forty minutes or something. Fuck out. I'll probably get two trophies. Probably. Yeah, one for beating it in under five hours and one um for beating it with a knife. Some game trophies are retarded though, for beating games. Yeah. Like Spider-Man gives you a bronze trophy for beating it. Does it? Yeah. That's the truth. Fuck all of it. It's quite fucking hard as well, man. Is so it? These... Yeah, man. Do you get a trophy for being on Spectacular? No. You don't? No. So there's literally no point in you playing on Spectacular? That's the point. It's like unless you like, bring like a challenge or something. I find it quite hard, just normal, like, amazing. Amazing difficulty. It was my first time playing, I don't know what the fuck was going on. But... It's good though, there's two end credit scenes as well. Is there? Just like a couple, yeah, just like the Marvel films. Like... Post credit scenes, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting down waiting in the cinema for. That's classic. Do you know what I'm out of the loss? Yeah. Do you, like, you see the first set credit scene, like, they, you know, they go into the snap and shit like that. Did you stay then, after that? No, but I've seen it on YouTube. I was gonna say, the second one was just a fucking hand playing the drums, like. It's pointless, it's, isn't it? It was a bit weak for that. Everyone was like, oh, it's the second one. Wait, oh, and like, oh, shit. Could be better than that one, because usually the second one is like, oh, it's a bit longer. Yeah. It was just an hand playing the drums. It was like, it was kind of cool, though, because it showed, like, what happened, like, after snap because like the TV was like all, all emergency and shit like that. It was kinda cool. Oh was right. So, so. This was like this was kinda fun like. Yeah. It was just kinda like trying to portray like the chaos of like after all that happened like I'm waiting for him to put something like that in um into the T V series, Marvel T V series uh the Netflix series. Yeah. Like Dead Air as well. Everyone was wondering what happened there. Hopefully, like, yeah, yeah, like, do you know Matt Murdock's mate, Foggy? Yeah. You should make him and that woman disappear or something. So then Enrico, yeah. Matt's going to do that. Come any closer. I don't see why they stop by the end of the movies. What happened? What's that? The Spider Man being behind those doors next. Double crosser. Find Enrico, wait. Is it? Enrico! Yeah, like fucking Jessica um, Jones' house. Well, uh, Find those of that shit, man. I still haven't watched Jessica Jones. Oh, that's great, man. I haven't seen season two, but uh... What, what shit first. power is that? Oh, I don't know. She said fucking power, oh, let's see. I wish I remembered. It's like telepathic shit or something. Something like that. Right. Fucking quite cool. It's like mind... Something to do with the mind or something. Oh no, fucking, that was villain's character, that was David, what's his name's character? Doctor Who guy's character. He could like move away. Luke Cage was alright, but it didn't... Yeah, you know, it didn't have much action in it compared to the others. I didn't see Luke Cage. Punisher was the best one in my opinion out of the TV Punisher's series. Fun. It was fuck. Fucking amazing. And uh, John Booth was a fucking beast as well. Oh yeah, he is, isn't he? Luke Cage fucking fucks her and Jessica Jones as well. Is he? Yeah, he fucking so bad. Literally, the first episode of Luke Cage is really boring until like the very end of the episode. I don't really like him. 
never liked him enough in Jessica Jones to rewatch his old thing. Like, uh, he's just bulletproof. Yeah, just the Hulk greedy really, though. Just worse. Oh, it's the Hulk up, to be honest. Oh yeah. 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 Definitely. Oh, step out. What's up here, man? What's up here? Oh, shotgun shells. There was no, literally no point in me going up there. Readers of the Lost Ark. What's that? Readers of the Lost Ark. Yeah. It literally it does remind me of Indiana Jones, this part, every time. Oh, no, here we are. Ugh. You fuck ugly. Luckily, I don't have to kill this spider. Oh! Yeah, he's huge. Fucking frostbite. Frostbite is my name. I can't remember his nickname. This guy. Black Widow, I think. <laughs> Fuck it up. I hate those fucking spiders. They're not crunched. They're just not. They're really ugly on me. No, come on, I've got the door open. Don't fucking poison me. Let me be. That was close. You mean mashing my controller in? Yeah. Are you mashing? Oh shit. Hello. Oh, what? There's like something on the ceiling as well. Where to? There's like legs on the ceiling, man. Like spider legs on the ceiling. Oh, it's probably another spider. Oh shit. It's a spider's nest, I did see. Oh, right. I was just say, I thought they were just the one. No, oh, no. Or something. <laughs> Increase the lap up with a spider stabs it, that's funny. Oh, I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in fucking years, man. Ah, oh, Lord of the Rings 3 is just excruciating. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I've sat through an entire one without falling asleep, to be honest. Not because they're boring or anything like that. Yeah, it's really, really long. Way too long. Like, way too long, yeah. Literally, man, the new Lord of the Rings is like... It's really just... Fucking deep releases and shit like that. It's so long because they just keep everything in that they cut out originally, like... It's literally a fire though as well. All the pills are long as well, but... Who is that bad? Yeah, I, I like the Hobbit. I only seen, I think... The Hobbit matches the dragon. It's actually... Yeah, your voice is small, man. I think I've only seen the first, uh, um, Hobbit. And that was, like, near enough when it first came out as well. Yeah. But I did I like it. So there was... Oh, you didn't like it? Oh, I did, I did. Oh, alright, I think so you didn't like it. I was like, say, everyone was going mad over how good it was. I didn't think it was better than, like, some of the original Lord of the Rings, but it's good. It's a good, like, uh, prequel, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I think, um... Martin Freeman does a good Bilbo Baggins, like... Yeah. I like the second, uh, Orbit the best. Number three. Do they have... How many of them are there now? It's three Hobbit films and three Lord of the Rings films. No, oh, yeah. Funny enough, the second of both the best ones. <laughs> what one's the second Lord of the Rings? The Two Towers, no? Uh. What's the best one? I do like Return of the King. Well, I like them all. They're all good. I don't know about that. I think everyone likes two towers because I fucking got a little cut golem. Uh, fucking golem, like. What a boy. It reminds me of Bill Bridgman. Uh, Jack McAndrew. <laughs> I've been streaming for almost four hours. Fucking hell, man. I didn't see that how long. My game time is probably about. Um. Four and a half. Probably about three and a half. Oh, yeah, true, because you were streaming for a bit, and then you were like, yeah. That's a good point. 
I don't know if it includes door scenes, the game time as well, so I'd be trim that trim off a lot, that will. Yeah. yeah. That's literally all I came here for was that. Fucking hell. Looks like a wall with duct tape from far. Yeah, it did, that's what I thought it was then. I was like, so I was wondering what I came here for. Yeah, I literally. I think there's one more boss fight. <clears throat> Which isn't really a boss, I just have to pull like four boxes off a fucking thing. Yeah. And then. I'm in the area, I'm just a lab. Fucking mind. Shit, I was dropping frames then. I need to get a gaming PC myself, man. A proper like, gaming PC or something. Yeah, I need to. I'm I want to do like a um, dead space and shit then. Yeah, that's good on PC. <sighs> I've been done a stream of it the ages ago, and obviously he didn't upload it today because he only uploads Resident Evil. So I don't know what he streamed it up. I think we're gonna see it again. Me and him were gonna do a Dead Island as well. I reckon we should all do Dead Island. As well. That'd be sick. Yeah, we could all do that. That'd be a laugh. I will. It take ages, obviously, because all of us are free at the same time. Awesome. Work around here. Yeah. Just be one of those ongoing one for ages, for like years probably. <laughs> we're still doing bloody Dino Crisis, yeah. We're still gonna finish that. Oh yeah, we still gotta do fucking Resident Evil Five. I have to. Yeah, but I have to get an Ethernet cable for this place, see. Yeah, for the Wi-Fi, cause it's like obviously it's university Wi-Fi is register. I have to like go on a registered thing, and I have to type in like my name and shit. But everyone else has used an Ethernet cable, so I guess that's the only way, to be honest. Yeah. As soon as you do are, we can start it, I think. Yeah. It'd be better, it'd be better, um... It'd be better connection. Is there a fine net recording and upload it to my channel? Because I tried doing it before, when we were doing it, but it ended up fucking up. <laughs> Try recording and uploading it this time. Um, oh, yeah. I don't even know why I've done that puzzle then. I don't even need to do that yet. Uh, Alright, where am I going in here? Oh, 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 oh. I'll have a different part one to you. <laughs> What's that? I'll have a different part one to you then, which will be even weird though. Oh, yeah. Be alright. Recently watched it again though, so I that guy was like, ooh, he was a grass and a sack, and I got fucking fat, yo. He's like, oh, yeah, you were like, we were both like, oh, he's grass and a sack. Fucking a fat, yo. Ooh! It's a shame we couldn't find that second episode, man. No, that was the best episode I've probably ever recorded co op. Must be like. That was fucking funny as shit. <laughs> you seen the whiteboard for that? This is because I heard like screaming or something. I like it. Like it's like tense so quiet, and then all of a sudden when Murray scores, like Mara. <laughs> like proper screamed. <laughs> I think it's because we were on about Andy Murray or something just earlier on. Or something. I don't know. I can't remember. It was three years ago. <laughs> I should expect this to remember. Yeah. How did I guess that? <laughs> I just just guessed that to the top of my head. <laughs> put the passcode for your iPad as well. Oh, it literally is. Um, okay, I guess I'll go down here. I don't even know what there is. See, I'm really unfamiliar with this one compared to the other ones. The elevator shaft. The elevator shaft. The elevator shaft, mate. It's a forklift driver over here. It was like in Bristol. He was raging the other day. Is it? They're calling the lazy bastards to come to shield me. I wish I could realize this is funny. Oh, the lazy bastards, oh. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's funny when shit like that happens. 
Oh no, I was good. I tell you about how I was with um, the Scotch person the other day and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. But basically, I saw him out like it was about two nights ago. Now I saw him out like um, I was just walking back to my halls, and all I heard was, "What was it? I fancy some custard, fucking hell, lad!" Like uh, I was just like I looked over and it was him. <laughs> he was just hammered up with skull again. Fucking hell. <laughs> And he was like, oh, it's fucking Billy, lad. I forgot his name. Was it Owen or something. Because I remember when I was pissed, I kept thinking his name was Ed. Because his, his mate was Ed or something. But I didn't. He was like, no, my friend's Ed. And I was like, I don't know. Chubby hoes. What's that? Chubby hoes. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't went back to sleep for it. Oh, he was a laugh, he was. He was a funny guy. <laughs> fucking Lisa Trevor, like, fuck it. Yeah. It's like a really, like, hard backstory game, really, Yeah, I think there. Yeah, I can't remember what it is, though. So, yeah, I seen a YouTube video on a few weeks ago. Like, I was talking about it. You just gotta, like, read the books to know. Like the manual, yeah. the journals and shit. Um, Apparently, she was like an experiment for some shit. She all oh, screaming as if they were screaming in pain or some shit. Like yeah, because they mentioned some of it in Resident Evil Zero. Um, she's like, um, yeah, she was one of the first experiments. Lady Gaga, Lady Lady Gaga. The lady makes me go Gaga. Lady Lady fucking Gaga. Which one gets too slow for you? Yo. It's a lot of that branded. Yo, 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 yo. Oh man, I forgot I was fucking. I need to fucking sort out Skyrim as well. I need to fucking like. Guy Rim. Die That's what we call this. Die with. Because it's in Wales. Oh, you remember him? Die Loon Pig. Yeah. I was watching some of his old shit. Shit months ago. I just reminiscing. It's funny, man. Does he even still make videos? Every now and again. He's like a big thing now. He's like fucking going to like a KSI type YouTube. Like a fucking proper like corporate sellout. Like. Is he? Yeah, it's a shame, man. I didn't even know he was that big. Yeah, he's big, man. So I think he goes to like, um, he does his own like, fucking, uh, he does good things, he does like charity things and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Have you seen those really weird, like, um, Ronald McDonald videos and stuff? Like those Australian guys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he does videos with them and stuff now. Oh, does he? Movies together and shit. It's oh, weird. Raka Raka. Yeah. Those videos are funny though. Like Ronald oh, McDonald, I mean, the neck and dominate one, we like sniffing and that. I can't, I can't stand the fucking like side men and shit like that anymore. I don't even know why I found them funny in the first place, they're not fucking funny at all. I, I never liked them bro. Never liked that fucking KSI, they are like a fucking joke. They're all fucking idiots mate. Yeah, the fucking, uh, fucking Raven Paul, didn't you? Yeah, yeah that was boring. So what was it with all these YouTubers wanting fights and shit? Oh, shut the fuck up, you both of pansies. Trying to be fucking Colin McGregor, I see, bro. Yeah, they are, eh? It's like old kids trying to be the shoes out for the first time. That's what we do. Oh, I'm a black McGregor. Shut up. McGregor, McGregor, McGregor. 
Still not everyone wants to be a movie. Jay Lou, monsieur. Who's that, Conor McGregor? Yeah. Fucking loony, isn't he? He's just good at what he does, but he's a loony. It's funny, it makes me laugh, but. Apparently, he fucked Redora as well. Who? Fucked Re Re oh, Redora. Yeah. Redora, man, yeah. But everyone's fucked her, I've probably fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> These people with no talent. Well, does it Do you know what I can't stand? It's yeah. like post Malone. Oh fuck. Oh man, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I can see the video yesterday. It was like um oh the soundtrack of your really good looking Wii game. And it was really good for us. They had like a slipknot song on there, they had both my Valentine song and a Shine Down song, it was like a talent oh, yeah. song. It's really good, and then post Malone song pop up, but it's like what the fuck. Oh no. One who's like, um, are you still? Oh no. It's all over the tomb as well. Stand shit, it's all over the tomb. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's not real music at all. It's what people make on computers and shit. Fucking, uh, that Sean Dobson likes it, dude. Oh yeah, he fucking looks like him, that's why. <laughs> I always call him Post Malone whenever I see him. I think what fucking Post Malone looks like, but you also have any fucking image of them. Uh, he looks like fucking, just like, it's just Google him or something, he just looks like a fucking homeless get pirate. Fucking get him up there, okay. He's fuck ugly, mate, honestly. My ball sack, my ball sack's probably cleaner than him. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Fucking, um, like the wrestlers have like, songs and shit for the game, like Seth Rollins and the Slipknot song, because they're from the same place where he's from. Like, oh, that's cool. Oh, he's from Iowa. Yeah. Iowa, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, he does. He looks like a fat show, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking weird. And the, the soundtrack with like Slipknot and Metallica. Do, do, do you know what people have said to me? They've been like, <clears throat> do you like Post Malone? And I'm like, nah, it's not my thing. Like, And they're like, how can you not like Post Malone? Like, he listens to metal and that. I'm like, yeah, but his music isn't metal or rock or anything oh. I like. So how would it, how would I like him if he makes music which I don't like? Just because, yeah. Yeah, just because yeah. he likes it doesn't mean I like him <laughs> because he likes it. His music's trash. Okay, if he likes that music, why don't he fucking make it? <laughs> because, oh, um, he tried out for a band called Crown the Empire. <coughs> Some yeah. fucking lot, basically. Um, yeah, he broke the guitar strings. Oh, wow. Ah, I don't in, know. In rehearsals. And Crown the Empire is literally a band you'd see him pay, play in hobos for like a tenor. <laughs> You'd think they'd want any guitarist. They probably did. They'd probably take anyone who's who's all right. But nah, he's just shit. <clears throat> Mumble rap, isn't it? Can't yeah. stand it. It's terrible. Like, I'm not a big fan of rap, but I can understand rap why he's talented. Like, but that's not really talented at all, mate. It's not good. It's not good. He sucks shit. It's Lisa Trevor's fucking gaff. <laughs> Snakes. <clears throat> Snake. 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 <laughs> fucking call back to our first rage quit that we did back in like 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is not happening, go riding. Oh my god, what's happening? Riding. Snake. 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 <laughs> this freaking rage quit on the Shrek and shit. <laughs> rage quit fucking Shrek. Alright, I'm just gonna check where this fucking stupid item is, what I was looking for. That mo is that thing what Andy was on about, what Chris could probably cut off the bottom of his shoe. Alright, oh, yeah. Play-Doh. Yeah. Fucking Fisher Price toys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 
So. Oh well. When that song comes on again, I'll just delete it from the jukebox. That's how it seems on the He's been dead. Oh, I forgot to ask Andy about it as well. If you wanted to fucking do out with us, that'd be funny. What's that now? When we do our fucking double blue and shit, like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good, though. Fucking <laughs> get Shrek in the fucking last match. <laughs> Need to give him the hardcore title. Stone Ring, where the fuck is it? Chris, normal difficulty. <laughs> Inside jewel box three. Just Did I tell you about that fucking Pandora ring shit in there? What's that? A fucking Pandora ring stuff. I think she's gonna check it. Hundred and ten pound Pandora, like. Oh, yeah. you told me about that. It's cheeky as fuck. What's that? Like one of the girls in my class came up to me because I was like sitting in my car waiting for my girlfriend at the time to like, come for lunch, and like she was just like, "Oh, why are you?" She's like, "Oh, I'm waiting for my missus in a minute. We're going for dinner." And she seen her like talking to me. She got in the car and started fucking having a go with that. And then, like, fucking, all of a sudden, then, like, your friend was like, put in the Snapchat story, put in the, in, this was my ex, and like, she was getting recorded, put in the fucking ring in the bin, like, like, smiling and laughing and shit. It's cheeky, Alice, I don't know. It's not the fact that I freaking want to go to old man. I freaking look on a piece of paper, my relationship, I recorded your ex compliment to the paper and put it in the bin. She was crying and on the phone to me and saying, oh, it's just a joke, I might go in back out and stuff like that. Oh, I can't that. Uh, for girls are ridiculous, I right? honestly. I was only broke up with it for like a week at that point, though. I should have just permanently broke up with it, like. Yeah, it was. I fucking got back with her after that shit, man. Shouldn't have, like. <laughs> no, I know oh, how it is, though. I know how it is. That's fucking stupid, man. These women just, like, anything they can do, you can't. More or less. Yeah. Like, they can have guy friends, but you can't have girlfriends now. You can't, like. Oh, they were like that as well. They're fucking idiots, so right? I think every time she's over here, it's like, oh, you know, if I could stick on Netflix or whatever, oh, we've got to watch what I want to watch. What if I want to watch something now that I can buy? Yeah, I my girlfriend's like that as well. Fucking idiots. RuPaul's Drag Race and shit, though. Sit on the fucking tranny. Nah, most oh. girls are backwards, so. Nah. Yeah, I got a much freaking bad and shit. But. Alright. Taste in there. She like that like, gum. Um, Fast and Furious and shit like that, you know? Yeah. The first proper thing to do was like, we went to watch Fast and Furious when we came out of the time, whatever the fuck it was. I was like, oh, God, I can't be honest, it was alright. It's like, it was okay. It was like The Rock and Jason Statham were like, you know, good in the film. But, but I didn't want to see it. Nah. Just what she wanted to go see, you know. I remember when I wanted to go see, like, King Kong, like, the new Kong film. And, like, she was like, no, no, I don't want to see it. I'm like, what? Well, right, I don't know if I want to see it. Like, oh, I don't care. I'm going. That's Stupid. fucking assholes, but literally, my girlfriend, right? <coughs> By my birthday, she literally, all she got me was the Deadpool game when I paid for her to go to the Cherry Lob and I bought the presents and shit. I basically spent 80 quid, 85, 90 quid, something like yeah. that, on her birthday, and then. But she got me that, and I was grateful for that. And then she was like, oh, yeah, I'll take you to go see Deadpool 2. I ordered the tickets because it was easier for me to order the tickets off the website. 
Yeah. And then yeah, she said she would have chucked me the money back. Didn't did she ever? No. So I basically paid for my own birthday present. Fuck that. And I paid for the fucking popcorn. Fuck that. It's a cheeky mate, literally. They just rinse they just rinse off food and that's all they do, but right? Go do it for the fucking I took it to West Midlands so fucking park, like which is like a three hour drive as well, mind you. Yeah. So it's a little way fucking down here. Little lie. Uh, and all she did after that was just talk about how shit it was anyway. Oh, the shit because the car was shit, the car couldn't get up the hills and stuff like that. I was like, what would you expect? I'm driving 1.2 petrol up in the hills of West Midlands. Terrible. And like, you know, we did a lot. Yeah. Came, I gave her presents, man. I bought her. I mean, they were like two cheapish Pandora rings, but I remember I got her those Pandora rings. And then I bought a perfume. I, I bought a loads of shit. I spent like 150, maybe 200 on it, man. Because I remember so many weeks when she went away on holiday. Probably, I went to fold with the McDonald's. I saved up loads of money. I spent most, well, pretty much all of it on it. Yeah. And the time they came around there. Like, she was even a bit saying, like, oh, I'm not going to give much of your birthday because, you know, she didn't have a job or anything, which is fair enough. I said, yeah, whatever. And, <laughs> got my birthday, but she got me, she got me a full pack of Guinness, and she got me a box of fudge. You know what she got me? Was it? And it's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fully let the ball to get. And she got me some, uh, fair enough, my birthday's a bit before Christmas, and she got me stuff for Christmas. But it's like, and then later on, after Christmas, she said, oh, this is like a late birthday present. It was supposed to come through, it's like a key with a fucking face on it. It's like, I'm not having my keys. <laughs> it's like, fuck. That was a bit fucking, that's a bit cheesy, that, isn't it? Right, it was like a picture of, like, her and my dog. Like, a picture of her and Smudge, like. Oh, so right. Was, like, I didn't really want, like, you know, I didn't really want that. I, I, I put her on it, like, a week, and I think I chucked it then, because she pissed me off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the fact that she tried to get me shit, but bloody hell, man, she got me fuck off my birthday when I spent loads on it. I spent loads on it for Christmas as well. Yeah, it's, it's backwards, man. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go for a quick fag again, because I, th I think my fucking uh, flatmate's back. And then I'll come back and then finish this game, man, because I'm fucking almost done. Go on, man. Yeah, boy, you're right. I'll be back in like two minutes. Bye, bro.
Some bitch came back and he went. Flatmate's back and I just went to speak to him for five. He just got back, so he's hammered. But, um, he's, he's got all that paint all over his face and shit because it was, um, what's it called? Oh god, I forgot his fucking hammer. Um, it was, uh, fresh as night type. Alright. I didn't go out though because I'm skinned and also it's gonna be fun, to be honest. I've been, out, I've been out every day since. That's fair enough, man. I just saw a thing about, uh, do you know that Machine Gun Kelly? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, um... <coughs> you know, obviously he's been having a like, beef with Eminem and all that shit. Yeah. Well, I saw a thing about he put on Instagram, he was like... 
put a thing on Instagram. It was like a photo of himself in front of like a crowd because he support um he they, he supported Fallout Boy on their tour. Oh for fuck's sake! And uh, but he basically he didn't like he didn't mention he was like he didn't put in the hashtag to call like, oh, Fallout Boy tour or whatever tour it was like. He just put like just loads of disses about Eminem. Loads, oh, like, like, I saw a big long comment on saying, "Oh yeah, you're really respectable, and you didn't mention Fallout Boy, didn't mention this isn't your crowd. All these people are here to see Fallout Boy, not you." <laughs> it is like wow. Eminem is just going mind fuck. <gasps> fucking. <gasps> this is pathetic. All this fucking dissing. Oh, like, come on, do mate. You're grown men. Shit, did it? Eminem has just gone off the rails. Anyway, man, Trump's fucking mind fucking. Because he was yeah. all about Donald Trump, like. He has, yeah, he hasn't been relevant since the 90s, man. The late 90s, early 2000s, honestly. Last time I fucking gave a shit about Eminem, man. What's that fucking, that one song was it? I'm not afraid you don't know that fucking oh, yeah. shit. I was like, the last time Eminem was good. It's trash now, isn't it? That's garbage, right? <laughs> Stupid little bitch. Little bitch. Oh, whatever, innit? Everyone falls off the rails because of Donald Trump. Fucking gump. <laughs> Donald Gump. Absolute tosser. Tossers. Tosser. Tossar. Tossar. It's fake news of no tosser. <laughs> You toss our Trump. Trump, you fucking toss her. Oh, it's more like Donald Dump. Oh my gosh. Donald Dump. <laughs> I said it's a I can't believe we're almost, almost done with this now. I've basically got we're past every like hard part. What's, what's that? We're on this call for like over five hours, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking crazy. Oh, watch, watch this in the stream now. West going to punch off the edge. It's fucking hilarious. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this angle. He gets, he gets right off the edge. Oh, you don't see it, but... You hear him though, he goes, Ooh. <laughs> Because she dies, that was ridiculous. Obviously, like, you'll be about 10 seconds off. Mother. So, finally, with the opera with that skull, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot the fucking medals to get through. That death may very well be copyrighted prior to the end, just like. Fucking game. Looked like, ah, oh, we were just walking to the edge of the fucking map. Planet of the Apes, man. <laughs> the planet of the Apes, like. Planet of the Anal Games. <laughs> New Planet of the Apes films are fucking good though. Oh, I haven't seen the newest one. Oh, that's fucking sick, man. Is it still Caesar? Yeah, in that one it is, yeah. It's fucking sick. Is it meant to be a remake then? Just like a complete reboot or a prequel? I don't want to spoil it, but it's gotta be a remake based on what shit. Alright. It can't be a. It can't, yeah, it can't be bad. I don't want to say anything though. The originals were good, it's just some of the acting is a bit shocking because yeah. it's old, like, it's really old, it's outdated. Damn you, damn, damn you, what the hell? I am still, I still can't wait to let's play our game. <laughs> but I, I want to do it, like, off my disc, 
Like, I don't want to use emulators anymore. I'm done with emulators now, mate. Oh, that's fair enough, man. Because I, I just, I want it straight off the console now. It's just so much better. Is it? Because it's like, it's yeah. just the actual thing in it. There's no issues. Just, just straight up. But yeah, I get, I get PS3 soon anyway, and I'll uh, do off that. Okay. Fucking right. I found, uh, guess what I found? I found the uh, Fallout trilogy, which I bought for the PC ages ago, which is Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics. Oh shit. I'm gonna do them eventually, like, blind. Yeah. There's lots of characters from like, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and shit in those games. Yeah, do you remember that tree? I can't remember his name, Harold, yeah, I think. What's that? He's a. He's like a ghoul. He's in one of them. He's like Fallout 2, I think. You know. It's like before he becomes a tree, in it. Yeah, he's a ghoul, I think. It's mad. It's all in the same universe, the Marvel universe. Imagine it was in the Marvel universe. Yeah, I'm glad this is all working perfectly, like the streams and stuff. Fucking smooth as fuck. I've literally only dropped uh, 300 frames. The internet's fast as fuck, mate. Honestly. What well, has to be done here? It's 100 mega, 100 megabytes a second. Fuck. And when I down, when I download stuff, is literally like. 10 or more megabytes a second. <laughs> so much, honestly. Loads. They play fucking hell. from the cup there, Mr. Robert. Like. We are... Come on, you were nowhere near. What the hell are you? <laughs> I watched your review as well of Predator. I was pissing myself when you started doing that voice. <laughs> no, because I was like, I was doing that because me and my mate were talking and he had um, a video on his Snapchat, basically. Where, like it was like from where we started college, we had like alpacas. Oh, and, like yeah. one of them's like cut the like, spits all the time at us. And I was like on the floor. And I was like, I see the alpaca, come on, come on, here. come on, do it, do it now. <laughs> He's like gonna record it, it's so funny. That's, that's just why I fancy doing it. I was like, oh. I think I remember the password and shit for this um thing. I have fun reviewing those movies though, even though they're like the most budget videos ever, like. Yeah. I don't really give a shit though. I'm just fucking, you know, as long as you're gonna be my voice, I don't really care. Oh shit, what's the password for this then? Um. Ooh. Password for Chris's Naughty America account. Permission denied, try enter password. F it's not Ada. No, it's not. It's Mole. Mole, 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 mole. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> no match. It's not even Mole. That was what it was in the original. Oh. <laughs> My mother was watching that last night. Funny enough, I got home from work. Well, Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah. I shall call him. Oh, I really can't remember what it is. Uh, guest? What's that? Might change, you know. I would have thought they would have been the same as the original, but they might have changed it. Yeah, it's to catch people out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Say now, though, this is the first time playing. It's like, how the fuck you meant to know what this password is? Like? 
I think there's like journals around the lab. Oh, alright. I'll read everything they can do, like. Yeah. It's like I for all of them for the puzzles. I'm just gonna look it up. I've completed the game but fucking loads of times, so <laughs> it really don't matter. Honestly. It's like out with a new prey that I'm playing, it's like for like all the passwords and shit for the terminals, you've got to like look in the journals and shit around the labs and it's like, oh fuck's it. Uh, I don't know. I like that, but it's time consuming. And the thing is, you can't look on Google for that game either, because all the passwords for everyone are different. So it's like, you've got to like do it yourself. Which is annoying. Yeah, I get you. Like, they tell you where you can find the password on Google. They don't tell you what the password is, because it's different for like every single person that plays it. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Tedious, though. It's a good game, though. Yeah. Bought that shit for like seven quid off eBay, like. They only came out last year. What was that again? Fucking Prey, man. Oh, Prey, yeah. I remember that for the 360. Cell, that's the password. Cell. Of course it's Cell. This is the fucking Cell room. Hell in a Cell. Permission granted. Yeah, so I know I'm granted. <laughs> Six million cells in the human body. You don't have what I like. <laughs> Quit. Oh, God. Did you watch a whole bloody poster review then? What's that? Did you watch the whole review for that poster thing yeah. that I did? Yeah. Do you basically know what happens then? Yeah. You didn't really give away that much. I tried not to, but I just gave away like the big things. I'll probably forget by the time I see the film. Because like new characters and shit in it, obviously. Yeah, it's all... Every time it's all new. Oh, piss off. It's the most stupid thing ever, man. I have really big hopes for that film as well. I looked so good, man. I'm so excited for it. Venom doesn't suck. Fuck it. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Hopefully that don't. Hopefully they really don't fuck that up. That's like the film. Good. Right, that's the film I'm most excited for for the rest of the year now. Yeah, same. Next year's fucking Infinity War Part Two. Yeah. Whatever the fuck it's gonna be called, Avengers 4, I don't fucking know. Long way fucking Captain America's gonna die. What's that, Captain America? I reckon Captain America's gonna die, man. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. I, I don't think Tony will. I think he's staying, man. I think Iron Man's staying, like. Well, um, Robert Downey Jr. is like. That's like the biggest, he even admits that's like the biggest role he's ever played. Yeah. I mean, it's. not doing it anymore. He's been doing it for a while as well, mind. When did that, when did the, um, the first Avenger come out? Fucking hell, man, like 2011, 2010. The first Iron Man film came out in 2008, Yeah, ten years. I watched, uh, like ten years in Marvel. I watched Captain America in the cinema with Daron. And not with Daron, no, no, it was Iron Man 2. I watched, I watched that with Keelan, Keelan Mogg. Oh, fucking hell. Blast from the past, innit? Aye. That was awesome. Yeah, forget the mustache, I'll have to sort Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loads of people I've seen from school. They're like in ages. That's weird, man. Like, I seen that fucking, um, I was on the way home, like, from work, and I seen that fucking Reese, like, in person, like, as I was driving home, I seen him, but I stopped, like. Who was it? That's like, Reese Jones, like. Oh, you saw him. I seen him, man, in person, he just, you're like, fuck, you can tell he was going to be like. You look bad, is he? Yeah, man. <laughs> 
fucking hell. Get snatched up by Megan Fox now. <laughs> as long as he stops doing those fucking cheap YouTube streams. Oh yeah, they were fucking shocking. <laughs> they were terrible. They were shocking. PewDiePie. Fair enough, I make random videos. But it's like, how do you go from like, driving dash cam videos? To like freaking market player rip off videos, it's like. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. It's so stupid. I used to watch market player as well, Eve. No one again. I, it was bad. Well, Jack, Jack said to Kai, he was like my favorite down at the Lock. I still find him right now. He's bearable. Yeah, he's not so bad. He seems really genuine compared to ones like PewDiePie and Markiplier and what. You're just like, oh my god, it's so scary. Shut up. I'm oh, fucking scared. Oh, wish me luck with this thing now. Oh, Christ. I thought I said the steward of oh. the Piss off, you fucking. <laughs> That's why I, <laughs> I don't even know why I say to zombies when they bite me. I'm just like, oh, just you stupid little prick. Fuck off, you stupid little ugly prick. Crack on my like. Basically, right with this part, you have to walk with this uh, container. I got this container with like explosives in it, and if you run like, for a certain amount of time, it just explodes and you die. Fucking <laughs> savage, like. Jake. Go on, walk, walk, walk. I was close then. I was very close. I'm only gonna die then. Wasn't that um, the same thing that that guy blew up on the range there? Oh, Arcadia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, he, didn't really, he didn't really rage, did he? Like, just shit himself. He was just like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, that was the part where he jumped on it, yeah. Oh, oh shit. He was just like laughing when he. <laughs> I'm just walking through. Oh, this part's hard now because there's these things called chimeras and they're quick. They are yeah. quick. Yeah, it's all right before. It was alright before, like when I done my first play <laughs> because obviously I had a fucking shotgun. These are the ones that look like the. Um, they look similar to the regenerator things or Frozen Beam 4. Yeah. You're fucking annoying too. Oh shit, no, I didn't even need to fucking... Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to pick up the capsule from there and then I have to get the explosives and take it back. I didn't even have to run. Oh, God, he looks like Frankenstein's monster, that zombie. Jeez. From Van Elsen, like. It's a fucking funny film, that is. One with fucking Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's a boss, man. Yeah, he's fucking beast, man. It's great, low, man. Yeah. It'd be cool if, like, all just all those Marvel films were in the same universe. I wish they were. You know, at least you were just kind of Do you know Marvel didn't even own the rights to make a Hulk film? Don't they? They don't know. That's why, as they said, they're doing the Hulk's, like, story, basically, in mm. Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War, and then the next part of the Avengers, because um, Universal owned the Hulk. Oh, yeah. Hulk rights to make a film. Because Mark Ruffalo was hanging to do. He was saying about, like, Marvel might do that through like three films. He was like, yeah, fuck you, Universal, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> I like him, but he's cool. He's funny as fuck. He streamed like the first 20 minutes of Thor Ragnarok, though, in like the premiere to his Instagram or something. They're like, turn off your phone. <laughs> he's like, my phone is on, and he's like, oh shit. He's a beast, he is. He's funny as fuck. He's funny in the yeah. films as well, like. It's going to be great, didn't it? It's good. But then Buddy Thor pops down there with the epic scene and he just pops out and he's like, haha, you're all screwed now. He is a good Hulk, to be fair, as well. He's not yeah, he's just. Like, that first guy was pretty good as well, mind. 
um, Eric like Banner. Often like the old one or like the, the newish one. Uh, Eric Banner from like the 2000 or something. Oh, the one with the big dogs and shit. Yeah. Oh, he was a, like he was a good actor. The film was all like average, but he was a he was a good actor for yeah, for Hulk. I remember the newish one was like, when it came out in like 2000. 2008. 2008 or whatever it was. That's that's in the Marvel oh. universe as well. Do you know that? Yeah, because Iron Man's in the end credits, isn't he? Yeah, he's um. It's weird because there's a different actor. There's um, what's his name? Edward Norton, isn't it? Yeah. Weird man. Like, but he, it is actually Robert Downey Jr. in the end. He looks up to it. Like, he's like, oh, we're, we're gonna make it a team. Oh my god. Camera killed you. Yeah. No, I well no um explosion. Oh, oh I right, I, yeah, I, even, you, I, I seen it just now. I didn't even run for that long well. Oh, I don't get it. Fuck. Can see you didn't even move that fast. I'm just gonna continue anyway because I'm right at the end. I might as well just beat it tonight. Yeah. Ah, uh, motherfucker. What? Fucking uh, how cool, man. I'm all the Marvel Universe and they don't acknowledge it because they have to cut the act. Yeah, it's, it's a bit shit. Acknowledge, uh, acknowledge Iron Man as the first one, didn't they? Yeah. Because they wanted Hulk to be the first one because Stan could, like, create them. Like, nobody had no idea, though, that he was going to be here. Oh, no. No clue who was leaving that. I never knew it was going to be all that. Oh, that's crazy. Not much big of a team and shit as well, like all these new ones and... So it's mad, man. I didn't know the video to tell them. I, di I didn't like the, the first two Avengers films, it was just, uh, Infinity War. I wasn't just the first one, it's not too bad. Shit. First one's not too bad, but I don't know. It's not the best. Everyone hates the second one. Yeah, Age of Ultron and that. Yeah, I liked Ultron in it though. I thought he was alright. I don't even know what Ultron was. Like, a f it's um Jarvis and he like um corrupts Jarvis and like fuck it takes over and shit. The Vision's meant to be Jarvis, like. I don't even know, man. Like I seen it years and years ago. Well, when it first came out. I was gonna say I seen it in the well, cinema. Like. I didn't even watch all of it. I watched like the first hour. I just, I just... Basically, it was like, you know, like, these Marvel films are kind of like, up until Infinity War, they're like, all just like, introducing characters. It's like, Iron Man 2 introduces, like, Black Widow and like, oh, Age yeah. of Ultron introduces Vision. Shit like that. At uh, 2 hours, I really, I really don't like Black Widow or, or, or Hawkeye. I like boring, man. They're just like, Black Widow is just like, Russian spy. She really have, like, superpowers. She's just hot. Yeah, yeah that's literally it. See super she has she just gives like every single man around the world a fucking rod on it. Yeah, so I, can... I literally only like Spider Man. Like that new Spider Man's awesome. He's fucking so good. Uh, Ant Man's good. He's funny. Yeah. Um Captain America, obviously Iron Man. Proper Marvel characters like superpowers and shit. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's literally Captain it. Marvel is cool. Captain yeah. Marvel, yeah. Doctor Strange is all right. I haven't seen the film though. I haven't seen this standalone film. Ah, oh, it, it's not that good. Isn't it? Ah, oh, it's not the best. Like it's quite slow. Like it's just like basically like showing how like he's like an idiot like, at the start, like, and then like he becomes Doctor Strange and he becomes like. Basically, like, all fucking. I don't know. Like, he fucking sort his head out, don't I? And he becomes fucking like, smart. Like, dark arts, all that bullshit. Like, uh, it's mystic arts. What the fuck is going on? Basically, like, he's fucking gone in the army, like, and he fucking disappeared. Like, shit. It's kind of just like. Same thing with Black Panther. I didn't like Black Panther. I didn't like Black Panther. 
Yeah, my brother said that was shit. The CGI was terrible. Was it? I see. I don't know why. The CGI was shit. All these ones, like Black Widow, Black Panther, Hawkeye, I've never heard of them before in my life until. They are yeah. from the comics and they like, they're not as popular. No, they're not that popular at all, are they? Iron Man. I, I wasn't even like. I didn't even know much of Iron Man until the film came out and it was fucking awesome. And then I realised he's like one of the most popular. He's beast like. Was he like one of the first, was he, Marvel characters? Yeah, I think the first were like um, Spider Man, Hawk. I think Iron Man was there as well. I think that's why he was so like prominent. Yeah. In the MCU now, like. I think he's going to he, he's gonna be the one to kill Thanos, he is. Alright. Yeah, yeah. You'll stick on the gold, but you'll fucking have him. They'll do some, I don't know, maybe some fucking... Because, oh, um, I... when Strange, obviously, this is part of his plan, and it? it's part of Doctor Strange's plan. Yeah, he says to him, really, it's the only way you see him. Yeah. It's the only one, that's what you see. Yeah, and he needed to keep Stark alive, obviously. Yeah. He's the key to killing him. Yeah. I, th I think it's mad how Ant-Man's gonna have like a fucking massive part of it as well. That is a bit weird, isn't it? Ant-Man, like... Maybe, maybe we get to see how much of a beast he is as well. True. He's good in uh, Civil War as well, mate. I, I didn't see that. I, I Well, I've, I've tried watching it loads of times. I just can't watch it, man. I just don't like it. I just... I don't think... I don't see it that was good. I was here as a Captain America film, but it's just an Avengers film, innit? <laughs> Avengers film, it's not like a Captain... It's not. I don't know why it's a Captain America film at all. It's like Iron Man, it's more the main focus. Because they're like, oh, the Winter Soldier killed Iron Man's parents and all that shit. Yeah, it was like... Quite good at the end where he like finds out that he, the Winter Soldier killed his parents. He's beating the shit out of him. But... In the, who is the Winter Soldier? Is it Bucky or no? Yeah, Bucky, yeah. Uh... Oh, Bucky Barnes, like. Bucky Barnes. I wasn't too fussed on uh, Winter Soldier either, mind. Was that? I wasn't too fussed on the Captain America Winter Soldier. Oh, no, they weren't that good. Lots of people love it, but I'm not fast on it. No, the first, the fi I've noticed like after the first one, they're not that good, are they? I hate the second one. But the third one, I think, is even worse. The, I haven't even bothered watching the third one. You stupid. Stupid. I bet that's just like in another Avengers film, is it? No, it's not actually. It's the villain that makes it so stupid. Who is like, the this villain? Is like big, it's like a big build up to the villain. It's like, oh, he's the Mandarin, he's like the most feared and revered villain. Like, he's this like, leader of like a big cult and shit like that. He sounds really badass. And then it ends up being like one of the side characters from You Don't Mess With Zoan. <laughs> like, do, do, you remember, do you remember the taxi drivers with uh, Rob Schneider? Oh, don't tell me it is Rob Schneider. <laughs> he won't slide him. Do you know the little one who's like, oh, I go to get my hair cut. Oh, don't tell me it's him. Don't tell me it's like him. Oh my god, no <laughs> way. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> he's like smiling there. And he's like, I am the man. It turns out he's fake. And then the real Mandarin's like, this guy on fire. But then he gets killed in like two seconds. Oh, it's just stupid when they do that. It's ridiculous. It's like, oh, I'm not the real Mandarin. I'm just a fake. I'm an actor. I'm a Hollywood actor. Oh my god. If he's a Bollywood actor, he's a Bollywood actor. <laughs> and Iron Man's just like having a conversation with him, drinking vodka with him and that. And like all of a sudden the fucking the guy on fire shows up. And then one of Iron Man's robots just kills him in like two seconds. I was like, that's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. I remember you had to like, you could hear one of my birthdays, like, where I could get up, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, because you've already seen it. I never shit. Oh, no, no, like, I've never seen it. 
I just watched it like for the first time on the DVD. And then like, this is ages ago and I don't remember what it was. I ended up watching it and I was just like, God, what a load of shit. I don't even know there was an Iron Man 3 until recently. That was bad, man. There's no need for it. There was no need for that film at all. For some reason it builds up his wife's character. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. Wife, like, fuck your wife. It's a fucking ginger bitch. You don't need to be involved. Plenty of these bitches getting involved with feminists to so be happy. You've got fucking Captain Marvel who's gonna have a big fucking hand in killing him. This is my wife. <laughs> this is my wife, Pepper. Pepper, I'd say hi. Fucking good. They don't care. It's a big tag team match we're going to do now, man. Fucking Donkey and Shrek versus Mario and Luigi. I oh, feel it's fucking. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, so I don't know what the fucking title I downloaded is. I downloaded it Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, like, downloaded like SpongeBob and Patrick and shit like that. Sick of all that fucking TLC tag team matchup. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna save yep. by it just to be fucking. Oh, you got the MO disc, like. Yeah, I got all three of them. MO oh. disc. Homo disc. I've been literally been streaming for five hours. <laughs> it's probably the longest stream I've ever done in my life. So I wake up in the morning. Oh shit, OCG's back. <laughs> <laughs> Five hours of OCG, holy crap! Watch the old thing. <laughs> yeah, fucking three hours of it is me and Andy fucking talking shit. Andy talking about wrestling, I mean, I do He just... loves it, doesn't he? I have to say to me, he's like, oh mate, have you seen this? And I'm like, mate, I was talking about the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> Too quick in conversation. So, like, you can go on about it then. <laughs> Imagine this, imagine I do all this and the trophy doesn't pop up. What are you gonna do? Rage quit. Throw my PS4 out the window. Rage quit after beating the game, like. <laughs> nah, it, it should definitely pop up because I haven't used any defense items or whatnot. Yeah. I literally don't need to do any other shit, it's only because I want to get the good, good ending. I might as well, I've come this far, I saved Rebecca. I've stopped Thanos' flight. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking that is, boy. Oh yeah, Phantom's Mukin too good. Oh, I love our film, but... You are going to get spoiled. And it's like the main enemy, isn't he? Yeah. The main antagonist of the movie. Such a fucking funny bastard, as I like that. It's famous mucking talking. <laughs> Just cuts up kebabs in front of a kid, like... <laughs> That's such a ridiculous movie, isn't it? It's so racist oh, as well. <laughs> it is, it's really racist. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good, that was funny as fuck. I film man. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I hate that where I went through an area and realised I'm going the wrong way in the first place. <laughs> Mocking, talking, how are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> Mochen, 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 I'm gonna give your mochen tochen a little lochen. Kamera, 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 kalala. Stop mochen, my mochen tochen. Let's take the empty capsule and refill this bitch. Let's do it. Stop the right with tochen. Come out! <laughs> Chris Redfield. 
the man behind the mask. Who'd have thought? Chris Greenfield. <laughs> Chris Greenfields. <laughs> Chris Greenfields. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Creamfields are literally full of just a place for fuckboys, isn't it? It is, isn't it? A fest oh, full. This is fucking sweating with funny boys. Boys, this place is fucking dripping with the fucking country. Like. This, my mate was asking me to go to this rave. And I was just like, it's not really my thing, like, but I'll come for, like, just a social, I guess, and just get pissed. And he was like, huh. he was like, oh, it is your thing, trust me, bro. And I was like, but it's not, though, is it? Okay. <laughs> Wait, I, you know it's not your thing, it's not your thing, is it? Yeah, I don't listen, he knows I don't listen to DJs and shit. I don't. It's not my thing. Things. Some people try to fucking force it onto me, mate. I know yeah. what I fucking like. Exactly. I'd go just for like a fucking, you know, just for shits and gigs. Like, I wouldn't fucking go because I'd seriously enjoy a fucking wave. Nah, overrated. Probably. I know, people who go there, funny. most yeah. people who go there are just literally off their cunt. Exactly, man. So it's like. Oh, the you, just having pills and pills. So it just looks like, to me, you'd only enjoy it if you were off your cunt. Like, there's more pills being dealt there than the fucking prescription office. Yeah, exactly. I, I can go to gigs, like, with no money without even buying a drink or anything. Like, and it's fine, I'll enjoy myself. Oh. Yeah. God. My TV does this thing now and again where, like, it'll, like, just go off. Oh, fuck. It's I, think like it's power I think it's a <laughs> capture card to be honest. It's because it's linked up like all around everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. But like it'll only go off for like a two seconds or something. Recording through like HD. Yeah. But so far it's done it like it's done it in the most dodgy situations. Where I'm like <laughs> in the middle of dodging a zombie or something. So the amount of times you can see these like TV will turn off. Yeah. Five, four, I'm like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it now. Alright, hopefully I can, hopefully I'll do it this time now. This is why I, uh, it's too risky to speed run this game. It's because of this part, just this part. Otherwise I probably would have had to, like, you know, try to learn it. But I think I just die too many times at this part for it to be fun. You know what I mean? This thing. So you can only run for like. It's fucking weird. I don't even know how long you're allowed to run for combined. I don't know if it has to be like a single run or. What knows? I don't know how that works. But I don't even Something know. Fuck off, get yeah, this guy's an asshole, man. It's literally pissing me off, this is. Proper fucking piss take, innit? Uh... It's hard because it's on knife only. Like, yeah. in my last one, I just used a shotgun and just killed him, so it wouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, that's a, that's... I can't really knife him, can you? I can't knife him unless I can really run, because I can run around him, man. But even then, it'd be hard to run a zombie after he does my head in. Like, he's good at grabbing you, that one. He's cheeky. These lab ones are really finicky. Piss off. Come on down to 
of the muckin' talking town. La 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 I just gotta make sure that fucking little rem tard doesn't touch me. <laughs> fucking mob the builder looking bastard. and then walk all the way back. Yeah. Backtracking in this fucking game. That's one thing I hate about it. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in Resident Evil. If you don't like backtracking, you won't like Resident Evil, basically. Even isolation is similar, though. Backtracking. What's that? Even isolation is similar, though. There's quite a lot of backtracking. Is it? <coughs> in the stages, like, in the later stages, it's fine. Like the first. Five, six hours, it's quite good. You know what, I'm just gonna kill this zombie in this room so I don't have to dodge him. I know I take quite a few knives, but I'm never gonna go back in that room again so we won't turn into a internet. So I'm never going back in there. I forget you, that. they're pissing me off. Who's that? One of my boys has been very fucked over as well now. <laughs> you know, oh, they are the fucking idiots, mate. That's all they do, that's what all they're good at is making. <laughs> See. Love it, do they? Yeah. But he's dead. Oh, come on then. Oh, not yet, I forgot to do the mo disc. Uh, beep. Here we are. Now it's the moment of truth. When it could result in an explosion. Oh God, Rebecca! I've got a feeling I'm gonna do it now. I think I might. Hopefully. Hope to cry. Oh. Oh, go away, no, let me alone, don't you dare blow up the camera. <laughs> oh, it really hurts. I think it really hurts, eh? Oh, no. <laughs> I hear when there's like one of those boxes and it looks like it'd be a first thing spray and then it's fucking here. It's just like, come on. You don't get a rank in at the end of this game. Yeah. It's only on like Resident Evil 2 onwards. Some bullshit. It's like you can just use first aid sprays, it's fine. But. Reckon the reason go from. Oh, we too will have like it's, it's yeah, fun. yeah, definitely. It was just this one. I don't know why they didn't bother doing it in this one. I was gonna say they should have just collect things in the remaster, in the remake. Oh, I've done it! I've done it! 
Oh my god, finally I've done it. Good, 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 good. Oh no, he better not kill me now. Imagine he killed me and by doing that. Well, you haven't even seen it yet, but he basically pulls me up into the air. Alright, oh, he killed you before. Yeah. He yeah. killed you during that. Well, yeah, he made the explosion trigger. Alright. So now I'm gonna grab that first aid spray. Got to do the two MO discs, and then I got fucking beat this game. Fuck I. Yeah, that's the last key in the game, and I used it. down on my phone for like 30 seconds and the TV was up to the really power saver settings. Oh, looks. Here we are. Oh, Christ on a cracker. Right. Christ on a cracker. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Good. I literally hate Chimera so much. Literally, probably one of my least favourite enemies. <laughs> I don't need that, I don't need that at all. Get away from me. Yeah, that's the second ammo disc used. And now the last one. Fun. Oh my man. Piece of piss. A piece of pass. What's that? Here we go. <laughs> to the final fucking lane. Yeah. Camaro almost had me in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was jumping off the wall right before I ran into the door. <laughs> How much of a delay is it then on this? It's like, it's not much, is it? It's not even that much, man. It's like, it's not even 30 seconds. Like, That's maybe it. 15, 20. That's really good. That's better than Twitch. Twitch was like a minute, I swear. Yeah. Shit. See it, did you? And hunters everywhere. Yeah. Turn on the power now, so I can go to the last. Well, no, it's not the last boss yet, but. It's the last thing I need to kill with a knife. And then I'm literally gonna unequip the knife because I'm done with that piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go see Jill. And then... Save. Tyrant. Fuck oh. Zombies and all. 
Inconsiderate asshole. Inconsiderate assholes. You absolute fucking tosser. Wow. You'd like my lip, wouldn't you? Right around your belly. <laughs> this Mr. You Chippy doesn't that. get there first. <laughs> Mr. Chippy. <laughs> I've got literally got a lecture in eight and a half hours. No, eight hours. Well, not a lecture. You know, it's like basically I just sit there and just like, just listen to him talk. I'll see you in a minute. I can work in eight hours. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, we're done in the next 15 minutes now. Oh, don't worry about it, bro. Only fucking gym jabs and work anyway. I don't care. Fucking <laughs> Gupta's there, I bet. Gupta's. Check if I get paid in a minute as well. Hopefully I do. S scheduled for um, the nineteenth. Ooh, pay the fucking pay. The fucking pay. That's the way some people just say pee. Trippy as fuck. Like. It is. Uh, it is trippy as fuck. Mashing that controller like it's a fucking potato. We are getting better at dodging zombies though to be fair on this one. We Alright, save. Save game. Save game. Ah need to sh shave in the morning as well. Boy. I'm fucking go each my shit in. I can't even grow a proper beard anyway. See what we but more when. Give our sheep little extras like how many times have I saved anyway? Probably saved loads of times. Ah, uh, Andy's uncle. Like a slice board now and looks that shit nice and right. Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. I think the most. Yeah, Jones. I think the most people I've had in this stream is eight people. Just too bad. Huh. It's pretty cool. The most people to get. First stream back. What's that? Your first stream back is pretty badass, like. Yeah, it's not bad, like. Even though we've done it at a stupid time, really, as well. Yeah, true. Here he goes, the big one. I don't know how hard this is gonna be. You can't, I don't think it's as hard as that fucking plant. <laughs> that plant was cheeky, man. Cheeky. Cheeky. It's because, like. Cheeky. Like when they made this Chris! game, they didn't expect you to do it with a fucking knife. No. That's the thing, it wasn't me for that. No. It's because just because people done child. Wesker. So you. Not that bad. 
while it work. Piece of piss. You feel like work, man. I only use one spray. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's that button. Sure, that is. I didn't even know where the button was to exit the room. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> this part is going to be hard, mind. Yeah. Because. Because there's um, it's like a timer, and it's counting down. I think it's when it gets to like the last 30 seconds. That's when Brad drops a rocket launcher. Damn. And this is gonna be hard because I'm gonna have to wait down until then and try and survive. And I'm also gonna have to make sure no one else dies. What is it? <laughs> because uh, Rebecca can still die. Oh shit. She died as soon as you die in like. Yeah. So I'd rather the tyrant come and chase me, to be honest. Save number 12. End of an era. End of an era, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I literally took all my healing items with me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see if I can have any more to show up and see if I can last the end of an era for us and leave all me. Thank you, alright. It's never the end, end of it. End of an era, my pink ass. <laughs> the self destruct system has been activated. All personnel must be activated immediately. Five Nights at Freddy's fucking hell. I've been building that was relevant. Do you reckon I'll get the trophy for being here in five hours as well? Yeah, and also, I was starting the game a couple of times. Yeah. And I was testing the thing. So, whatever my end game time is, and I died. I've died quite a few times. Yeah. Reloaded save and shit, so. I reckon I might just pull it off. If they take off the bullets like this. Jill! Is this the real life? Is this a fantasy? Call to the light side. Escape from reality. Can you imagine it's like a minute over five hours or something? <laughs> it's like a second. I'll tell you again. What's that? I'll tell you again. Yeah. 
sorry. You get, always get a score at the end, don't you? But you don't get like an A rank or anything, it's just, it just tells you the time and how many times you've saved. I think it tells you how many things you've killed. So it'd be funny because it'd be like three things. Headshots. No scopes. How many no scopes? How many tea bags? Prestigious. These are the last zombies we're gonna see as well. It's awesome. It's what this Oh, and they're both gonna meet me. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just took a massive chunk of me for his last bite, didn't he? <laughs> his last bite. Yeah. This is long. You'll see that now. He took a fucking massive chunk of me. I, I just see this just now. Right? <laughs> oh, caution of the way. Oh, I could have seen that. Yeah, and this he's meant to be it, it, like he's just meant to be a bit like just a bit big. He's not meant to be like sprited up to shit like, like fucking massive. Does she have the fucking rock like? Yeah, he's not meant to be punching boulders. Shit. <clears throat> Here we go. The finale. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Best of luck to you, my child. In your journey. <laughs> oh, 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 God. I'm actually shitting it. <gasps> Look at that big, big box. Oh, crap. Okay, there's a timer. I think that timer counts while you're in the inventory as well. I can't remember. Run, run, Chris, run. Use it. Goodbye, Tyrant. Motherfucking class. I fucking done it. Right, is a trophy gonna pop up? It's top bush. I don't know if the trophy pops up right at the end or. But I'm gonna show the ending because it's a good ending. Isn't it? Good. Some improvements on the screen. I fucking hope. 
So 